Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to MKNJ number 22. My name is Hercules, and I am joined by the beautiful B-Fibs. How are you doing, B-Fibs? Hi, guys. My name is B-Fibs. I am brand new to this. Um, first time doing a Combat Network stream commentating. This is our first time together, so uh, we hope that we can give you a good show today. And we're definitely going to give you a good show today. We have world-class talent at this MKNJ. This honestly feels like the uh, upper echelon of a yes. major. I mean, we have Dragon, Wraith, Gur, um, just amazing We got players. Mike Metroid, we got HF, we got Pulse possibly coming today. Yep. You yep. know, big names, some names that you guys all recognize in the scene. So yep. definitely tune in. It's going to be a nail biter of a tournament today and uh, nothing to expect less. Yeah, and I'm going to get my butt beat. I mean, I was playing <laughs> casuals against uh, Gur yesterday, Dragon today. Oh my goodness, it's like I've never played neutral before. It <laughs> is unbelievable how good these guys Herc are. Herc is a Kenshi player. He has been Kenshi from day one if you guys don't know much about him in the scene i i see him play every day so uh, this man has been busting his chops for months trying to get this ready yeah, still not anywhere near these top tier talents here and i think first up today we're gonna have dark green versus cease um dark green my understanding is what is he playing he is playing shang song shang song cease we will have to see what he's gonna pull out of the pocket but we have people ranging from pa to virginia to jersey to delaware today so you're getting people from all across the east coast coming just to be here today and play together it's a big deal very exciting um yes yeah, so we have dark green and cease this is the first pool we're gonna have two pools today and uh, this is gonna be uh, winners round one we're gonna start with let the intros rock yes. Fight. We got Cease with the Gearus. And no button check, just going right into the action. Yes. Already establishing a zone. Yep, is Dark, Dark Green, Green is going to zone Gearus out as much as he can in this matchup. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Boom. Mm. Wow. Oos, oos, oos. Holy moly. Oos. Dark oh Green my. is starting off with some fire. Wow, and imagine that call out right there. Getting some pressure here is Cease. What's for breakfast? Oh my goodness, wake up. Trying to go for it again. Gets called out by Dark Green. Ooh, it's the game of keep away. Out. That is what we're seeing, and, and I have a feeling this is what that set is going to be. Amazing. Keep away. This is completely full screen, essentially, except for the one call out that we saw from Cease. Nice armor there from Dark Green. No call out. Pressure. Cease is going to be playing some defense to get around the Shang Tsung, and then when he has an opening, he's going to pull up the Fatal Blow already. Look at this damage. Already at 319 before the Fatal Blow wow. starts. Wow. Look at these players What rushing. a fiery start to this MKNJ we have. Good lord. These Four players 60. have had about a few a few hours, I would say, to practice beforehand. So. Did you see 530? Oh my goodness, and the call out. It's all over. Wow, what a round. Time to die. That was spicy. Round that was amazing. Fight. Full screen nuke being played. Old Chang. Taking the time to get the hourglasses is Cease. Look at this patience. Yes, they're both really playing neutral right now. Crazy. To the Goes best of their ability. From such an explosive first round to such a patient second round. Now big opening. They by got the three. download on each other, so they're trying to see how they can get around it. Wow, another big call out by Cease. Big damage gets the hourglass. And there's and the break. Nice overhead. Using the Scorpion to get pushed all the way full screen is Dark Green. Oh, that's an interesting cameo selection for this. With the uh, with the Scorpion, and we're yeah. already seeing it pay off, right, with that overhead? And another Fatal Blow. Back to back. Wow. This is going to be another big one. This is going to be almost death. I was about to say, can he pull it off and get the death? I don't know. I think it might be a little close. Yeah, not going to do 51%, I don't think, but definitely going to be a lot here. 42. Blocks the full screen snap. Hmm, Thanos not good enough today. That's gonna take it to last round. Yep. Final round. Fight. Old Chang immediately. Yep. Goes for the overhead, blocked, backs off. Nice pressure by C's full screen. Trying to close the gap is dark green. A little pressure here. Gears is on the defense looking for an opening. Oh, nice call out on that up block. Getting the corner pressure is Cease here and getting opened up immediately drops the combo. Oof. 
Oh my goodness. Went for the grab, but it whiffed. That micro duck. So juicy. Goes for the mix wow. something. Wow, and they get him right back in the corner. This is Dark Green's chance right here. And backs off of his corner pressure. Amazing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting decision to back off the corner pressure. Really wants the full screen neutral here. Drops the opening again. Oh my goodness, Thanos. Adios, my friend. Mmm, mmm. Oos, oos. That's going to be it. And that's going to be game one going to cease. Game one, cease. That was a really aggressive. That was a, an explosive start to this uh, MK and J right here. These two players are Game fired two. up and uh, not standing down. I'm so excited. These players are so good. This is going to be one hell of a day. Hot off the heels of NEC. Everybody the sign up for Combo Breaker. Game. Sign up for CEO. I know, I know we have, we'll, we'll be there. We're definitely going to be we there. We are going. Is there a cameo switch? Okay, we see... Scorpion. Goes back to nope. Scorpion. We're going to stick with the same cameos. All right. The Tea House. In prior timelines, I held power. Letting Madame Bo observe the <laughs> debauchery. <laughs> it's going to be a close one, I feel like. I, I feel the same. I think this is probably going to go to game five. Starting out with his own tactics. Oh, my goodness. Gets opened up by that low hat. And doesn't punish the overhead there. Whip completely. Oh my gosh, these players are whipping now. It's like nerves all They're of a sudden. They're trying to express patience too, you can tell. Yeah, this is such a different pace than the first game. Correct. They got the download on each other possibly, so uh, it's a matter of who can hit who first. This sort of string just backs off this dark green. I'm noticing he's playing this in and out style. Yeah. You know, he goes in, goes for a quick string. It's kind of like a pull back and forth yep. motion, you know? Exactly. Like, like let himself. me just dip my toes in, and then I'm going to pull away and see if you can come near me. What a massive opening and called out! Oh my goodness, I have never seen that before. See, he's with corner pressure here. Mm. See, he's oh, on the defense, blocks. but got the open. Let's right. see Still if... Still safe even after the uh, up block there. There we go. Big damage. Mm -hmm. What's for breakfast? Lao hat? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Can Shang get out of the corner? Oh, here we go. Little push comes to shove. Oh my goodness, that's a big opening right there. I think that's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. should get Shang the round. Wow. Dark green, massive adaptation there. Yes. yes. Just more committal to those openings, you know what I mean? Like, I agree. He's great at adapting. I mean I've seen him at NEC. He's a very good player. Oh my goodness, he's amazing. Mm, nice combo. Little 215 piece there. Running away is dark green and yeah. still gets the opening. <laughs> mm. Can see he's pushing back all the way to the other corner. It looks like we're heading that way. Oh my goodness, coast to coast. Cease is taking him all the way to the other end of the stage. Pressure. Mm, already called out. Oh my goodness, big opening again by Dark oh, Green. Oh, and Cease goes right through. Of course, gets the rewind. Does Cease. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Nice call out, gets the corner switch. Here comes Lao Hat. Oh my goodness, big Pushing jump in there. all the way to the other side again. Wow, big call out on the jump. Did I get a huge punish here? Oh no, drop! Dark Green has 10 life left. Can he make it? Oh no. Wow. Cease takes that round. Imagine the presence of mind to on reaction to the Scorpion coming out, getting the up block and the punish. Amazing Crazy. by Cease. Such huge presence of mind. Wow, what a call out on that string. Trying to close the gap with Dark Green, just getting called out by Cease. And now Dark Green, again, these players are so back and forth. They are really on their game. I expect this to be a nail by this. Mm, nice call on the snap. Sets up another hourglass. Another snap called out. Oh, this another is going to be... He's zoning the crap out of him. Look at this. Oh, my Oof. goodness. 12 Oof. hits. Oof. Oof. 16. My goodness. What is this? You know, that move by Shang Tsung is like... That is impressive, yeah. honestly. To not drop that. Yeah. 16 hits. And all it, the way really, it really zones you away. Like, how can you get out of it? It's you also really the can't. time that it takes. Look at this patch now. Yes. We're at 43 seconds. Both of these players at half health. Big opening by Dark Green. Taking it down the last touch. 
trying to zone him out here. Oh, and we got Getting the fatal blow out. from Cease. Oh, my, oh wow. Not enough health. Oh, and he does it. Dark green taking game number two. Kung Zero over here. My boy <laughs> taking some pictures. We have For Mike Metroid right behind me. This man is an animal. <laughs> All right, it is Dark Green 1, Cease 1. Who is going to take game number three? Another slow start to this round. Patience. Patience is key. We've got both players being very patient, see who can make the first touch. I feel like that first round was a little bit of nerves. Now that these yeah. players are like more established with All each other. All about the adaptation, mm -hmm. you know? Best three out of five really gives you uh, time to adapt to the other player's mobility. Missed the whiff, punished it. See, still getting corner pressure here. Nice throw. Keeps the corner position. Oh, tries to go for the jump in. Called out with a down one by Dark Rain. Oh my goodness, Cease. Taking this corner. Oh Explosiveness. my goodness. Explosiveness, my goodness. 410 damage there. That's going to be it. What a big round by Cease. That's a statement right there. Honestly, round I think Garrus is top tier Fight. in this game. I totally agree with you. Yeah, I mean, not to say my opinion or anything, it's, but... It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's time for... Uh, People start calling this meta what it is, yeah. and uh, this character, I mean, we've seen what... Uh, Definitely should get some more recognition. I mean, we see what Gur has done at uh, UFA, 100%. and uh, I'm seeing some more Garrus players come around here lately. The character's strong, man. Takes time to learn, but as you can see... As all characters do. True. Everything takes time. True. Maybe not raining. <laughs> I'm not biased or anything. All right, we got Dark Green pushing him away, trying to zone him out. But Cease is creeping his way on in. I love that just instant air projectile to try and cover the whole screen there. Just reset neutral. Nice call out on the snap. Big projectile. 37 seconds on the clock. These players are playing so slow yeah, this round. Yeah, is it going to run to time? That's the thing about Shang Tsung, it's the keep away game. His zoning tactics, in my opinion, are one of the strongest in the game. But it's particularly not as useful against a character like Gears who gets not, his set of yeah, power class. Not about not against Gears, that's right. Fifteen seconds left. Dark Green is walking away with this. Oh my goodness, gets hit by the Lao Hat. Big opening here. Oh my and goodness. Dark Green Conversion? With the explosiveness. Oh! This is a close one. This is going down to the wire. Big opening. That's and the fetal blow. Is it hitting? 100%. Yes. Nice opening. Good job by Dark Green. Nail biter set. I think that uh, weekly practice last night paid off. Oh my goodness, this guy <laughs> is leveling up every time I see him. Yeah. There's a lot of people that have improved over the past few months, you know. This whole community is leveling up, especially in the area. This tri-state area, Delaware, Pennsylvania players. Oh my goodness, they are strong. Continuing the full screen keep away game is Dark Green. Young Shane projectiles. That old is Shane definitely his strategy. You know, him switching back and forth between old and Shang, uh, young Shang Tsung to keep away. Another hourglass set up here. What a huge call with that snap. Holy moly. Gets another hourglass set up. Right in the corner. Still gets 266. There goes Lao Hat. Will it make a difference? Not really. Still gets an opening though. 166 loses corner position. I don't know if that's what he wanted. Mm. I mean, another hourglass is always great. 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, big opening there on that mid. Look at it's, the meter yeah, build there. He is really hauling it. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Oh. Always painful to look at when Shang Tsung pulls that move. <laughs> Forward advancing is Cease. Call that with a big throw by That's Dark another Green. close one. And what? the fatal. No way. Oh my god. Blocked. Oh, and it no blocked. Punish. No punish at all. He hits the line. He's not going to get it back. And the oh. big call out. Oh my god. He has a pixel. Dang. Down to three. Big jump in. Oh. And then down one. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm getting excited Cease on taking these. game number three. Wow, these players are coming in hot today. You can see Cease is composed here. Dark Green is still a big smile on his face, but you know he has to be salty after that one. He had a huge opening there, could have closed it out. Dark Green always has a good attitude about the game, though. So, Both these players 
Oh my goodness. Explosive. <laughs> um, Explosive so first good. game for stream, you know? Such an impressive. Now down to game number four. Round one. Such an impressive what? lineup of players we have today. I'm so excited to be commentating this with you. Thank this you. first. I am very excited as well. This is my first time on like a big uh, stream, so uh, I'm a little nervous, but nothing to be nervous about. You're doing fantastic. The people love you. I wish I could see the track. Look at those zoning Ooh. tactics. Ooh. My gosh. Ooh. Ooh. 275 and still gets OT full screen. Mm, so nice. Lao Hat puts him on his butt. What a punish for that hourglass. Not even willing to waste the... I mean, how can you waste it there, right? I mean, like, look at this. Wow. That nearly, game of keep away is just astonishing. Nearly 30 seconds of just full screen projectiles by Shang. I mean, that's basically his majority of his moveset, right? Like, Shang is a zoning character. If you watch Wraith play this matchup, he would play completely different. Yes. So much more rush now. Different base. style, yeah. And of course, not playing with the Scorpion, right? Obviously, going with Goro is Wraith. Wraith also brings out some Sub-Zero occasionally, too. Big call out there on the overhead again. C's demonstrating that he actually has an awareness of that, but look at the damage he's eating for it. Nearly 423. Crazy. Plus the additional, obviously, for hitting the cameo. Just big. Big, big damage yes. here by Seas. Oh, throws him right back into the corner. Oh. And we got the Fatal Blow again. I think probably a panic button there. Might I, have I, been. I don't know if he was trying to punish the Lao Hat. It could have been a misclick. Try again. Still, I mean, like, you know, at that life total, if you get the Fatal Blow, you're basically putting it to last touch, so. Correct. Of course, Dark Rain of his winners. His winner's life right here. This could, Big be, opening. this could be set point for Cease. Blocks the Lao Hat. Hourglass. We got uh, Cease creeping in. Putting Shang Tsung in the quarter, possibly. The game of keep away. That is literally what this set has been, is all keep away. It's so interesting looking at these micro movements that these guys are pulling off full screen. Just yeah. slight movements in and out just to try and beat out anything. Oh no, big whiff there. See, skip the eyes. Puts him back in the corner. What's for breakfast? Lao Hat. Pressure. Lao Hat. Oh, was that a taunt? Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is getting disrespectful now. 33 seconds on the clock. He's on the defense, but can he come back in to find an opening? Dark Green pushing out of the corner. Pulls himself full screen and calls out. Oh my goodness. There's so much happening in these last 20 seconds of the game here. Oh my goodness. Pressure. This is 15 seconds. Dark Green is really trying to make it happen. Oh and my he goodness. might. Is that the opening that he needs? N nine seconds. Oh. He's got to make something happen. Big opening. Oh my goodness. This Three seconds. That's going to be it. time. Wow. And congrats to Cease for making it past winner's round. Mm. He'll be moving on. With the candy cane. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a great first set to start nice. off this tournament. Very Ooh. good job by both players. These players both with a great attitude. Look at this. Handshake. That's what no you got to have in this here. community. Mm -hmm. You have to have a positive attitude. I agree 100%. What a great That was set. a great opening. That I'd so love good. to see who we're getting next. You know, this is a 35-person tournament today, so uh, we're gonna. It's gonna take a while to go through some matches. But you're dealing with 35 killers. I Fantastic. mean, like you are dealing including with yourself. Oh no, 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 no! Please do not put me anywhere in the same category as these unbelievable maniacs that we have coming up on the stage. I'm, I'm just looking at this bracket, even just for the first round here, right? We're looking at Gur, Ray Riazzi, King Mike Tiza, Metroid, Mike Metroid, Kung Zero, Kung Zero Wraith. It's like. <sighs> Just unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable We players. really got some some top tier people here yeah. today. I hope you guys are all watching and enjoying what you're seeing. And uh, there's going to be some great moments later to come, too. So while we were off um, while we were off watching um, Dark Rain and Cease, I see here that Kirby 3-0'd Felix. Uh, McBeans taking it over as right Rose 3-0. Uh, we got King Tiza taking it, I want to say 3-2 against Ray Riazzi. Yeah, I think that's that's mislisted there. Yes. Tiza, of course, advancing there. Um Kung Zero taking it 3-0 over Yen Bones. Um, and we had Vision take it over Faceless Man. And 
HF taking it over Bread Geezy. Wow. So now we're we're really starting to narrow down this yeah. first uh this first bracket here. Mm-hmm. We're going to have Gur against Tiza in winner's quarterfinal. Uh, we're just waiting to see who's going to be up against Kung Zero, Cease, and HF versus Vision. Of the pool, that is, yes, of course, right? Correct. Because we're all, we're, these two brackets pools. are all advancing all the way up to top eight, obviously. Yes. So, Yeah, this is crazy. I'm looking at these names that are still in here. <sighs> it's going to be an exciting day. A these lot of people were really excited to come out today, you know? People made, like I said, those long trips. I know that Dragon, here. Dragon drove two and a half hours just to get here from Delaware. Um, obviously, yeah, Gurr, yep. uh, you know, taking you know his time out of uh, uh, c getting here from New York. I think he took the uh, the bus yes. to get here. So we didn't have too bad of a drive. It was almost an hour for us. But uh, like I said, people are willing to take that commute to just play against John these top King. players. Today. Oh my goodness! Now we have now next we have Mike Metroid and John Week. What a uh, what a, a showman we Mike have here Metroid. in Mike Metroid. <laughs> Coming on a three-hour drive just to play. Just to come back and uh, get the run back to what my if butt. If any of you guys saw his performance at NEC against Wraith in those grand finals, I my goodness. That, that was one of the best grand finals I've ever seen in any NRS game Hands down. Ever. May no have a rematch business. today. We'll see how the pools go. Do they? I mean, let's see. Where, how, how does the bracket Round advance here? One. Because we have, if Mike Fight. advances, yeah, it's going to be for, for it's going to be for top eight, obviously, winner side. And we got these two doing, I believe, button check right now. Yep, just a quick button check. Johnny Cage. And so let's zero. see what cameo Mike Striker. Metroid's going to bring out today. I was, I was playing like some casuals with him over the past Why couple weeks. Rogue? I know he, he loves the Striker. I think the Striker is honestly his it's best. It's his top tier, best cameo he could use, but he also pulled out a little Mataro too. Mataro with the, the plus frames, man. I mean, that is so plus. He's getting constant pressure. It's really the new version of Lao Hat after yeah. they, you know, made it minus two. Striker is the new cameo and probably going Round to get nerfed one. next patch Fight. if they do so. Oh my goodness, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think All right. is probably so we got Johnny Cage coming out explosively. John Beak on the defense with the sub zero. However, we did see Sub beat Johnny at NEC when Aztec pulled him out. So there is a possibility that Sub Zero could could beat him. Nice pressure by Mike. Juan Wick looking for, oh, looking for an opening here. Mm, of and, course, and striker. And Johnny just rushes him down. Oh my God! Drop, big drop by Mike Metroid. Nice. You got John Wick trying to push him back all the way to the right corner. And that block. That's how I know you've never seen John Wick. Juan Wick, you get it? Oh. John Wick, Juan Wick. <laughs> I mean, sorry. I'm a huge counter I'm a little fan. basic. <laughs> <laughs> we have to watch it. Round Four yeah. great movies. Four really good Fight. movies. Um, of course, called out there. Mike Metroid, we all know him for his explosiveness and Showman style trip, of play. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh. Open up with the overhead. Pushing him all the way back again to the corner. Can he do it? Oh, no. No, get him dead. Nice Good try with the Lao Hat. 50, 50, yeah. Big low. Oh my goodness, called out. And of course, Striker's not covering him there. Nope. Wow. Coming coast in hot. Coast. I have a feeling that that's what we'll see this match is a back and forth. I cannot believe what I just saw. He just got a side switch combo with down two. This is unbelievable. How much pressure is he going to get? Nothing. Wow. Right over to restart match. What a convincing opening by Juan Wick. Like I said, these players are coming in hot. Fight. On to game two. Same opening by uh, Mike this time with the uh, the EX Shadow Kick. Wow, these staggers. Hella disrespectful by Mike. Big opening in the corner. Just a cool 296, you know. Yeah. Oh my goodness, the glasses the coming off and of course drops it a little bit. Chance here. See John Wick pushing him all the way. Nope. Mm. Juan Wick, nice presence of mind to continue that string and hit the striker. Not going to be available now and of course just making the call out is Mike Metroid. He's also got the star power Round as well. Two. This Five. this player, one of the best star power Johnnies yes, I've ever seen. I agree with you. He really knows how to utilize the tool. 
Oh my John goodness. John Wick coming in hot. What a zero. huge dive kick there. Pressure immediately by Mike. Mm. Put him back to the middle of the screen. Push him all the way to the other side. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Still gets the opening. Blocked. Mm. Star right, about to exhaust. Him? This is getting close. Oh my god. Open. A big overhead. Blocked again. Oh. And there's a the striker. Sub Zero. Ooh. He's coming in hot with the keep away, but uh, we got Mike Metroid taking game number two. What a change of pace yes. from the last set that we Round saw. These one. players are right what? in each other's face. Yes. Goes for it again, the disrespectful shadow yeah, yeah, Mike Metroid has that style of play. He wants to be in your face. Yeah, of course. Of course, playing Johnny, but also just the way he plays Johnny. You know, really wants to get in there and get in your brain. Nice block on the wow hat. Big overhead. Down one. Tech on the back throw. Nice. Slowing down his pace a lot is one way. Maybe if he plays a little bit more patient, he could get around. The the closeness of Johnny Cage. Oh my goodness, this is not where you want to be against Johnny Cage. No, the corner is the last place you want to be. Still gets the opening. Oh my goodness. Oh, big. and he puts him back in the corner. Big opening. Wow. And oh my goodness, the dive kick doesn't convert. These guys are going down Lau the wire here. Gave a little bit. Block. Striker covering him. Still no conversion. Oh, my goodness. Big block. These guys have so many layers they of defensive play here. Explosive. Very technical, too. It's not, you know, easy peasy. This is um, one of the most explosive subs. Mm, nice opening here. <sighs> Drops the combo. Down one. Puts him right in the corner, right where he wants and him. And there goes Striker. Oh, falls for the overhead. Big opening here for Mike. Nice opening again. Getting almost last touch here and calls it out. Can he do it? Oh my goodness, the yep. disrespectful sunglasses again. And of course the brutality. Mike Metroid taking game number three. Brutality. Explosive, man. So explosive. I'm so happy Johnny that King all these players wins. are coming out hot today. This is what we expected. Such an exciting set, man. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I, it, you, you wouldn't expect it, right? I mean, the, the, um, Sub -Zero. you know, the narrative Strike. thus far has been Sub -Zero. that Sub Zero somewhere in the bottom hey, three. Hey, but if this is what we're seeing now, Johnny Cage somewhere in the top three. If anything, that's just a testament to how balanced this game yes. really is, you know? Yeah. This game is very well balanced compared to a lot of the other MK games that yeah, we've seen. Yeah, I agree. And the Injustice games, too. I mean, this is definitely, in my opinion, the most balanced uh, Mortal Kombat game that, that we've got from NRS. Best I might say. What? Ooh, switches to Serena for this round. And gets an open up does Mike immediately. Sub here. Serena. I think Serena might be sub strong as cameo. In wow! Game. Unbelievable, unfortunate series of events there for Mike Metroid. Not only getting open up right at the start, but then just walks himself right into the clone. Of course, you cannot contest while he has Striker there. Getting pushed to the corner. Big opportunity here for Mike Metroid. Yeah. Goes for another the high. Down, Called that immediately. Down one puts it back on. Oh, can he get out of the corner? Disrespecting the plus frames of Striker, though, and immediately calling him out is Ron Wick. Round two. Giving Mike Metroid a run for his money here. Getting that switch up on the nice corner position. That was right back into the corner. So wow. Good. Oh, my God. These players are so disrespectful of each other. Ooh. <laughs> Something about the way when Sub does the hammer. I just I love that sound, man. Visceral. Yeah. Mm. Kind of safe there. And duck the Serena. Interesting. <sighs> Oppression here. Oppression session in the corner. <laughs> like Metroid just playing respectful for a quick second. Oh, big call out. Oh, but he knocks him right back into that corner saying, nope, you're not going Is anywhere. he even going to have a breaker here? No way. Filling up the star power is Mike Metroid. But John Weep has round. his meter. Putting him down. To his winner's life here. Oh, big opening has to immediately break. Blows that bar early on. Oh my goodness. Oh. Called out on the forward one. Still plus there. Oh, drops it on the star power. Oh my goodness. What a call out there. Mm -mm. I'm just mesmerized by how crazy this is going. Look at this. This is mm, this, this makes Mike me cranky. Metroid, this is what he's known for. 
plus. Oh my and goodness, cannot possibly and come Mike back Metroid from that And Mike Metroid moves on. In Winterside. 3-1. What a great set. Everybody's you know? really liking these candy canes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> the Christmas is still over. Is still, yeah, but we're still <laughs> in the spirit over here. We're still in the spirit. John still Wick putting up an impressive fight against Mike Metroid. I mean, you played Mike before. He is no easy This guy's amazing. Feat. One of the best one of the best Johnny Cages we have in the scene. Um, and looking at our bracket, it looks like HF moves on on winter side against Vision. True. Yes, yeah, so we have HF sitting in winter semis of, of our first bracket. Um, and Gurr is going to be going up against King Tiza. I want to see that on stream so badly. It's looking like a really strong first pool. Yeah. Really, really strong first pool. Let me pool. see who we have in the let's, loser side yeah, here. Let's check out the loser side. So we have Faceless Man versus Brad Jeezy. Waiting to see who's going up against Dark Green. We got Ray, Ray Riazzi versus MC Kirby. Yem Bones versus Azrite Rose. And Fa Faceless Man moved on from Felix. Sick great, first great bracket. first bracket. This is a sick first bracket. I'm trying to get a peek over. Oh, my goodness. I see Gurr sitting down at the console. And our chat. Let's, uh, let's get some nice positivity in the chat here. We can pull it up. Can Rob. we? Technical difficulty. Sorry, we're still new to this. <laughs> Do you want to show me? I'm totally inept. <laughs> also over here in Jersey, we're having some great weather for a Saturday. 56 oh degrees, feeling like it's like springtime, even though next week it's going to be like 25. Just cool enough to wrap the... They had to do it today just for the tournament. K&J shirts. You know? Mm-hmm. Yes, beautiful MKNJ shirt. We are also giving away Baraka t-shirts as well for 30 bucks a pop. Um, uh, We're not really giving them away at that point, are we? But, of course, you want to throw the three, three bucks at the community, eh. right? I mean, like, you want to see these kind of events. Yeah. Let's see. We're pulling up chat right now. And next. You're the man. This is beautiful. What you're setting up right here is gorgeous. <laughs> I love this. This is nice. So now I'm going to be able to see everybody who's talking to us here. Hi, everybody. I would love to see. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I see over here running a stream for us. Of course. Combat Network, I mean, these guys are top tier. Mm -hmm. I mean, the best. I've been, I've been, I have been competing in Combat Network tournaments for, for a long time. over a decade. Um, Icy, Shock, always running the show flawlessly. Mm -hmm. Clear professionals. Top tier. Just even being honored to commentate today is a big deal, oh, right? Cool. Like we it, have. I'm really honored, especially with a with a, a, a mm -hmm. roster, a roster like, like, this, like this. Yep. Yep. All right. We're so who do we have? It's gonna be Gurging Tisa. Yes, I really wanted to see this on stream. Oh yes, they are next on show. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. Oh, King Tisa has been playing around with a few different characters, so let's see who he's gonna pull against Garrus Gears. today. Gears. The oh, only thing I can say, I'm really happy that I am not in Wraith's bracket this time. I you don't always <laughs> get with Wraith. You're always in his bracket. Wraith, this Wraith. time, you are not. I know that I know that. We got the Gears mirror. Look at this. Him. I haven't seen this yet, so this should be interesting. Quick button check here. This is going to be such an interesting wow. mirror match. I'm so curious because, you know, Gears obviously having the ability to pull mm -hmm. these hourglasses full screen. This is ridiculous. Are, are they going to rush each other down? Are they going to zone each other? This I've never seen this at a high level yeah, before. Yeah, this so. will be an interesting strategy. Round one. Fight. Oh, interesting. Wow. Gurr coming out hot with first hit. Interesting. He, he literally rushed him down just for first hit. Now just staying right in his back four range. Wow, big opening here by Tiza. Broken. Back to full health is Gurr. Something about Gurus. I just love watching him character on screen. Oh my goodness. It's Look so at these, pretty. <laughs> these hourglass footsies. Mm. Big advance by Gurr. Nice overhead by Tiza. Seems like this is going to be a little bit of a rush down. Oh my goodness. Huge opening here by Tiza. No break by Oh my wow. goodness. I could have sworn he had hourglass cards here. does not have the break yet, but he's building up to it. Gurr finally sitting on a full stick of butter in a big opening here. Off does Gurr crazy. Look at this. Down to wire. Calls the snap. Snap back. Oh my goodness. And they both got Lao Hat too, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, 
Big call out there on the hourglass. Gur taking the first round. That's really close. I know. I know. He's just going to give him a run for his money. Nice call out again. <laughs> going tip for tad here, are they? Mm, big throwing him into the corner is Gur. Look at this. Mm, big whiff punish. Just put him back in the corner. One touch situation. Oh my goodness, what a massive opening. He's going to have to break this here. He's not going to be able to. He's going to leave it unbreakable. Wow. Oh my goodness, and the back shots there. Gur takes game one. Round we all, we were all waiting for those Gur back shots. Even last night, too, was weak. Like, <laughs> calling out the Gur back shots. Mm. Even the flawless blocks by Gur. Yeah. Just knowing when he's going to pressure. Oh my goodness. He's just, uh, such a seasoned player. I mean, these guys are a cut above, you know, I mean, like, Gur, Dragon, these are, like... <laughs> Gur might have the run back with Dragons today. I think he's our first seed today. Yeah, Gur yeah. is our first seed today. Yes, so. he is. After his win at UFA, he is, uh... Well-deserved first seed. Yeah. Or, no, I'm sorry, not UFA, DreamHack. The DreamHack, yeah. Yes. The UFA, we saw um, the uh, debut of uh, Tekken Masters for Oppen, Oh, actually. yes, that's right. Oh. Why am I getting the two confused? Wow, what a big combo by Tiza. Putting it down to one touch. Oh my goodness, gets called out again. And I see he's blowing bar there. I'm not sure if he's trying to rewind. Um, but it just... Possibly. Just Round two. Fight. Not getting the opportunity. Trading Lao Hats. Mm, hourglass, Hourglass. Calls it out with a snap. Mm. Oos. Pushing right him to the, the other corner. Blocked, but it's just too far away to punish. And you can and see Gur smelling blood in the water, mm -hmm. just getting a lot of aggression in there. Yeah, Another he's definitely coming out hot for this one. Look at these whip punishes. I mean, like this guy. Gur is just... He just knows what he's doing. He literally knows it. Snap. This That's going to be it. <sighs> I mean, like, if there's a matchup that Gur knows... Gur uh, knows the Gearus mirror. He, he knows it. Like, the back of his hand. We got Gur taking game number two. I and Tisa, no slouch. I mean, no, like, this he's is, giving him a run for not, his money. Do not be deceived by yes. what, what you're seeing on this screen. This is not a full blowout, no. Slowing it down a lot is Tisa now playing the full screen game. Being a little bit more patient, trying to pick up the neutral play. Tries to get the punish, and of course, those buttons just a little slow there. Nice opening by Tisa. Mm. Big jump in. Oh, oh, nice by Tiza. That was beautiful. Gets a rewind. Um, I don't know if he wanted to do that. That seemed like a misclick to me. Gonna get a huge opening here, Isger. Another hourglass Ooh. loaded up. Another hourglass loaded up. Oh my goodness. Out. Sitting on three is Gur. And two. both low ha low hats go out. <sighs> what an opening. Getting another rewind is Oh my goodness, it calls it out! Getting corner position here is Tisa. Is he feeling himself finally? Can he pull it away? This is getting close. Oh, look at this patience here. 28 seconds on the clock. It's like, push me away. Oh, Don't come near me. Big overhead by Tisa, and he calls him out. Big round Good from Tisa. Finally, Tisa. maybe making the turnaround here. Fight. He might have adapted. I don't know if Tisa's ever done the Gears uh, the Mirror. He's feeling himself. You saw that command grab wow. come out there. Mm. Tiza might be on something. Lao Hat, yep. Oh, going back to Oh my god. In and out is Tiza. Just getting called out every once in a while by Gur. Puts him in the corner. Gur content to just sit right on top of the Lao Hat. Wow. Blows his hourglass there. They're both reloading. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Oh my goodness. I, I don't know what that setup was supposed to be by Tiza. I cannot believe I'm watching this right now. This is so good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the impression by Gur. Gur taking that round. Final round. Could Five. be match point for Gur. Is this going to be a swift 3-0? My goodness. Possibly. Oh my goodness, another massive call out. And the thing is that Tiza just wants to make something happen here. Yeah. Really he's, wants he's to approach. going to try and pull. But it's just getting called out every single time by Gur. Mm -hmm. Gur's still just making the right breeze. Still sitting on full health here. Finally a down one poke. Tiza's got full stick of butter. 
and we're seeing a little nerves come out here. Ooh, drop the by The pressure, Kurt. the pressure of it being possibly match point. Tease has got to pull out whatever he's got. Big overhead, finally gets corner pressure. Oh, still trading tip or tap, but you don't want to do that when you're at this big of a life deficit. Big opening by Gurr, and ducked. And it is a 3-0. Gurr moving on. Tiza will go into losers. I mean, like, I'll, I'll tell you something right now. I played with Tiza a lot. Tiza is a phenomenal yes, player. Yes, yes, he's but that very, just shows very you good. Gurr is a, a, a cut above, right? I mean, like this man. Gurr, brutal, knows what he's doing. brutal, brutal. But one of the nicest guys in the community you'll ever meet. Potentially the nicest guy in the community. <laughs> My goodness. Wow, I'm kind of speechless. I've never seen the Gears mirror, so that was exciting. Destructive, too. I mean, like, that mm -hmm. was really... What a breakdown of that matchup. Just waiting patiently was Gert the yes. entire time for uh, uh, he, uh, for Tiza to approach. But he pulled out and, and was a little explosive, you know? First hit, like... I mean, like, the thing is that he was starting out the rounds with just enough approach that he could get that touch mm -hmm. to get the meter lead and then was just running with it yep. the entire match. Yep, it's just, I like, agree. crazy how tiny little marginal... Um, uh, changes, Every little hit counts, you know? literally. Oh, Every little hit counts, but let's see who we got up next. Uh, let's take a look at our bracket here on winner side of pool one. We got Mike Metroid versus Kung Zero. That's going to be so exciting. That's going to gonna be a great one if it's on stream. Kung Zero, one of my training partners. Mike Metroid, obviously. An You've incredible. also played a little bit against Mike Metroid I have. You know, I, online. He's playing on PC mostly, right? Mm -hmm. So I, as, a, as a PS5 player, I don't get as many opportunities to play against him. Yeah. Obviously, I'm watching the Combat Network stream every opportunity I can right. so that I can see him play. Um, oh my gosh, and we, we have got Tekken Master. Master in the chat. Hello <laughs> What's there. What's going on, Tekken Master? Yeah, we, we got have Wraith and Seize also on winner side, so it's going to be Shang versus Garrus. That should be an interesting round, and uh, let's see who we got over in losers. We've HF took it over Vision two, three, one. Yes, we're looking at Dark Green versus McBeans, Azright Rose versus John Wick, and Ray Riazzi versus MC Kirby still. Tekken Master, it's good to see you in the stream, man. Thank you for supporting the community. Yeah, thank you, Tekken Master. It's very sweet of you. <sighs> man, faceless man. Really, really good Ashra player, man. Yes, he's great. Very sweet guy as well. He, You know, some of these people came out last night to the uh, weekly that we had. It was a uh, eight-person pre-register, but we got over 20 people yeah. who showed up. Yeah, it was actually a huge tournament. It I mean, was the, great. The, the, it, I was running brackets last night. It was such a fun time. If what anybody is, has the opportunity to come out, to the MKNJ weeklies that we just started yesterday. Yeah. With a huge turnout, massive, massive talent Way bigger in. than we expected. And you know what? We're hoping that this keeps growing and people come and support us. We want to stay here. We want to be able to do this every Friday night. Definitely. So, you know, it's up to you guys. It's up, up to your attendance. It's also a beautiful part of New Jersey. You know what I mean? I We're love North, North Jersey. Bergen. It's like ugh, such I a gorgeous area. I love North Jersey. There's so much shopping and so much sights to see up here. You're right next to the city. Like, yeah. It's awesome. I love it. We're we're probably one of the best parts of the country. I agree. I'm not biased. I agree. Definitely anything. biased. 100. <laughs> percent Jersey strong. Um, also in the loser side, we're looking at Ray Riazzi versus MC yep. Kirby. Um, as right, the winner of As Right Rose and Juan Wick is going to go up against Vision. Vision, yes. a masterful. You guys Scorpion are pretty player. good friends too. I know you guys have played some long yeah, sets yeah, yeah. against each other. Oh, he just bodies me. Every one of these <laughs> players just destroys me. I um, I kind of play. I'll, I'll throw in a little Omni Man and Luke Kang. Have you decided on your main no, yet? No. You know, no. it's been six months like, of this game. I finally. like running this <laughs> stuff. It's so much fun, and I like just to watch. So. I'm more of an observer than I am a player. Well, but. you clearly know what's going on, and you've still beaten my butt, even though you don't play um, as regularly I as I do. I was taught a Liu Kang, what was it, the 17-part combo that you showed me? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. It spent like two hours practicing it and finally Serena executing combo. it. So, uh, I mean, But it was with Serena. It. it was with Serena. Still good. I mean, listen, man. I like her as a cameo. Personally, I do like her. I feel like she's got a lot of strong moveset, and I love when she throws out the... Uh, the daggers yeah, or of course. Their, whatever they're called. Shurikens, whatever they are. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? She, whatever she throws out, yeah. Um, but uh, that's the awesome thing about this game. Compared to a lot of the other NRS games we have, this is a, like a true tag game, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like, the, the, the versatility you have in these matchups and the development of the meta based on the use of these cameos mm -hmm. just gives us so much flavor. I yeah. see this game lasting a long time. I really do hope... The cameos are what really make it spicy yeah, in my opinion it you does. know it's it's not just you fighting your opponent you're fighting your opponent and another kind of like another player almost of course i mean like cameos are completely game style enabling right i mean like we mm -hmm. see that striker is obviously um you know reversal uh pressure yep. uh you know uh uh, uh getting 50-50s mm -hmm. off of lao hat getting uh you know uh even uh, with the lao hat nerf it's still very strong yeah i mean listen lao hat i think needed 
the appropriate level of tuning, yeah. and I think that they gave it exactly what it needed. And unfortunately, um, NRS, yeah, exactly. Some beats. <laughs> Thank you, Akasic, for we're it still waiting for those desync <laughs> issues to get fixed. I know everybody. I know it sucks. I watch Hercules play almost every day. It's so and funny. See him get desynced, and it's like, why, why, it's why are you not letting me enjoy this game? What's hilarious about it is that I saw the patch, mm -hmm. right? And I'm sure everybody did the exact same yeah. thing. They saw the patch. Hopped into Combat League. Let me try this. Finally, it works. Nope. I played one game. <laughs> instantly. I mean, everybody saw Dragon's tweet. <laughs> you know, on Twitter of the, saw of the never mind. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's disappointing that we can't get that caliber of play yet in, in Combat League, but I anticipate that it'll happen eventually. Yes. Um, I keep trying to see who we're getting up on the stage right now. It looks like we have a vacancy here. Maybe setting something up I'm is probably just working through some diff uh, technical difficulties yeah. right now. Yeah, I'm just trying to peep over there and see what we can get done. <laughs> oh, we got Mike Metroid versus Gur. Everybody, my head's about to explode. I can't believe what's about to happen right now. No, it's good. Okay. I think he was talking about the box yeah. in the middle. It, I actually liked it. It was like yeah. where. So it looks like, wait, it looks like Mike Metroid did beat Kung Zero. We're just waiting to see the score for that because uh, we got Metroid versus Gur coming up. It looks like pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be such. I've been waiting to see some of these top players go against each other. Such a cool match. I'm so excited for this. Like, Acastic, I totally agree with you. I think we just need a little bit more from NRS. I hope somebody from NRS is watching this. I even tried to check their Twitter. I've seen nothing on Twitter from them, and it's kind of disappointing because you have so many people complaining about the desync issue. And and there's so many people who are in love with this game. I mean, like, honestly, NRS, you made the best Mortal Kombat game you've ever made. Hey, a lot of people are going to Combo Breaker. I saw the tweets. I saw a lot of you who said they signed up. And uh, It's so cool because this Combo Breaker specifically, we have so many unsponsored players yes. spending thousands of dollars to go both That's themselves and their significant others because at this point we I'm have going. a very mature community you know yeah. what i mean of course, of course you're, going. Gonna, you're going to keep the company there um is it on stream on p1 Here's side nice. oh that's hilarious Johnny Cage. Aww, hey surge let's surge. go <laughs> what's up surge nice How's to see you going? man Dude, you should have made it out. We met Surge at our uh, locals in Rawway when they were going on, and uh, so nice. I mean, these so guys, nice up and comers in the streaming community, right? But they do such a great job. Power such Surge a great job. is so good. They were running Rawway mm. like like champions, and of course, the Rutgers tournament. Yeah, as well. yeah, Rutgers was great too. These guys are top tier talent. Hopefully, we'll see you guys the next weekly or MK and J. So come out when you can. I mean, we have John and Kung Zero here too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like two of the three. Of the, uh, you know, the trifecta of power surges here. And it looks like we do have Gur and Mike Metro. We're just waiting for them to come on screen over here. Akausik, to answer your question, it does not appear that Kung Zero DQ'd. I see it's supposed to be Kung Zero Mike Metroid. Oh my goodness, it's supposed to be Kung Zero Mike Metroid. No, Mike, um, Mike beat Kung Zero 3 1. We got, we got Gur and, uh, Metroid on right now. We're just waiting for someone on our screen. This is going to be so I mean, like, honestly, I have to say, Mike Metroid, one of my absolute favorite, absolute favorite Johnny Cage is playing against one of the best players in the world right These now. These two are explosive. Oh, and we got Gur taking it, looks like. Did we start up? Oh, my goodness. I totally there missed it. There we go. <laughs> oh, like, my God. I'm on the other screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I totally missed it. Dragon is here, yes. Yeah, Dragon is there. For sure. And we got Mike Metroid pushing Gears to the... Oh, nope. Thought he was going to push him to the other side. We do not have that. Pressure. Pressure. Down one. Big call out. Oh, my goodness. Plus, plus. Pushing him right into the corner. Doesn't want to give up his turn, does Mike Metroid. Big call out on the corner. Mm, nice tech. Crazy that that punishes. I cannot believe that no, that actually worked like that's that. That's insane. <laughs> ridiculous. I don't think Striker needs tuning. I do think that's ridiculous, though. I think that's crazy. I think he does need some. I don't know what you would fix. I don't even know what. Make so it high? Strong. I mean, like. <laughs> let's give him more recharge? 
Now nah, I like to know where it is. Hello, Mari. Mari, how we, we doing, dude? You. Mari, our previous MKMJ kind of, champion. Yes. Now sponsored by ELG, not making it out. What the heck, Mari? And Gur takes game one. <laughs> Mike Metroid over here, one of the biggest personalities in the scene. Always love when we see him come out and, and give that uh, energy. Yes. Round one. Fight. Jumping right into game two. Another disrespectful shadow kick. Okay? Interesting that he's going for a lot of down one checks here. Not really perpetuating his pressure. Huge opening here by Gurr. Throws him right to the other side of the screen, basically. Fat 400%. Trying to close the gap here with the Shadow Kick. Doesn't get punished. Closing the gap oh. again. Just a little anxious is Mike These two here. are really trying to get in for an opening. Wow, did you see those stutters? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This I movement. sure did. Mm, looking really good. Going for the back shots. It's Gurr just right <laughs> to drop. Oh, jumping right on top of the Lao Head. Of course, getting covered by Striker. No Striker right now. Wow, disrespectful down one. That one special. Mm. Coming back mid screen. Doesn't get the jail there. Oh my goodness. What an overhead and the presence of mind for Kerr. They just set him up full screen there. Yeah. I think that's my that might be what they're going for, is to push each other across full screen. Definitely not. Uh, no, Mike you don't though. Think so? No, definitely not. He wants to be right in his face. Look at him pushing him into the corner here. Oh, now he's getting his opportunity. Oh my goodness, and the first throw gets called mm -hmm. out immediately by a, a micro duck. And we got the break from Striker. Bro, Gur is on something today. He really is. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh my goodness, there's just so much going on. Big back oh, three axe kick. Wow. Nice call out on the rewind Great and drops the Mike combo. Memory. Striker oh. doesn't cover it. Gur taking game two against Mike Metroid. Bro. You. Craziness, man. Gur is playing like. A gamer today. I mean, I mean, you played against him last night. He, this man is sweaty. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. Dude. I, mean, I, I, okay, I play the game. Not like this guy, man. I mean, when I play a, a player like Mike or especially Gur, especially Striker. Dragon, I feel like I don't really know how to play neutral anymore. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know how to play. No neutral. way, you man. Know it. What? Do I become an asshole? Bro, Mari, you're missing out, dude. I'm telling you, you're missing out. I wanted to see your Kenshi level up. I wanted to see you start playing that Shang Tsung. Don't worry, man. I'm seeing you on Twitter. Nice big opening by Mike Metroid. Keeping oh, it there. Really trying to get in gear space here, but I don't know if that could work. Instant positioning reversal and immediately moving away. Trying to close the gap is Mike Metroid. Really feeling the onus to rush him down yeah. at this point, you know? I agree with you on that. He really is trying to rush him down, but somehow Gurr has the download. It's just, I, I don't even know if it's a download or soundness of game plan, right? It's just like, oh my goodness, gets right oh, over the low. Wait. Gets the rewind here. Oh my, my. I agree with my, you, my Fruity Fetus. I totally agree with you. This tourney is stacked and more people should definitely show up and watch. Bro, I, I, I think, I think, People are doing themselves a disservice if they're not, not watching these weeklies and monthlies. I mean, like, we're bro. all here on our Saturday for a reason, you know? Mmm, big opening by Mike Metroid. Nice, putting it to one touch situation. He really knows how to put you in that corner, and when you're in there, there's almost no way of getting jail. out. You're in jail. I mean, yeah. like, but, hey, look at Gurr getting out again. It's like he just cannot get locked down there in that corner. Throws him. Mmm. Nice opening there. Good job by Mike Metroid yeah. taking that round. Good presence of mind, taking it. Fight. Trying to keep his winner's life alive here is Mike Metroid. I don't know if it's impatience or just like imperative to just rush him all the way down. Yeah. Striker getting in the opening there. Two amazing players. This is so fun to oh, watch. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I, I saw the idea there, trying to get through the Lao Hat, but yeah. held it, did Gurr. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's just a call out with the high. Mm. Oof, he throws his, him right over. It's in his brain now. Staggers. Can you push him all the way back to the corner? Staggers. Oh, nice back match by Gurr. Just finding the opening. Pushing him away. Can he do it? Yeah, Johnny's definitely trying to be in your face. Look at this. One last opportunity here. Oh my goodness, literally sitting on one health, and that's going to be it. That's 3 0. Convincing 3 0. 
Biker. Wow. I mean, like, listen, Mike. Really Bedford, impressed. This man is no slouch. I am. I am actually a little surprised by that outcome. Yeah. Um, not that you're one, but just two the, still very great players. I mean. Anybody watching right now, seeing my eyes explode, it's like, my goodness, I'm, I I actually have not Ger seen... Gur is gaming. He is on his shtick today. Bro. As is always. These guys? <laughs> but this is crazy, don't man. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BFibs and at HerculesFGC. We post we some good content. Guys. Yeah, yeah and would appreciate the follows. Constantly, you know, promoting these amazing tournaments, mm -hmm. man. We're always reposting, retweeting anything that Arma has up. We definitely want to get more support out here. 100%. So let's take a look at the bracket. So we got Gur taking that one. And Sitting in winner's finals right now for of the this pool, pool. Of the pool. And then we got Wraith versus HF in the other semifinal to get on to the winner of... Yeah, whoever wins that side. is going to win, is going to go against Gur. And then on loser side, we got Kung Zero versus Faceless Man, King Tiza versus Dark Green. That should be a good one. Vision versus John Wick. And we're waiting to see who's going to verse Seas. It's, it's either going to be Ray Riazzi or MC Kirby. Interesting way that this pool is turning out today. I just see, first of all, I see kind, gentle Gur sitting in the back here. Don't let him deceive you. Do not be fooled by this man. He is with a machete, carving his way through this bracket, yep. all the way into top eight. Just like last night, he carved his way through the weekly. I mean, he, he made it, it look easy, man. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie to you. This man made it look easy. Um, <laughs> he made it look easy. And uh, Cease is there. Yeah, of course, Mari. Yes. Um, sitting in losers right now. we got HF versus Wraith. Wraith was the winner of NEC back in uh, December. He actually played Mike Metroid in the grand finals. And won, and that was like like we said, one of the best sets ever. One of the so. best grand finals I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the other side is HF. I had an opportunity to play against Same. HF. HF is a yesterday. very seasoned Sindel. Took me out of top three of the um, of the local yesterday, of the weekly. Same. Um, double eliminated me top. with Sindel. Um, this guy <laughs> you got your knows what he's doing, man. I mean, this you Sindel, got mm, it's yeah. clean. This, the yeah. mix was so I'm very interested to see how Shang Tsung is going to combat Sindel's Vortex just and just her. Are these guys going to zone each other? I didn't yeah. get to see what Cameo was playing here. This but is some interesting matchups that I think we haven't seen before. And Wraith starting out with the Goro. Yes. Interesting. And Sindel with Mataro. Mataro. Interesting. Really? Okay. Is this just for a button check? Yeah, I mean, they're button checking right now. HF sure. was using Lau yesterday, so this is a really interesting uh, interesting cameo choice here. Are these guys button checking? It looks like so. it looks like a button check to me. You think so? I don't think so. Maybe not. <laughs> This would be the long. This is an injustice one oh, button it check. Was it a is. Button check. <laughs> I thought this was the actual. I'm like, jeez. You're right. It is game on. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, we have just banger after banger yeah. <laughs> coming on the screen right now. Round one. Fight. All right. Let's see. Is Wraith gonna zone him out or is he gonna rush him down? This uh, should be interesting. I'm seeing a lot. Seems like he's zoning him out a little bit. Of uncertainty almost. Oh, and from Sindel misses the Goro. I, I, I'm seeing uncertainty from the approach here by HF. It's like he doesn't I don't know, know if he wants he, to approach. He's being a little hesitant. He doesn't know if he wants to go in or if he wants to pull away. Wraith, top caliber player. This guy is going to smell blood in the water. Oh, yeah, of course. Now he's. Now, of course, the stagger is opening him up. Wraith making, making oh. the entrance. Oh, he drops the. Uh, I know exactly what he was going for there. Wanted the scream. No oh. whip punish on that. Big opening. Okay. Finally. And HF making that opening. Mm -hmm. Gonna pull some damage here. Oh. oh! Armor breaking. Pushes him right in the corner. What an opening Just here by where HF. Sindel wants you to be. Oh my goodness. Oh, just drops that ender there, though. Into spikes, of course, and that's actually gonna chip out. Imagine that sequence yeah. did about ten percent right there, just in chip. Fight. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I really do like the Mataro choice here. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'm seeing obviously the concept with the shield there, but it's not doing anything against Old Chang, you know. And that's where it seems he's having problems. Of course, punch walk there plus now since the rework. I think he might be able to push him back a little bit once he uses Mataro, not with the shield. That's just my prediction. I, I'm just not sure it's actually gonna it, it's, it's gonna pay off in the dividends that he's looking for there. I guess getting 
you know, really fast recharge so that he can he can kind of set the pace with yeah. shield. But Sindel has great range though, so I'm very interested to see how much he's going to use the air to to keep Chang away. But I don't know, Chang is is zoning Sindel out. Oh, big opening here by HF, immediately broken by Wraith. Oh, man. Presence of mind here by Wraith. He is just really, really on top of his yes. movement. He knows when HF wants to press a button, and he's capitalizing I big agree. time. Look at this. Calling out the jumps again. Gets over that one. Oh, Spike. Maybe out of panic. Oh, nice backflip. <laughs> <laughs> I like the backflip. I don't know. He backflipped himself right into the corner, and now it's a big opening dropped by HF. Really wants to put pressure here. But the defense, Wraith really put, now he's getting him out of this corner. Goro, oh my goodness, and presses the button. Immediately restart match, so this is deliberate. He really is yeah. trying to go for the Motaro in this matchup. Yep. So interesting, I've never seen this no, matchup played like this before. It. Well, I'm not sure how much experience HF has against the Shang Tsung, but uh, I think, like I said, this is an interesting choice. Nice poke there. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oos, oos. Big opening, set up. Oh. Yeah, the uh, tail, oh. that's what I'm saying. I think the tail will benefit him. The thing is, I think he wanted to get the throw there to set up with Mataro into a combo, but just kind of mistimed it a little bit. Still sitting on a really healthy life lead here on the second game is HF. Oh, big opening by Wraith. Oh, another big goes, opening. But there's the break. Has to break. Does HF. Wraith's building his meter. Eventually, he will have the opportunity to break. This if is hella close, actually. Yeah. Projectile puts his here. Wraith trying mm. to keep him away. Pressure. Resetting neutral is HF. Oh, my oh, God. Gets opened up. Yes. That's going to be it. And the fatal blow. Does this, this do 41%? There's no way, right? I mean, like, that's not possible. It might I'm, be close. I don't know if this is going to kill. I can see Wraith in a very mash-heavy position right now. Mm, break that pad. Mm. Not and gonna, not nope. gonna end it. Oh, and the mid-projectile opening yep. him up. Round two. Fight. I'm so surprised he's not using Lao. To get the 50-50 opening he here. May, he may switch next game. We shall see. I don't know. Mash cam would be yeah, great. I that totally would be agree. That would be hilarious. Although we do have we a have side event today. today. Yep, yep. We do have Test Your Might, which is a Fatal Blow uh, side contest. But, I guess one player Fatal Blows. Mm -hmm. Both players mash their hearts out. Yep. Whoever matches the hardest wins. Yep. Five dollar entry. Mm -hmm. I even got John in there. I'm <laughs> throwing my five bucks in. I'm like, you are definitely going to do this. Look at, look at Wraith. On look at it. this. Oh my god. Transformed. No punish by HF. Oh, wow. Just randomly lets wow. it go and doesn't get the conversion. Another HF big opening. HF make the opening. This, this might be a big one for him. I'm not sure I understand what these Mataro setups are. Oh, of course. And armored out by Wraith. Shang. What a great character. Ray taking game number two. He's literally going right back to restart match. I, 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 again, He's not I, switching the cameo. I'm, Interesting. I'm, I don't know this matchup well enough to know if this is if there's something particularly that he's looking for here. But I, I don't see the Mataro giving him what he's looking for here. No. Especially not he against He may Wolchang. need the, the Lao had to give him the 50-50s. And just getting opened up. Walking back. Big opening here by Ray. Oos, oos, oos. Resetting his board. Imagine getting fast Goro now. This is so messed up. What I love about Sadelle, she's able to jump over those projectiles so high. The float. Yeah, the float is so it's messed so up. good. Oos, oos. Nice. Pressure. Spike there. Resetting neutral is Wraith. Oh my goodness. This man, like a book. Gotta have a lot of respect for Wraith. He is such a great player and very well respected in this community. Bro, Wraith is cooking, which means... Round two. Fight. Is this to get into top eight? Oh. It is. It is. This is for top eight winner side. Yes. Old Shang. Big pressure. Mm -mm -mm. Nice spikes. Oh my goodness. Calls out the jump. This man is on top of him right now. Fight back, HF. Big opening. 
broken immediately. <sighs> Calls him out. Sitting at half health is HF. Full stick of butter, though. It's still possible. Definitely. Now, finally. I see what he's trying to do with the Mataro. Yeah, just blowing it so he yep. can get himself all the way in. But now no mix, and he's in the corner, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, the Sindel mix in the corner does a lot of damage. It really does. Oh, I see it now. Of course, he's getting the recharge on the Mataro. Genius. So there was a strategy behind the Mataro. He calls out the overhead. He still has a chance here. Still sitting on a full stick of butter. I know Wraith doesn't want to give him a chance to break and calls wow. out the up block. And oh, my goodness. We got... Off with her head. Mm. 3-0. Wraith is moving on to top eight. Shang Tsung wins. Hey. Another great set. All right, we're People, seeing our, we're seeing our top eight round up a little is, bit this here. This is not a disappointment, not a disappointment at all. The furthest thing from a disappointment. Yeah. I'm very impressed with these players. Um, Gur advancing to top eight winner side. Now we see Wraith advancing to top eight winner side. So let's see who we got over on losers. This is going to be an interesting losers uh, pool. Run here, right? Because now now we have this rounding out a little bit. Kung Zero taking it three two over Faceless Man. Probably a nail biter. I know yeah. those players are both phenomenal. Dark Green taking it 3-0 over Tiza. So Tiza is out. Crazy. Vision taking it 3-0 over, over John Wick. And then Seas versus Ray Riazzi. We're still waiting for that result. Uh, yeah, Kung Zero versus Dark Green. Lao versus Shang. L4. What's your thoughts on that, Hercules? L4 with Kung Zero and Dark Green. You know, I, 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 I'm going to tell you something right now. Kung Zero... This man can mix. He knows how to mix. Bro, he knows how to mix. He knows how to mix. Um, we know Kung Zero very well from our locals and just from going to tournaments. He, he actually knocked you out in your first MK He did. You right? know what's so funny is that I was about to make top eight. This man showed me the mix. Oh, Kung you know Lao is known for his mix. You know, you know that. You know how many hours I had to put to learn that matchup afterwards? Yeah. Then? Oh, my God. I was so disappointed. This guy really knows how to do it. I would not be surprised at all to see mm -hmm. him make it all the way to top eight. I know. And then right. on the other side, we have uh, Vision waiting to see the winner of Cease versus it's Ray Riazzi. It's either going to be Cease or Ray Riazzi. Uh, there's a possibility that Mike Metroid will have to face his brother in Losers. <laughs> You're right, actually. Holy if, moly. If we, say, if we see Ray Riazzi beat Cease, we see Ray Riazzi beat Vision. Oh, my We're going to see the brothers. <laughs> what is this? This one is not going to disappoint. Oh, oh. This is, I need my popcorn. <laughs> I need my popcorn today. Who did Cease lose to? Cease got knocked into losers by Wraith. 3-2. Yeah. Yes, we are almost done with pool one, though, and we're going to have pool two starting up shortly after that. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really looking forward to playing with these players. I am yeah. not looking forward to getting Hercules my ass Hercules will be in pool two. Oh, Just so we can not, commentate not, this first. Not, not for long. Not for long. Oh, stop it. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> hey, you did great at NEC. You never Man. know what's going to happen. Man. Never say never. These guys, oh, this is such a treat, honestly. To be able to be in the same room as these guys watching these matchups get played. Mm -hmm. What a blessing. For someone who has only known the game since September, this is my first Mortal Kombat game that I've ever been a part of, ever experienced been to with the tournaments and stuff. It's How a you lot of fun. It? You it's a lot it? of fun. It's good to be involved. And it's also good to bring your friends, bring your support system with you. It helps hype you up. I love coming here to be with Hercules and support him. I'm at every tournament, every yes. weekly. I try. I ran brackets. I love doing that. I love doing this. So uh, We have DJT in the chat right now. What's up, Tenzel? Um, we do not have Mari here cooking. He's cooking in the chat, though. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, but uh, unfortunately, didn't make it out today. He was the yeah. previous winner of, of MKNJ and unfortunately not able to make it out That's today. That's okay. That's okay. There's a lot going on. It's the beginning of the year. COVID's running rampant. People got stuff going on. It, it happens. Post-holiday season, yeah. too. Everybody's short on money. And, of course, they launch Combo Breaker and CEO right after time. you just it's blow like all your money for Christmas. It's like, what the heck? You know, man. That's, um, how, they, that's how they get you out of your money. <laughs> but thank you guys for being active in the chat. We love to see you active. We love to see your comments, your opinions on these matches. This is entertainment for you guys. Look, look at this fat chat, though, right? I'm seeing Scar. I'm seeing Mari. Double knives. Akausik, uh, DJT, we saw um, Tekken Master before. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, we're, we, we have a top eight where's in our so, chat. Where's Sonic Fox, though? Where's Sonic <laughs> oh, Fox? Oh, man, here we go with the fox. The where's fox Sonic summoning. Fox? Where are you at? Yes, I'm going to call you out, even though I don't, you don't Calling know me. Calling him out. We're looking for, for, for Ninja Killer. We're looking for Fox. We're looking Come for on, the Come on, it's uh, the guys the that you twins. guys always play against. 
Here we go. Oh my goodness. This so one we're going to have Cease really versus Vision. Cease versus Oh my goodness. That means <laughs> that Ray Riazzi got eliminated. We are not going to see the brothers no, fight against each other today. Unfortunately, not today. That's okay. That's okay. Vision is a fantastic Scorpion player. I don't know if he's going to be going Scorpion today. Oh, he does, of course. He also does Liu Kang. That's true. I've been seeing him practice a lot of Liu Kang. I don't know what, what matchups he's particularly looking for. Scorp Scorpion Gyra should be interesting. I haven't seen this one either. I have not seen this one either. What has the Hourglass shown you, Gyrus? The Hourglass, man. Round one. Fight. Probably setting up with a button check here. Yeah. Yep. Yep, we got a button check going on. We got the button check. Alrighty. Getting right into it. Vision versus round Cease. One. Loses round four. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Spear early. Recently switched over to Striker Cameo. Did yes, vision. that's right. He was playing that with you yesterday. Maybe a little bit of influence from two days ago. Two days ago. Two day oh, correct. Oh, no punish there on the overhead. That no, was yesterday. Blocked. He was playing with you before... Before the yeah, weekly? The weekly. Oh, yeah, the weekly. Oh, my goodness. Bro, my brain. It was not... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nice opening here. Keep We're the seeing a lot of gear assists today. I'm quite honestly shocked. Seeing the damage there, man. 406. Crazy. Oh, my goodness. Striker just a second a hair off to be able to get the punish there. Wow! Nice Pulls jump him right back, back in. Mm. Ooh, oos, oos. Nice. What's for breakfast? Goes for the... Oh, oh my goodness. That teleport. Risky business there. Flawless block on the spear. I love the scorpion spear. You know, just kind of a checkmate situation there. Has to get over the la hat. Jumps Round back to try and, yeah. and, and, and set up the situation, of course, called out Plus by the Cease. Scorpion Spear has such a long range. You really got to be careful with that. It's like Sindel hair. You just got to be careful of how far that can go. Otherwise, you're stuck. So funny, right? Because, I mean, as, as slow as these buttons are by uh, by Gears, he, he still gets so many opportunities. Look at this 50-50 opportunity. It's like he's still got such huge forward advancing yeah. range. And the mix is just unbelievable, right? Crazy. I mean, like, look at this. Shutting off that forward advance. Oh my goodness, and getting the snap here? Nearly a perfect. Wow, what a convincing first round. Cease taking the first game. First game, excuse me, by Cease. Sheesh. Yeah, the Northeast does produce a few Gearses. That is correct, I would say. What do you think? I think the Northeast might be uh, ahead of the curve a little bit on yeah. this meta. I'm seeing a lot of very, very strong gears. Tri-State, um, man, we really know how to produce players. A lot of people love this game up here. Drop there by Vision. Nice catch on the on the backward movement by Vision. Putting him all the way in the corner here. Mm -hmm. Oose, oose, oose. Nice tech there. Can Cease get out of the corner? Maintain. It looks like he is. Ooh, just going to push him all the way across the screen. Back to the other side. Nearly tied it up he there. Did he? Oh my goodness, this is basically tied up here. But look, sitting on a full stick of butter mm -hmm. is Vision. Cease could break at any moment. Oh. He gets uh, stuck. I see, you see he lost the bar there. He tried to EX teleport. True. Just couldn't get it through. True. Cease. I don't want to say putting on a clinic, but he is really well, aggressive here. He's on it here. today. Coming all the way from Virginia. Amazing. The amount of mm -hmm. geography we're covering with this tournament. We got tournament. Ghost coming all the way from Maryland as well. Shout out to Ghost for making the trip up here. Did Ghost make it in? Yeah. I didn't even see him. Yep. My goodness, we there's so many players here. We added yep. Got Furious Pillow also coming from PA. A lot of people coming from different states in Jersey today. It's good to see. Pressure. Mmm. Big opening. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Closing it out. Look at this life total. I, 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 zero. I, we're Holy gonna have to, moly. I did not expect this. I really didn't. A, a, a monumental adaptation Does here Vision by Vision. Does have a lot of Gears mashup experience? I, I, That's the real question. I, I mean, tell if you. he doesn't. I, I, Gears one. is such a unique but character I know. To play you, don't, you either see a lot of him or you don't. And now we're seeing a little bit more of him. I mean, Gur is showing everybody what's up, right? Yeah. I mean, like, like you even tried Gyrus, I think, a little bit, right? I did. I did. I tried it out, but, you know, I... Cosner uh, mentioned yesterday he wanted to try a little bit of Gyrus out, so... Re revealing the tech, are we? Yeah, huh? <laughs> maybe. Just calling him out here. 
Interesting taking the last hits of that so he doesn't have to take the striker pressure, I guess. Patience there by Vision getting opened up. Immediately broken. Pressure. Down one. Oh my goodness. Nice Holds micro dash back. In. And of course, you're still not getting pressure there. Gear sitting on another bar. Gets another hourglass. Oh my goodness. Doesn't convert off the jumping kick. Putting him in the corner. Oh my goodness. Look at the range these guys are playing at. Yeah. Just, just outside of that gear's overhead range. Mm -hmm. Trying to whip punish any Aaron Button. What a huge the jump, jump in. made a difference. Presence Jumps either make or break your game plan. Look at these. This, this turnaround here finally gets the gets the touch. Does vision taking around, mm -hmm. seeing slight adaptations here. A little bit more patience in neutral. Reverting to zoning here, is sees such an interesting switch up. Wow! Oh, drops the conversion on the uh, on the sandstorm there. It's like he's intentionally taking those last few hits of the figure eight. Yeah. Just so he doesn't just have to, to deal with get the, it. Uh, yep. the he striker pressure. Just to deal with it. Nope. 50-50. You got to guess for your life there. Mm -mm. Broken by Vision. Is he gonna? Is he gonna live to regret that? I mean, this. Oh my oh, goodness! There it is. Geez, that was dirty. And it's like he's setting up now for the third round, right? Just loading up an hourglass, setting himself up, knowing that he's gonna take this one, and there it is. With a beautiful corner position too. Yeah. Man, Cease. Clinical. He really knows what he's doing. And this could be match point for Cease. This is his tournament life right here, Vision. You know, he's really gotta make a change right now. Mm, getting opened up. I wonder if he's able to flawless block that and just throw out Spear. I, I, unfortunately, I don't know the match. Possibly, no. Wow, just gets, gets him to whiff the Sandstorm there. Ugh. Of that course, turning back going time. on the other side. Striker pressure. Oh. oh my goodness, just mashing a little bit too much as Vision getting put back in the corner. Oh, now, now you're, you're in hell. Vision's almost got a full stick of butter, though. He could make a, a big move if he breaks. Big opening. He's going to have to blow one here just to get the damage, I bet. Yep, there's one. Mm -mm. Oh, drops the ender. Going for a throw. Nice presence of mind to know that Cease is going to want to play defensively here. Oof! Dropped it! I can't believe it! He had a chance there! And you can see that Cease knew that it was about to be curtains for him. Playing so defensively! What a duck! Oh my goodness, just gets opened up. Unbelievable! Is he gonna finish it? Oh, he does. And he got... Fashion. Just Cease so unfortunate. moving on. Vision had it in the palm of his he hand. He almost had just it, Just slipped right through his fingers! Still, great job by Vision. Gyrus is not... Not easy. easy to go against. Yeah, He's no. really not. No, this is a... Uh, I don't know, man. I, uh, I I anticipate that now that we're getting to the uh, the mature portion of this game's lifespan, a few months in, people yeah. have had an opportunity to experiment with different cameos, I cool agree. teams. Yeah, you're, a lot of... You're going to see a lot more Gears. Yeah. I, I bet you. I mean, he's technical. You can't just play him right off the bat. I, I mean, unless you've got a lot of experience under your belt, you know? Yeah. But... Uh, that's like playing Kenshi or playing Shang, some really hard characters. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I honestly think Gears might be the most complicated in terms of, of game plan, yeah. in terms of neutral. I think, I think you might be right. Probably the most complicated character to play I in the game. You might be right. Um, Who do we got on our bracket here? So Kung Zero versus Dark Green. We're still waiting to see the results from that. And... Uh, we're waiting for, I think, Cease Mike Metroid is going to be the loser's corner final in this pool. Yeah, it is. And then what are we what are we waiting for here in loser's quarters? We're going to see HF fighting... Wraith. So HF is going no, to... No, no, no. We saw that, did we not? No. HF versus Wraith? No. Just saw it. Two matches ago. Oh, my God. We did. <laughs> we did. Yeah, so that hasn't updated That's yet. Just, yeah, that needs to be updated. Yeah, we're going to see We're gonna see HF and losers going against... And did we see Kung Zero versus Dark Green? No, we no, haven't seen no, that yet. I think that's being played off screen right now. Um, No, they might be on screen, actually. Are they? Mm -hmm. Who's sitting down right now? Oh, we're seeing Dark Green and Cease. Yep. Dark Green and Cease. Wait. No. No. Dark Green and... HF. Dark Green and HF. Which means that Kung Zero, unfortunately, eliminated in Losers Round 4 just before his opportunity to, to attempt for Top 8. No, I had a blunder, Mari. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Kung Lao, the hour.
Oh, Mari, I'm, I'm feeling the same way. I'm like, how, how can you not remember? That I'm was sorry, such a, I had a blank. Such Please, a it's been a hyper it's, it's match. It's gonna be a man. long day, okay? Very <laughs> that was a good one. Bibs, you're doing you're doing a phenomenal I'll job. Try. So honored to be on the mic with you. Oh, thank you. Such a blessing. What? A, oh my goodness, look at these bags here. Mm, you know we're getting one of those uh, disrespectful. Let me just get the mind game started. Button checks here. Yep. Another Shang Sindel matchup. Fight. But as we've seen, Dark Green has slightly a little bit of a different play style compared to Rage. Really interesting now. You see that HF has switched up to Lao. Yes. <laughs> and he hilariously, the mistake. I, well, I don't know about that because hilariously, he's now playing against the Shang who wants to play full screen and zone you, right? So, I mean, like two fundamentally different game plans here by these two different Shang players and getting a massive opening as HF here. Corner position, big damage. What's for breakfast? Oh my goodness, block for your life. Another setup here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. nice by, by Dark Green. Still not getting him out of the corner, though, is it? Mm, of course, breaking there is HF. One touch away. Oh, the names might be mixed up. You're right. Yeah, names are definitely mixed up. But that's okay. We know exactly who's playing. HF on Sindel, obviously. Dark Green playing a nasty! Oof. Shang here, look at this. Mm, last touch, and he gets... He just gets clipped by that Lao hat. Round two. There we go. Fight. Dark Green coming in hot. He's definitely trying to rush Sindel down. What a huge up block there. Eliminating that option immediately, and look at the punishment he's eating for this. Just embarrassment, oh. right? Oh. I mean, like, you're sitting, eating 375 for 10 seconds. Now you're full screen. What are you going to do? How are you getting in? Float's not gonna help you here. You you see that Dark Green is covering that option. Wow, yeah. he just finds the opening there. Holy Slight moly, movement macaroni. in. Oh my goodness, he's in. Ooh. Really mm. trying to put that pressure on HF. Full screen projectile game here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, another Ooh. huge opening. Yikes. You hate to see it, you love to see it. I'm, I'm just hating it, honestly. <laughs> I don't, I don't. don't get me wrong, I really, I love Dark Green's um, shank, but this yeah. is, uh, yikes. Oh, well, Dark Green taking the round. Final round. Taking Fight. it to final round for game one. Dude, Chang is so dirty. This character can be I played know. in so many cool ways. I think that we're going to see... A lot more of Chang eventually. I think we're going to see more Chang eventually. Yes. Now that yeah. you know, players have had like time to lab yep. the rest of the uh, you know the rest of the cast. You're going to see more of it's those technical characters coming out. Yes, Denzel. This is so sick. <laughs> Fibs, if you don't know, DJT. Obviously a veteran of the scene. One of the greatest players of all time. Starting in MK9. He and his brother MIT. I mean, just... Top, top tier talent for the past Very decade cool. and change. Hey, I'm still learning, um, so. Dark Green definitely trying to zone out Sindel. And just, you know, like, just trying to play with the Lao Hat to at least establish some counter zoning pressure. Really doing a decent job of it. Oh my goodness, Rodney Dangerfield. Wow. No respect at all. Huge overhead. Puts him back to full screen. It really is a full screen battle, I feel like, this, this time. I'm so surprised at the switch up here on the cameo. It's like... And the fatal. Wow, just letting it go. Oh, there we go. I, I don't know if you can mash out of this at 33%, right? I, I don't know. No, no. I think it might be over, yeah. right? HF taking game one. Round one. Bro, Sindel is <laughs> an I mean, people character. keep saying Sindel might be the best character in the game. Oh, listen, Sonic thinks so. And uh, and I know a lot of other players are agreeing with him. Definitely in that super high echelon yeah. of the game, right? I mean, like, she's got... Look at this. Zoning is unbelievably strong. Float is disgusting. The 50-50 is a true vortex. Yeah. Breaks armor. You have to eat it. it you're, you're guessing for your life. And unbelievable. Just letting the screen go. I don't know if it was with respect or what it was. But getting a huge punish Dark here is Dark coming Green. in really aggressive. Nice turnaround, finally. Oh my goodness, what? Just, I can't believe he had the presence of mind 
to call out the low whip. But he did it. What a turnaround by Dark Green. Dark Green may be adapting. Fight. I think so. I'm definitely seeing adaptations yeah. here. I mean, like, just keeping up the full screen zone pressure, you know what I mean? It's like not letting him get an inch. Now, of course, Sindel snapping her fingers. That faster recharge on Lyle Hat. Going to give her a couple Shane's more opportunities. Trying to keep her away, though. Now he's got to go in. <laughs> and Dark Green is like, no, thank no. you. I'm getting you all the way back. Get away from me. Nice with that low. But yet again, you want to be careful because if you push Sindel away, she's going to use her hair. You know, you got to be careful. Hair normals are so broken. Man. I mean, like that, I, uh, honestly, labbing that stuff, that is literally yeah. just a, a pixel away from being as long as Kenshi's forward too. Right? Just give me an idea. That forward, you know, the forward one by Sindel. Unbelievable strength in those sword normals. Um, how to sign up? Start GG, of course. Yeah, start GG, GZ, MK, meet us on start GG. You can also follow Arma on Twitter, and he has the links to the start GG sign up. Wow, big block on that overhead. And of course, going to close Fatal. it out here. I don't think he can match for his life here. I mean, it's 40%, right? You think right? you but try. I, are they mashing? I see it matching. Yep, yeah, yep. You can see it. And Dark Green put a big smile on his face. He's like, there's no way <laughs> I'm surviving this, am I? Dark great <laughs> attitude about this game. Both of these players. Yes. I mean, like, so cool. Yes. You know? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Fight. Taking it to final round. Ooh. <sighs> it could be either of them for game number two. In and out is Dark Green. Oh my gosh, this is such a nail biter, honestly. I mean, yeah. like, look at that pressure there. Full screen, just putting himself all the way back now. Sindel's got to close the gap. Wow. Doesn't get the conversion off Lao Hat. And Dark Green blown through all his cards just to keep her out. Nice conversion, nice obviously break. broken there. Yeah, I definitely like the Lao Hat in this situation. Yeah, Mari, I, I totally helps. agree that that up block on the score, right? I mean, that is so cool. Still full screen. Is HF? Oh, one touch situation! Ooh. And now he's got the opening here. 38 seconds. Plenty of time to and work with. And like we said, you just Dell wants to put you in the corner. Oh, calls it out to wake up and still doesn't get the punish. One chance here. Oh, my goodness. No. Oh. Dark, Dark Green. Dark Green taking it. Getting himself on the board. This might be a close one. This is a cool one, man. Such a complete change of, of, of game plan. From what we saw with Wraith HF? Yeah, I agree. Hey, Shang, I feel like you can play a few different ways. Oh, yeah, for sure. And we've seen, as you can see, multiple different styles. I'm, I'm getting more of an Arn Kratos vibe from, okay. from Dark Green's um, right, right, right. Shang. You know, uh, not not as much, not not as transform heavy, mm -hmm. you know? Whereas we see a lot of disrespect from Wraith oh, just trying to beat yeah. you with your own character, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, that stuff is Yeah, dirty, Dark Green man. seems to love playing just Shang. You know, but having the opportunity to switch and transform. Oh my god, huge opening here. Oh, that's going to close it out for sure. Now, going into round two, sitting on nearly a full stick of butter yeah. is Sindel. HF has got to make something happen here. Getting a rest lately. Ooh, pulling back to zone out. That was a really cool technique. Whips the full screen. Mm -hmm. Getting a chance here? Oh my goodness. Whipping the fourth one and just getting pushed out again. Broken immediately by HF. But putting him a full screen. I mean, that's not where you want Shang Tsung no. in this matchup, right? I mean, you really don't. Oh my goodness. That mid? Oh, destructive. Nice presence of mind on the throw. There comes There's Lao Hat. Oh, he avoided it. I'm seeing a lot more patient neutral here from HF, but yeah. I don't know if he's trying to close the gap or not. It's like he's playing. No, this he's kind of like, you know, doing a little bit of teeter-totter with it. Yeah, like a, like a mid-screen style, and it's not paying off. You see the big opening here again by Dark Green, putting it to a one-touch situation. 250. Nice flawless block. It is 1-1, one, one, Mari. Oh, my goodness. Gets opened up by the low. Goes for the disrespectful overhead. Oh, oh my goodness, calls out the down one with armor. one now, dark green. Making the comeback a little bit. And this is for top eight losers. Yeah, this is for top eight losers. We're going to have four Thanks. of our top eight competitors locked in here. Scorpion.
What a so treat. Exciting. Oh. The fire what a treat. Very I like your flannel, by the way. Thank I just realized you. you're also wearing a flannel. And the it's trademark nice vest. out today. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I look a I'm a little preppy, so. MK and J, baby. Let's go. You know how we do it around here. Yes. Ugh, the best tournaments, man. <laughs> wow! Nice call out on the forward he approach. Just really pushing them all the way back to the corner. Nice combo there. Closes it out. Oh, nice. You see the switch out here? He mm -hmm. has sub zero. Oh, yes, he does. Maybe sub armor. He thinks it's going to help him out. But this is how you learn what works and what doesn't. I mean, it's just interesting, his choice of cameo gear. It's just coming a little late in the match, too, you know? Um, hey, some, maybe a light bulb went off in his head. You never know. Oh, dropped by Dark Green. Big block on the overhead. <laughs> mm, oos, oos, is that it? Oh, dropped the ender. Does Dark Green respect and gets thrown for wow. it? 130 damage throw. You know that's going to kill him. Nice turn around here. Make the comeback in this round game and take two. it to game five. Even if he's, it, it's a lot closer this round. And he's yeah. just setting up. All he's doing, really, is setting up the, the sub armor. Trying to sit back a little bit more, mm -hmm. right? Forcing look Shang to waste all his bar. Now sitting on absolutely nothing, yeah, right? Yeah, both of them are basically sitting on nothing except... But able to counter zone now. Right. Is Dark Green. Is uh, HF, excuse me. The sub armor might help Sindel with this. I, I'm seeing it, right? I mean... Yeah. It, it, oh my goodness. Just calling out that jump back every single time. Getting a massive conversion. Slight drop on the ender, but still 260 is nothing. Right. To, nothing to sneeze at, man. Oh, wow. Pushing full screen. I guess he, that's where he wants him again. Yeah. Only the forward movement is dark green. Sindel tries to push him full screen, but Shane pulls him right back in. Push him away. Wow. Dark green. Putting HF on his tournament. Yeah. On his tournament life? Is that what we're seeing? Final right round, now? yes. Dark Sheesh. Green could take it all, or it goes to game five. Wow, call out on the low. Staggers. More staggers. HF on the defense. Can he make the opening? Poke on poke, and of course he's not gonna get it with sub armor there. Nice punish. Gets his turn. Nice opening with the low. Doesn't convert. Calls it out. Ooh. Oh my goodness, and he just lost his breaker too. He just used yep. sub zero. So even if he builds it here, he's not gonna be able to get out. Of course, all projectiles, he wasn't gonna be able to break it anyway, but yep. oh my goodness, big opening here. That, wow. that might be it. Finally breaks Could it, does Dark HF. Green knock HF out of tournament. That seems unexpected to me. Honestly. Very, very shocking. I mean like HF, really good Can't player. always go by the projections. Wow. But we see here a big, big opening. Oh my yep, god, drop the combo. It. 130 damage oh, throw, though. Here we go. Going down to the wires this one. 33 seconds. This may actually go nearly to time. So much patience now by Dark Green. back to Old Shang. Oh, oh, my goodness. Calls it out. Oh, with the fatal blow. And a quick restart match by Dark Green. He does not want to deal wow, with that at they all. they are moving. All right, taking it to game five. Oh, my goodness. It's getting packed in here. It's Everybody wants to see this match. in here. I see Icy with a big smile on his face, too. He's enjoying it. Everybody's enjoying this one. <laughs> oh, big opening with the low. Goes for the overhead again. Low poke. Stagger. 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 So much respect by HF. Nice wow. up block and finally finds the opening. Threads the needle. This is a sick match. You are right. Oh, this is seems the MK1 like I'm looking forward HF to. HF seems to have gotten the download. I don't know, man. This is so down to the wire. Oh, my goodness. They're moving fast. Nice throw. Resets neutral. Puts a full screen. No sub armor. So you're going to have to just sit there and hold this for a minute. Mm-hmm. Stagger. Pulls him right back in. Can he push it? Nope. Going full screen going back again. Out. Trying to call out the sub. I think, nope, doesn't get it. He's going to have to play respectful for a second. Ooh. Big opening by HF. Oh my Ooh, goodness, just blow. throws it out, and he, he makes it happen. It. Oh my goodness, I'm wow. getting so loud. This is such, oh my goodness, this is such a close match.
Look at this match. Look, look at this man crazy. mashing. Crazy. Unbelievable. Look at him. We love to you see, see the dark green mash. See the afro yep. vibrating nope. as well. You can see his brain. Popping Still not enough. A bit. Oh, my goodness. Round two. All right. This could be match point for dark green. My goodness, I'm enthralled right now. Yeah. HF feeling a little blood in the water. Gets opened up by the mid. That overhead's not going to cut it. Big air to air. Right back in the corner, but we got a break by HF. Pokes. Respect. Going full screen. Sub armor. Presence of mind there by HF mm -hmm. to just snap away yep. a little bit more Sub Zero I timer totally there. I agree with you. Crazy poke! Oh my goodness. These players are whipping out everything that they got for this, this last game. This is so close! Very close. Big armor Big, there! That could be the opening that each half needs. Oh my god. And now he's got a chance. Mm -mm. Oos, oos. Put some full screen, oh. sub armor, reset again. Look at this. Recharge time on the sub zero. 26 seconds. This is going down to the wire. He's going to want to get one more sub here. I don't know if he's going to have a chance to set it up. Oh, Just whipping oh. all over the place is Dark Green. Dude. Is HF going to close it out here? 13 yeah, seconds. I, I think, think he, he is I enough. I think he is. Oos, all right. Oos. This is going back. This Oof. is final round. Game, Game five. five. Oh, my goodness. This is it. This is for all the marbles to get into top eight. And we got a full house over here, too. Oh, Love my goodness. To see I it. cannot believe how many players are stacked in this room right now. We got Alphabet. <laughs> we got King Gur, Teaser. Gur. Ray Riazzi. Goodness gracious. Sub armor it still set up? It might be a Dream Hack repeat. We will have to see because these brackets are not going as expected. Now we're seeing a, a couple shakeups yeah. based on the seating. Oh my goodness. Makes the connection there. Oh my goodness. This is down to the wire. These players are neck yep. and neck. This is Trying a good to make board. the connection. Finally gets sub armor back up. Not going to have it for a second. Looking for a snap, maybe? I don't know. Oh, oh nice shot over it. there by Dark Green. These players are driving me crazy. Yeah. I cannot believe the pressure that they're putting in. each other under. He's got the opening. Oh, He's doesn't call the out the jump. Gets a throw. throw. Putting him on his life here. Last legs. No sub armor. Look, he's, he's, he's waiting he's for a chance defense. to reset the sub. Patience. 20 seconds HF on the clock. Be, being really patient here. Oh, my God. Using the scorpion to get himself out. Avoid the sub armor mix. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It gets the opening. 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, oh, no. No. Six seconds. Five oh. seconds. Oh. He gets the opening. That's it. That's it. And claps all around for both of those players. My we goodness. got Dark Green moving on to top eight. Eliminating what a HF. Phenomenal oh. job in this tournament. He both took my breath away. Players. That was insane. Fantastic. Right down to the wire. And you saw that salty yeah. match restart. Mm. Yeah. He's just like, mm mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I, I don't know want to see no fatal. It's fine. I'll take my loss. <sighs> that was a spicy meatball. I did not expect HF to be out this early in the tournament. Did not. That was a nutty set, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. We are seeing banger after banger yep. every single one of these we got, sets. Like we said, we got some top players here. We got, we're got we still waiting on Dragon. Uh, Pulse, if he is here, is potentially uh You're talking about playing. second bracket, yeah, right? Oh my second God, I'm, pool. I'm, I got I to gotta take a look at our second pool right after. We do have we Mike Metroid and Cease going on next for the last uh, top losers eight. round before top eight and going to pool two. But let's take a look at pool two. Let's give you a sneak yeah, peek. Yeah, just a quick preview of what we have in pool So we got two. Dragon. We got Cosner. We got Furious Pillow. Missed Hercules. Hercules is going against going Ghost. Going against Ghost? Oh, my goodness. I'll, be, I'll see you guys on the mic in Ooh. just a sec after that. You know, Because <laughs> I know Ghost is... Ugh. Yes, the alphabet, band. Red Nose, another great Kenshi player, Stu. Stu, oh, top this 16 is of NEC. Be a it's great like, second bro, pool. silence return, Maigo. You are seeing, oh my goodness, killers here. Killers. Killers, <sighs> killers. But we love to see a lively chat, so keep on going in the chat. Thanks for uh, whoever's participated thus far. And we love uh, to see all you guys there. We love to see some excitement and energy on the other end. And it's all love, guys. Mm -hmm. It's all love. This community, this NRS community, mm -hmm. you know it's all love. Yep, so we got C's, uh, and so it's going to be a Gearus-Johnny match next. 
I know that Mike has got to be a little pissed that he's sitting in oh, the loser's yeah. bracket right now. Oh, yeah. Um, like, I don't think he's going to let Cease get away no. easy here. No. Um, I, I, Especially I, since he just played Gurr's Gearus. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, he's going against another Gearus. He knows what to expect now. And Let's I mean, see what plans no, no out. disrespect to Cease. But I mean, getting the warm up, essentially, with Gurr's Gearus, I think he's going to have a much better approach to the neutral yeah. the second time around. This is exciting. I'm like, I'm sweating, honestly, watching these. I these know. are like nail-biter sets. These are nail-biter sets. These are nail-biter sets. Oh. Yep, we do have Pulse in the house. Do we? Yeah. Oh, phenomenal. That's going to be we awesome. We do have Pulse in the house. We got Alphabet over here. Tiza. Cage. Some big turnout today, guys. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm such a fan girl that I don't even play this game. <laughs> You play plenty. You play plenty to kick my butt. That's These two all that matters. You are pretty cute. They should date. <laughs> who is this? We are. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just to make that apparent, we are. Do you know who that is? That's the Anitis. Oh. That's the Anitis on his Heidi. On his Twitch wow. Heidi, nonetheless. Wow, you know, I'm an idiot, man. How are we doing? Thanks, Ted. One day, this man is going to make it out <laughs> to, to, a, uh, to one of these locals before he becomes a daddy in March. Yeah. Um. Shout you gotta outs come. To you gotta come to this. is so much shout fun. Shout out to Ted Michelle. It. These guys. Oh my God. The cutest married couple I've ever seen in my life. Um, but he is an outstanding Raiden. The one who put me onto the fact that Raiden is definitely not yeah. an easy matchup for Kenji. Yeah. Um, hey, there's some people out there that you don't know about yet that just may be that good. You never know. Laugh all you want, Ted. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> all right. We got Johnny versus Dearest. Ken. Mike Metroid make the comeback. Not necessarily against Gurb, against yeah. against Gears, right? Yes. Reclaim his exactly. honor in the matchup, exactly. you know? You gotta see if Mike Metroid wow. comes in with a uh, very rush down approach. Something I would expect though. You saw that frame one parry come out. Mm -hmm. Still not enough to actually make the connection after the the, the stand one. Um, oh my goodness. Just literally going straight into Hype and and I, I'm not even sure what these guys are doing right now. No. Getting opened up by that. I'm so surprised. But he just moved on the low. Oof. It, it looks like a little bit of matchup unfamiliarity by Mike. Um. A little bit. He may need to practice gear. We, we don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's just uh, if he's feeling pressure from the low hat. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, Poseidon, what's up, baby? How we doing? <laughs> See, he's taking round one. Pressure. Pressure. Down. Poke. Pressure again. Mm, so he's finally. on the defense. Wow! And calling out the... Oh. Of course. So much, so much happening in these Gearus matches. You know what I mean? It's like, I gets mean, opened if, up. If you would have to say Johnny versus Gearus, is it a 5-5? Five, 6-4? Five, I, I, honestly, I've never seen players of this caliber play the matchup before. So it's hard, it's hard for me to say. Yeah. Um... And and even if I have it was so much earlier in the game's lifespan, you know the yep. meta has shifted so much it in the past couple of months. Like every week. Oh my goodness! Here comes Getting Blau a striker hat. in. Oh my god! Guess for your life there. Overhead low. I think that was the Doomsday mix there. Mmm. Big opening. Ooh. Look at the damage. Three eighty one. A lot of damage there. <sighs> Getting opened up is Mike. Oh. Nope. Finally Can closing he make the gap. It? That was close. Oh, and he oh makes the opening. my goodness! He's mixing him up. Go. Rewind. I don't mean the player. I mean the actual rewind. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Pressure. Pressure. Oh my goodness! Finally opening him up. Look Twenty the, seconds look on the, the clock. Daggers. Mike taking the second round. <sighs> Nail biter. Final round. Fight. We hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. Turkey, you think it's five five? I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt it. Honestly, both, both amazing characters, right? I mean, um, both in contention for top five of this game. So, um, finally getting the corner switch up. Ooh, put him in jail. Oh my goodness, this is about to be yeah. so much damage. Gets one more rep. Oh, holy oh my goodness. Holy, I think. Oh my goodness. 
no oh. way! Closing it out! 515! Unbelievable! So he's taking game number one. I don't know if you saw what I just did, but that was a two touch game. Yeah. Yours opened him up? Yeah. Two 100%. times. Adios, amigo. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, Mari, uh, uh, WTF? WTF is right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, is Mike going to switch the cameo? Sujinko. Sujinko. Oh, I here have we been, go. Okay, well, I, I haven't seen this yet. I uh, want to see I'm this I'm going to tell right you right now. now. I've been talking to Mike Metroid, and he told me that he was working on a Shujinko. Yeah. Yep. I, I have not you gotten this. to see it. I'm so excited yeah. to see this right now. Oh, this is going to be wild. <laughs> oh, Fetus, you are feeling exactly how I am. Oh, this is poggers. <laughs> Pressure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Not plus. Nope. Oh my there goodness. we go. Mike Metroid gets the opening. Shujinko might be what he needs. Just an unfortunate series of events there for Cease. Oh, nice poke by Mike Metroid. Calling oh, out. Oh my very goodness. nice by what? Mike Metroid. Punish. It's a sweep. Gets himself right in there to put Gears in the corner. Just slight drop, but so ahead here is Mike Metroid. Doesn't want to press, does Cease. And I'm noticing that there's been a lot of respect on Cease's side. I want to see if Mike Metroid adapts to that. Yeah. That, you know, starts actually continuing the pressure. Because he's letting a couple of staggers right, we go. Get the fatal blow. Does it hit? I think that might be. Is that the end? <gasps> oh. I don't that know. Is, let's see. Let's see. Does this I kill? I can see Mike Metroid mashing <laughs> his heart away. The biggest <laughs> smile never, on his yep. face. Look at this man. <laughs> Another player who has a great attitude. Uh, this he's game, no still what alive. Happens. Ooh, oh, he it through. He made it through the loud out. hat, but got poked out. Yep. <sighs> Round two. Wow. Fight. Yeah, let us know in the comments how you're feeling about this matchup. Yeah, this is going to be the last I, one I, for I, pool one. I don't know if we have ever seen a high level Johnny Shujinko versus Gears Lau. No. Ever, ever, ever in this game's lifespan. Um, this is, uh, this I is such a... I told you Shujinko was going to be the secret one that came out. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen enough yet, right? I mean, clearly it's working, but of course, just a little bit too much disrespect there by Mike Metroid. Not getting punished too hard, but setting up an a hourglass. A little too much disrespect is going to get you knocked out. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I saw the concept there. Mm, just getting a little too greedy there is Mike Metroid getting punished. Oh my goodness, here we Switching go again. from side to side. The Laua... Allow uh, teleport. Just giving him so many reds of that. Oh my goodness! And you know that Cease is feeling confident here. Yeah, he he really is on his game today. 2-0. Is that that can't be there? It's 2-0. 2 <gasps> Play one more. What? No, don't uh, leave. Don't, don't leave. Don't quit. I need everybody in the chat right now uh, to tell Mike to get back on these sticks and play it Mike out. Metroid just DQ. No, no, no. Don't you dare. Mike. Mike, we want to the people want to see it, Mike. Come on. Mike, Come on, Mike. Do it for the people, Come Mike on, Metroid. Chat. Tell for him the people. to we stay love you. in this. Tell him to stay in this. Did <gasps> Oh, okay. They're plugging back in. They're plugging back in, everybody. Okay, just They're a plugging of, back in. Just a moment of salt. <laughs> oh, that was scary for a minute. I saw the, Mo I saw the Morton's poster child there. Anybody who uh, was around during Injustice 1, anybody know the Fresh Maker? I think we just saw <laughs> the rerun of the Fresh Maker. Oh, okay. They're going back in. They're going back in. Cease up 2-0 against Mike Metroid. Mike, you got this. Come on. Johnny Cage. DJT, I completely agree. If I were able to unbiasedly give him the advice other than to tell him to sit his ass down and play the damn match. Um, Come on, Mike. Don't give up. Do not give up. I'm really interested to see if but we're going to get this, you know a reverse 3-0 here. You know what this means? Garrus. A lot of people need to start labbing Garrus and, go, and you know, the matchup. I mean, Whoever they're, your character is, start labbing them. Somehow, this character flew under the radar. And we got Serena. We got Mike pulling out Serena cameo instead of Shingo this time. Just trying out the matchup, you know what I mean? Just a few different cameos. Not really confident about what he wants gotta to do here. Th this is the opportunity where you need to try new things and see if it pans out, no okay. matter what. Already at 50%, not touched yet, is he? No, he's feeling himself. Oh, my goodness. Just disrespect there. Finally getting a touch is Mike Metroid. Wow, what an amazing MKNJ so far. I'm like... This is a classic, this man. This is amazing. I, I can't believe... I can't believe some of the shit we're seeing today. <laughs> Pardon my French, it's just, what in the hell? We got the break from Mike. 
I think Serena might be able to help him here. Interestingly, he used the Serena to turn off the Lau for a second, right? So now he gets an opportunity to just approach Lau free. Oh my goodness, just a little too greedy with the board four there. Oof. You're right, DJT. Ain't over till it's over, and I know that Mike Metroid is feeling down and out right now, but I, I, he's got to pull. He's got to dig deep in this moment. Make, I agree. Make adjustments. I think this is the tournament, though, that will show how good Gears is as a character. Pressure. 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 Oh, my goodness. Finally. Wow. Finally called out with a uh, Micro Duck there. There we go. Big Shadow Kick Could opening. Be an opening for Micro. Oh, nope. Big throw got there the throw. by Cease. Big opening here. Wow. My goodness, the damage. 382. Oh, this is insanity. No. Feeling pressure Please. is Mike Can Metroid. Mike make a comeback? Still a full stick of butter. Totally possible here for. He could break. Oh, pulls out Serena. Big There's, opening. Is that the opening that he needs? Taking the bar away. One more touch. Oh my goodness, he dropped it. 35 seconds on the clock. Oh no. Oh. And Mike Metroid is just getting the back. Oh, no. oh, oh. Playing with his food, though, is Cease giving him another opportunity? He's on the defense. Oh, opened up. I know there's a lot of. I know there's going to be wow. a lot of salt from that one. And Cease is moving on to top eight. Shake his hand. A lot of love. Another candy cane right in the booty. Great job by Mike Metroid. Still played phenomenally. Yes, the back shots are crazy. Bro, bro, Gears I can't, I, 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 I can't believe we're seeing the one. It seems like Gyrus is like the character to be in this tournament right now. What a shakeup of this! I top did not eight. expect this. Uh, uh, who, who are we seeing on 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 winner side here? We have Gurren Wraith. Loser side, Dark Green and Cease. Yes. Gurren Wraith, Dark Green, and Cease are moving on to top eight. Pool two will about to begin shortly. And you, my dear, are going to be up against Ghost. How do you feel about that? I'm going to get bodied exactly how nope, I anticipated I would nope, feel about it. Do not. I'm going to give it my best. Chat, everybody. Give please it my tell best. Hercules not to go um, in with a negative mindset. Please. Oh, my God. You're so dramatic. So dramatic. You should be an actor. Seriously, get out of <laughs> lobbying, man. Um, guys, it has been such a pleasure to sit and commentate. Yeah. For y'all. With you, my friend, B-Fibs. Mm -hmm. um, she's the best, isn't she? Phenomenal job. Look at this guy. Hey, Thank Yumbo's you here. What's up, buddy? Are we in the tournament at all? Oh, yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got pool two starting we in are just gonna a second. Be, we are going to be switching off to, uh, I believe, I Cologne and Teza are going to be coming on next. So is it is now? a... It um, has been a pleasure I wonder to commentate for you guys. Somebody is going to be taking my spot once I hop into pools here. Um... Pool two. Hercules is projected to take it against Ghost. Oh, am I? That uh, doesn't sound right. And I'm also... You I, got I some Luke experience, though, buddy, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I know that everybody here is a killer. Everybody can beat everybody here, as we just saw from this. Oh, my goodness. Look at Kung Zero. Give me the... Uh, Give me the, the evil eyes. He's like, no, no, no. You played good, man. Guys, tell us your thoughts in chat. What do you think about this next pool? We gave you some sneak peeks of who's going on. Are we starting out with this kind of banger? Silence return versus Red Nose? Yeah. Sheesh. Um, guys, I actually have to hop off and jump onto my pool. Um, I don't know who's going to be taking over for me. Um, Hold on. Let's see who we can get over here. Kenji. Bones. You want to hop on? Striker. Sub-Zero. Guys, God bless you all. I love you so much. Scar, what's up, fam? B Fibs? Yes. You're the goat. Good job. Appreciate you. Good job, babe. What Thank you. you. Don't understand. Round one. Fight. All right, Yen Bones, what's up? Hanging out, you know. <laughs> Another great MKNJ here. We are on. Pool two? Yes, we are. What did you think of pool one? Fantastic. That Fantastic. last match with Cease and uh, Mike Metroid was a lot of fun Crazy, to watch. Crazy, right? Always love a good Garrus, but we got a, uh, what, a Kenshi here? Round one. Fight. Red All right, Nose. so we got Red Nose versus Silence Return. Red Nose is one of the best Kenshi players out there. Let's just get that down pat. I thought it was loud, that's why, yeah. <laughs> 
we got a Kenshi versus Rain. Oh, Silence Return pulling out the Rain. I remember the last MKNJ he was using Omni Man, so this is a bit of a switch up here. Rain with the uh, Striker cameo. Good grab right there. Saying, get that Sento out of here. So I know a lot of Kenshi from just seeing Hercules play. Of course. And Kenshi really needs to use those forward 2-2s two to get in there. Yes, he does. And then once Sento is out, especially if you get that sandwich thing going on, it can be a bit overwhelming. But yeah, interesting to see Silence Return pulling out the rain. What do you think as a rain player yourself? I think the Striker cameo is really good because a lot of times you open yourself up to getting punished. But Striker can come in and save the day. But Red Nose taking that first set there. Sento doing his thing. Round Classic Kenshi stuff. Fight. But yeah, no, stri Striker's a really good option. Let alone just for Rain, but any, any character in this game just to kind of keep things safe. Seems to be part of the meta nowadays. Yeah, this next pool is going to be insane. We've got some really big names as Hercules and I were... Uh, we're discussing Pulse, Alphabet, Red Nose, Pillow, Cosner. Cosner, of course, the classic reptile from New Jersey. The Red Nose came here last night to MKNJ Weekly and really, really made it far. I mean, Gur, Gur took him out, but he is a phenomenal Kenshi. Let's put it that way. Looks like it. Pulling out Sento. Rain, silent in a tough spot in the corner against Sento. This might be the round, and that's the setup. Red with Nose the brutal. taking game one with the Brutal. Just to give you guys a little sneak peek uh, so far for pool one, we got Sunshine taking it over Finetto. Furious Pillow taking it over Mist. Cosner taking it over Blood Break. Hercules is playing right now against Ghost. Pulse taking it 3-0 over P Professor KO. The Alphabet taking it 3-1 over Kairos. Fight. Red Nose taking over Stu. Oh, and that is how we have Red Nose in Winter's Quarters here. Silence Return taking it over Mygo. So we are we are getting getting way through pool two. No, Mari, this is Winner's Pool Two. Red Nose just saying, don't try that overhead with me. It's not happening. Silence got him in the corner. I think Kenshi takes it over Rain in this matchup, I, I will say. It's well, right, look at this. It's it's difficult, especially when you get in the corner, but we're breaking it. We're breaking it up, so it's not over. Back in the corner, though, with Sento, and this is where, I mean, let alone Rain, any character, you don't want to be against no, Kenshi. Not no, in the you corner. do not. A nice, beautiful grab. I've seen too many Kenshi corners from my boyfriend, and uh, even myself, as a, as a crappy player, I do not want to be in there. Another great grab from Silence. See, feeling each other out. Patient. Trying to play the neutral, but we have Silence Return going in. Red Nose gets the nice grab and the forward four into Thank the corner. You. Yes, yeah. the stream quality is fantastic today. Two. Fight. Definitely a tendency with Rain to do that double overhead into the poke, the down one poke. It's hard to not get called out on it, but Kenshi. And here, and we, here are. we go, the Kenshi combo. In the corner. Nobody wants to be in the Kenshi this place. and Sindel. And Johnny, probably the top three characters where if you're in yeah. that corner, you're in and you need to figure out some way to get out. Yeah. Maybe Ashra following closely behind those three. Yes. And we'll see that later with Dragon's Ashra. Yes. Red Nose taking a pretty commanding second set right there. Again, Kenshi getting anybody in the corner, you're going to have a tough time doing just about anything. Mm -hmm. I most certainly agree. It's tough. It is tough. I mean, and Kenshi's one of the hardest characters to play in yes, this game. Yes, he is. You need a lot of time to practice. You need a lot of time to get those combos, Kenshi. right? If you drop your combos during any of these matches, I'm sorry. You're finished. As a fellow Rain player, uh, I'm hoping Silence can make, make a little comeback here because it'd be are great. Are we hearing some it would biased be, commentary? It, yes, we are because, because Rain's awesome. <laughs> Look at that skin. It's a lot better than Kenshi's.
he does have a cool skin. But yeah, I mean, once when Sento's out, it's tough because at that point, is it the low? Is it the overhead? And then if you're in the corner, it's just kind of everything's just double. So you can, right. it's it's tough. All right, we see Kenshi going sub zero. Sticking with their cameos. Sticking, yep. Sticking with the same cameos. The cameos is game. First two games. You aren't calling the shots here, Rain. Round one. Let's see if Silence Fight. can make a little comeback here. Can either make it a reverse 3-0 or Red Nose is taking it 3-0. Yeah, Rain's down three. One of his best tools in his kit. Sorry, That's not a reverse 3-0, but a, you know. Just the old 3-0. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something I experienced a couple times today, but what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Look at Red Nose just on his stick. Hercules played against him a few times on uh, online. Yeah. And uh, if you do, if you're a Kenji player and you want to learn something, definitely take some tips from Red Nose's gameplay right now. The Sento sandwich. That's that one. That's the thing with Sento. He gets you whether you just Round chipping you, you get down to such fun. little health. You know. Thank you. I don't know what that means. Akowski, <laughs> shout out to Akow, my guy. Dark green. <laughs> Shout out, best Shang Tsung I played against. In top eight, congrats. He told me yesterday he wants to win the tournament. I believe him. I think he's going to. Really? I mean, we got, hey, it's a competitive, competitive roster today. As I think Hercules said yesterday, there's some killers here today. And that is a phrase that happens every single time anyone comes in this building, honestly, for any of these events. There are so many killers here. Rain keeping some distance with that down three. The cancel. Striker taking the hit for him. Good blocks from Red Nose. Both players have full breaker. Big throw with that 13% from Sub Zero. Another great benefit of using him as Kenshi. Just another little yeah. plus on the general positive toolkit. Ooh, was that a whiff before? And that's it. It is 3 0. Red Nose moving on. In winter side, silence return. Unfortunately, falling to losers. Great Kenshi gameplay right there. One of the best. Pretty straightforward. One of the best. Pretty straightforward overall, but it's just it can be so deadly. Your health bar just disappears practically over the course of five seconds. It seems like. I agree. I you agree. Get, you get one hit with Sento, and it's kind of like, all right, guess, and then or you just take a sip of your drink or water. And then <laughs> You wait so for the next round to start, essentially. Let's take a look at the bracket. We have Dragon beating out Sunshine 3-0. Dragon's moving on with Furious Pillow. Uh, still waiting to see who's going up against Cosner. And uh, Red Nose will be moving on. He will be playing either Pulse or the Alphabet. So Dude. we will have to see who wins that. Shout out to the uh, Fruity Fetus. I was having fun guessing what states those shapes are. I was thinking the exact same thing before <laughs> I came over here. I'm like, are those the states? From Ohio, so you know, know. Pennsylvania. It's kind of a rectangle, isn't it? So New York's a bit more distinctive, I think, than right. uh, Pennsylvania. But right. good stuff, though. Hold on one second. Yeah. But it, it is popping here right. at MKNJ. All right, guys. It has been a pleasure commentating for you all. I need to take a little break. I am having Chris hop on here, and he's gonna take my place. So, B Fibs, follow me on Twitter. Keep supporting, keep watching, and I'll see you guys next time. How's it going? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, this chair. Nah, nah. Where's the where's the thing for this Some chair? Some of these chairs, I'm I telling you, out there, they're like on the floor. I they're can't. touching the floor. I'm, a, I'm already five feet tall. I can't I live know. like this right now. <laughs> I can't can't relate to that because I'm like six one, but like even the short chairs are on the floor. I'm just like okay, yeah, I'll like play this, the set. Like yeah, I'll play the set like this. It's fine. Like oh my god, my <laughs> knees are up touching my chin. Oh my goodness. I'm um, like, all right, you want to do a button check real quick? Okay, cool. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Hold on, I got to yeah. do one of these. Yeah, yeah. You can't even see my legs. Everything I'm wearing is black. <laughs> I like I'm part of the chair. I'm just floating. I'm that a floating me, head. That was me yesterday. I was wearing all black as well. I'm a big all black fan, honestly. You got it. It's, it's super it. easy because some of the best t-shirts all black. They got the decal or whatever. So. Exactly. Black or like jeans. Have Sorry. Like, no, you're good. They have like a design in the back or something. You're like, ooh, wait, hold exactly. on. You can't pop it off with it. Big no. fan of wearing a nice black jeans, man t-shirt. It's easy. It's straightforward, you know.
Which I'm is why I'm wearing I'm a football jersey. I'm today, being so. trolled in chat right now. I'm being swallowed by the chair. This is why I need to pull the chair up. I can't. I can't live like this. I look like I'm four feet tall. Look, his face is just above this little bar right here. No, for real. <laughs> it can kind of see my cynical pin. That's literally it. Yeah. That's all that matters, actually. I'll say this site. You yeah. can see my little cynical pin. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so Chris, right? Uh, Chris Mott, whatever. Connor, aka Bones. Hi, Bones. You see right there? Yeah. Yes. But um, um, let me update. Over here? Oh, this. W no, you're good. I, ca I can still talk. They'd be all right. Oh, hot you have it already. It's a hot mic. Hot mic. <laughs> we got it. Little dude got a booster seat. True. <laughs> I leave for two seconds. Two seconds. I need a booster easy, seat. Easy. Easy. Go ask. Go ask <laughs> to Mar Marcy if she got one. I'm not gonna ask her because she. She got platform boots that I could probably sit on, and I would be it's like a good decision, this tall. Though. It's it would good be a decision. decision. Yeah. But this way, I mean, not this way, but like this bracket, first of all, very, very, very messed up, very screwed up, very screwed up bracket because everyone is, I feel like a lot of hard hitters are here today. Yes. And a lot of people are just showing out and really improving all so quickly because you're seeing people who have placed maybe... 2-2. Two, two. I, I forgot placement, sorry. The people who have placed 2-2, two, two, like, two, uh, who went 2-1, 2-2, two, um, two, 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 whatever, and they're getting just barely outside top 8 or they're in top 8 of, like, you know, the other side bracket. So it's, like, people are just coming today, and it's, like, so nice to see. Like, it's yeah. this game. It's a very messed up game. I'm not going to say it's a beautiful game, but it's a beautiful <laughs> game. Very beautiful game. They're... I mean, I, I think overall today I've seen a lot of really crazy, like, execution. Oh, yes. People do some crazy conversions, just really just even just do, doing something simple, just a nice combo, just kind of just getting things done, which is awesome no, to see, sure. you know. Um, what is the next match? I apologize if that was already mentioned, but is it Dragon and Furious Pillar, or are we in the different bracket now? I think we're on wave, the second wave, right? This is yeah, that's what that's what Steli was saying, okay. Okay, this is, okay. I'm 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 just blind. I have contacts on. Please, I don't have good vision in the first place. We are struggling, so it might be Dragon Fury's pillow. Um, who's they're getting there right now, at the very least. Mm. Oh my gosh, lots of great ghosts is here today. I didn't even know ghosts was, he was coming today. Ghost is here. Of course, we saw Cosner. Of course, taking over uh, Blood Break in round two. Right. Talent return we just watched on stream play very very well with the double kenshi double kenshi i say but you know what i mean like yeah right <laughs> lots of kenshis crazy character very crazy character who did i just what it was red nose right versus uh silent return yes my fault i switched them up but red nose the kenshi what do you do let's talk about it because what do you do when sent those out and, and stuff mm -hmm. what do you do I was talking you, to Hercules. Do you Hercu whole block? Do you? That's what I mean. I was talking to Hercules about it because I was playing him, you know, in casuals before the tournament started. And it's like, do I just do I just hold this? Like, do I armor yeah. through it? Yeah. Because if Can you know, win. it's it's tough. It really is. Because sometimes you, I feel like you do just have to hold it. I'm sure there's some areas where you can maybe poke, but even then it's so dangerous. Cause it's so scary. It's like it feels kind of impossible. Even watching it from my spectator's perspective, it's just like, like once you get caught in that freeze from Sub-Zero cameo, and then, you use, and then you get caught with the back and forth between the Sento and then Kenshi, it's like, what? Right. What could you possibly do? Especially when you're playing a kid like, kind of like like Rain, even though Sonic Fox did show what Rain could do at ECT. Yeah. Um, that's Lily Sonic Fox. We are not Sonic Fox. Also, pre-patch <laughs> pre Cyrax at that point, too. Yes! Is... Oh, please don't remind me of the, the evil times we're living in. We can't go back to That was to back those. when Raiden was doing, you know, like, we can't. stupid 50, you know, combos Raiden's off. Raiden's still doing a stupid 50 <laughs> combos. I still think Raiden should just be removed from the game. I'm tired of him. So, low poke, storm, so low poke, I'm tired of it. And now I have Kenshi and Johnny Cage on my screen. Yeah, the we whole... Are the whole storm cell thing is I, I don't really dig the whole storm cell thing to be to be quite the honest with you. Man. No we no I mean it. Yeah. I can't so damn hard. We do have pulse and red nose coming up on deck instead of Dragon Fears though. So now we know where we're at. We are in winners semis. Um and we're going into it? We are going, going right, right into it. it. No button check. No button check. We are just trusting the setup. We're good. Yeah. So Giant Cage, very, very oppressive character. Lots of plus frames on block. Plus, plus, plus. Yep, plus. Everything is plus, plus, plus. The star as well, very great uh, factor in his game plan and gameplay. He's trying to go for, like I'm saying, all this plus on block is so, so good for Giant Cage. But at the same time, there's, there's, um, there is Senso coming in and finally getting some damage on, the, on board for Pulse. 
pulse poking Sento there to get rid of it. Now he's got this big opening. And the Lao Hat, of course, has been such a big part Ooh. of the meta. Grab right. them out of that teleport. Get out of Get over him. here. <laughs> By the neck. Johnny doing his thing. And the fact that he can just do this. Oh, I love. I like the idea of the backdash for a second there, but I'm glad that uh, Red Nose was. Oh, I'm sorry. I pulled us super on top of it. Even though we do have a life uh, life lead in favor of Red Nose. Pulse has to get something started here, right here, right now. Hopefully with Cyrax, but with after that nerf, he's just not as viable as he was. No. Only two or three months prior. Think this is a game show? Round. Round two. Fight! And immediate breaker. Now that's no meter so early into this match. Very beautiful stuff. No Cyrax. I would say Cyrax flying off the map just for fun. <laughs> Not nearly as good as he was back in September of 2023. Sento flying in. Oh, this is huge damage in favor of Pulse. Really, really, really solid stuff. Now he's had to not get Johnny Cage. Unfortunately, right. <laughs> Bones, you may be getting Johnny Cage right now. It's all good. Pulse keeping up the pressure in the corner. And if you're Johnny, you can definitely just do that on block. You're so flush. You can continue this onslaught of pressure. And then now you're in the corner. You're caught in the end, in the end lag of your move. So now Johnny can just simply Shadow take kick. it. Yep. Exactly. Just take it. Take it and run. That's all it takes. Pulse up. Taking the first set. Johnny Cage doing his thing. We all know what it does. We all know what Kenshi does. Just Crazy two. things. <laughs> no, for real. Like I'm about to say, these are two very highly contested characters in like the meta right now where Kenshi just feels a little bit like you're hopeless. And then Johnny Cage also feels like a little bit like you're like you're hopeless in finding that matchup. No switch here. Can she, uh, Red Nose is going to be staying with the Cyrax. And it's unlike the Apocalypse Up Zero pick we do see. Punish here. We're going to break that. It's all good. Oh, and we and get the anti aired by the, la by the hat. Nice grab from Pulse. And yeah, the low hat. Escape failed. It definitely was expecting to be thrown into the corner, but instead got thrown back into center stage. Oh, Lord. It's getting a little dicey out here for uh, for Red Nose. It's everything that Kenshi is known to do very well just isn't possible with a character like Johnny Cage. Exactly. Say, get off me right there. You're not throwing me. I know that loud hat was coming out. Oh, great stuff from Pulse right here, though. Has not gotten a single ounce of damage on himself quite yet. Red Nose has not gotten an opportunity to really enter the scene and actually play the game. The turn that you think is yours is always Johnny's turn. Johnny, Johnny's turn. Johnny's turn. And Pulse knows that and is using it to his advantage. You gotta go for a bit of blow here. You wanna get any kind yeah. of damage started here, but can you even enter? <laughs> you know, Red Nose is in a very tough spot right now. It's, yep. yeah. There's great, the knee kick. Great Johnny stuff from Pulse. It's it's it, one of those characters in this game where you just feel the pressure. Yeah, it's something's sure. always happening to you. Mm -hmm. What's the best option? Why do I always feel unsafe? Because <laughs> you are. Exactly. You are negative. It's okay. Exactly. Johnny is like the the epitome of your only minus your bitch. That's absolutely. Like that's exactly. literally all he is. He does not care. He's always plus. He's always putting on the pressure. He's always on top of you. Finally, look, we have a life lead in favor of Red Nose. And Sento was out, but the wrong direction did not allow that to happen. And then the armor Shadow threw. Kick. I'm sick. I'm sick, Bones. <laughs> you thought you were you had a chance right there. No, we're still here. We got the armor. We got the Shadow Kick. We got a great grab here. Red Nose putting Johnny back in the corner. Oh, and keeping him in the corner as well. That's huge. Stay there. Another big throw. Using Ken in that. Oh, breaks it. Pull saying, no, it's good. I got so excited for pull, for uh, for Red Nose there was gonna find take a game for himself and, and Red Nose does. just the tip of the sword. It's all it takes sometimes. Let's do it again. Exactly. Two more times. Two more times. <laughs> <laughs> in order to get the reverse three L, you have to relock really it in with Sento. And again, someone like Johnny Cage who's so quick with the back dashes. There it is. We're talking Hello. about right there. Yes. Nice little Sento sandwich right here from Red Nose. What's it gonna be? Oh, just jumps right over center right there. The parry. Oh, one of Johnny's great moves is that parry. And look what it can turn into. 
a very clean combo, pulling, uh, pulling, pushing Red Nose back into the corner. Exactly. Nice grab from Red Nose there. All this pressure, Lao Hao coming out, going for the duck, going for the down one, and then again, again we're going for the fourth throw. Gonna be putting a lot of space between both these characters here. Spurts of pressure into a maybe a grab. It's it's high intense over there. There's another grab right there. I love that throw. It's very nice. He's, oh, you're not, buddy. buddy. Blocking that. Shadow take to punish that. Oh, huge. This is really good. It's very close. Johnny in, and he's in. Pulse taking that second set, saying, not quite just yet. Final round. We're still back. Five. We're so bad. The star is halfway full, and we Pitch also have corner. full bars. We have a breaker, at least for Red Nose. Can we use it? He's going to hold this, I think. He's going to hold it. He's going to hold all this block pressure and combo pressure, um, corner pressure as well. Whether it's Kenshi or Johnny, you do not want to be in the corner against either of these characters because it is just, it is oppressive. Nice Finally, stuff. find his way to get out of the corner, but then we're pushed right back in, Bones. Just oh, when you think sure. you have space, it's, nah, we're back. Pulse is saying, stay in this corner. Such a long usage, or a long way to use that breaker, and unfortunately, is this a pivotal moment? Was that a good breaker? Red, yeah, Red Nose bringing Sento out. Here we go. He's got an opening. Nice. Oh, huge, huge. <gasps> and the Armor. shadow kick from Pulse. Pulse is going to take it. 3-0 over Red Nose. They're about to restart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to go for a fifth, fourth one? <laughs> yeah. The, oh, um, man. The oppression. It's I can't. Every time I watch it, I'm like, I reminded why I only play casuals. You see why I play casuals? Only casuals. <laughs> You need to be in the lab by yourself. You're like, you know what? I, I'm really making some progress here. I need to test this out at this next tournament. And you get here and you're like, oh man, I still have a mountain to climb, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, that's the difference, you know? Unfortunately, it could be argued that you do have, in the first of, in the first of three series, you have so much time to adapt to make a game plan to counterpick with the other cameras or other characters in the roster. Yeah. But with the way that, um, that Pulse was playing with the Johnny Cage, it's just, bro. Yeah, I felt in that match. Anytime Red Nose got even got some space, mm -hmm. Cage was back. Space was gone. Pressure, constant pressure. Um, great stuff. Mm -hmm. Great Johnny Cage from Pulse. Who's up next? Probably Cosner and Ghost. If Cosner anything. and Ghost. We're getting to see some reptile, high level reptile gameplay. Very excited. Unsure who Ghost mains. Do you? I forgot. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. I'm actually the worst when it comes to remembering people's mains. It's just the okay. opposite of how I am in other games. I know exactly what player mains what, but in Mortal Kombat, I'm like, everyone kind of just plays everyone, I yeah. feel like. Uh, I definitely know Kazura has been really, really hard honing that reptile, however, regardless of uh, where he stands in the overall meta. Kazura's like, I want to play reptile. We're going to play reptile, yeah. and I'm going to be the best reptile in the world. I respect that. So do I. Ghost, I want to say... Not Shang Tsung. I feel like he plays Kenshi, but I really do not remember. Um, last time I saw him was a couple of months ago. So it's like, mm, someone will know in the chat. Because someone always tells me who plays what in the chat. I'm like, I love chat for that. I think Red Nose said, or Fruity Fita said, I did not take geography earlier. Someone said that in the chat. I thought that was funny. Because <laughs> I am the same way when it comes to, if you were to say, hey, where's South Dakota? I'm like, I think it's somewhere in the Midwest. Somewhere over there. Um... So the way I had, is that bad? I had no, no, no. It's, it's, I'm the same way because I had AP geography in high school. Oh, not by choice. They put me in that. I don't know why they put me in that shit. So and you're the expert then when it comes to where, no. where, where things. I did are. not pass that AP exam. Please don't look at me. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> mm. I was not passing it. I passed a class because I took really good notes, and that's really it. But when it came to geography, I was like, I don't know where anything is. I lived in Florida for 12 years. Shout out. Shout out to Central Florida. Y'all, y'all are right, I guess. Gators and they have alligators. I hear. I used to, I used to go to Gatorland all the time. I Gatorland. There's a Gatorland. It's just full of alligators and crocodiles, and there. I think he passed away by now, but there was like a really, like, really big alligator, like the biggest alligator we had in Florida. Like he was just chilling there. He was a he. Yeah. Did he have a name? I forgot his name, but he passed away. I, I, by now, he definitely passed away. But the point was, um, I lived in Florida for 12 years. I still don't know where anything is. If you put me in a car and you tell me to go somewhere. Don't know how to get there. We're GPSing it. Don't know how to get anywhere in Florida, unfortunately. If you were to say go to Canada, I'd say, well, that's north, I think. So, so we, if we go north, yes. we'll definitely get there. And California's west to most, in most places, I think, unless you're in California, I suppose, then it's, you're there. Then you're know, just kind of there. there. You're, you're there. in the west. But, yeah. <laughs> Any chance I can get my Twitter handle on here? Not that, like... Uh, go, go, go. 
I'm not a I'm not a content creator, but uh, I just tweet a lot. And I don't tweet a lot, but Twitter is just one of those things where I don't have other social media. It's just so. What's the, I don't it kind of just fills everything I need. Sorry, X. I apologize, X. How dare you? Sorry, Elon. Why are you naming her? No, it's Twitter. Okay. No, it is. Yeah, it's no, Twitter. I agree. It's so toxic, but like some of the, I see some of the funniest things on Twitter. That's the only reason I have Twitter it. is free it's entertainment. Great. Oh my it gosh. It is, every day. I will see, because I see, uh, Twitter kind of, for me, fills everything that I need in social media. I get updates from my friends. I see random BS on the internet, and I get my news usually from Twitter. Yes. Like I know what's going on in the world because of Twitter. Exactly. Without Twitter, I would I don't watch TV, I don't watch news, I don't watch none of that. Who watches don't, TV in 2024? Exactly. I'm streaming on my computer. Don't play with me. So, all I do is just tweet whatever I'm thinking, and then what events I'm going to, and that's it. Yeah. And I also complain about Overwatch, but that's like a a thing I just do. We are on the diamond grind. Like, yeah. That game is so bad. That game is so bad. They're giving everyone self heal. I'm sick. I can't believe it. I don't get invited. I said certain. Let me see chat for a second. That was a guy ignoring him for a second. Oops. His name is a lie. He better change it to Pinocchio. Angry face. Oh, Red. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Yeah, red yeah, nose. Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. Speaking of Pinocchio, Lives of P. Very, very good game. I didn't play it. I want my mm. boyfriend to play it. And uh, it's kind of like a. It's Pinocchio if he was literally in a Dark Souls game. Okay. Or a Bloodborne game. I, I, it reminded me more of Bloodborne than did of Dark Souls, even if you the correlation is kind of like the same. I think of more Bloodborne. And very, very good game. Really, really enticing story. If anyone wants to play, you absolutely should. And um, I just found, I found out there's actual different endings. And somehow he got, like, the best ending by just playing the game. And I was, it. I was telling him, don't do this, do that, or do this, instead of doing that. Very, very good game. I feel like everyone should. If you're a Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Demon Souls fans, you should play it, absolutely. Or Sekiro, Elden Ring. If you're one of these kind of crackheads that play these nerd. hard games, you no, nerd, <laughs> you should absolutely play Liza P. Very, very, very fun game. I actually need to play Bloodborne because... I had a save file, and my PS4 got stolen, and that was It wasn't gone. me. I don't know who it was. If I could pay, Bones, if I could pay money to have my dog speak English, I would ask him who stole my PS4. I just want to know who took it. I wasn't even that mad. I was so just if you like, could talk to your dog, that'd be the top of your list? No, for of real. you would ask. Who yes. stole my PS4? If I had, if you could speak English for exactly 60 seconds, one minute, I would be like, Toby... Who took my PS4 on July 14th, 2022? And Toby would be like, can we go play Frisbee or something? No, for real. Can we like, please like, <laughs> throw the green ball around? I don't know how to do all this. I don't know who took it. Some guy. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, thanks, Toby. I love my dog. He's such a I love creature. my dogs. I love dogs. Kind of are, dog do you have? Dogs. I have two. I have a mini Bernadoodle named Marley. Okay. And I have a mini um, Australian Labradoodle named Paige. Oh, Marley, that movie was really depressing. I know. It's funny. We, we, we didn't name him. We just picked him up with that name. But um, Yeah, he's, he's lovely. What about you? What, what kind of dog is yours? I have a 15-year-old Yorkie Poo. A Yorkie? Yorkie, yep. Yorkie that was one Poodle of my first mix. dogs when I was younger. Yeah, awesome. I think it's everyone. Like, everyone always gets, like, a Yorkie or, like, a Maltese or a Poodle, and I'm like, yeah. Yorkie Poo, so... So Yorkie, Yorkie Poodle. You, okay, yep. that makes sense. He's mixed, and you can tell. He's, he's a little bit of a mutt, mutt behavior, indeed. Okay. But he's so old, and he's 15, and he has like little like soft little limbs. Oh, man. And, and then right now I'm taking care of my godmother's one-year-old puppy. She's still a puppy to me. Opposite ends like of one. the spectrum, then, in terms of puppyhood and demeanor, I And imagine. literally old man who wants to sleep at home all day, and then this puppy. Like, this is, she's just like a little she, – I think she's part Poodle, part Maltese. Very curly hair. She's all black. She looks like a black hole walking by my apartment, and it's, she's so So no cute. light escapes no. when she's in a room, you can, is what you're you, telling me. You only know if I'm she's not a around. physicist, but I think that's what a black hole does yeah, to light. I saw Interstellar light once, so once. I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I also watched Interstellar once <laughs> it's a good and movie. never again. It was a good movie. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is depressed to me. I'm good. Yeah, I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> yeah, when he's watching the uh, rollback of like all the years he missed with his kids, I'm just like, ah, oh, oh, Matthew McConaughey, why are you doing this it to me? It messes me. That kind of stuff messes my brain so much. The whole, like, know, you spend time. 10 minutes over there and, like, six years have passed in, in Earth. And it's like, I whew, see me right now. I'm getting a little bit, oh, I can't do it. So what's going on with the bracket dot, dot, dot? Are people on a break, question mark? I don't know. Um, a, a, cow, a cow sick? A cow sick? A cow is sick. Don't talk about your mom like that. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that was good. 
Oh, um, so good. Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. It's all fun. Some of it is real, pretty close to real astronomy. That's true. I have a book uh, by the physicist. I forget his name. That oh, they, the movie? Uh, from Interstellar. They, they work directly. I forget the guy's name, but yeah, I have a whole book on it. I didn't read it, obviously. <laughs> but I have it on my shelf to show people that I am indeed smart. Oh, I also have like I have a six-foot bookshelf just full of manga. And oh, then nice. in my art slash studio slash steaming, steaming, streaming room. <laughs> Steam, his steaming room is a different part of the house. <laughs> That's the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have like one bookshelf, maybe like this big, this big. And it's just full of like actual like reading books. That's mm. the only literature I have. Everything else is just manga. That's my actual reading material. That's my actual like or so like I've guessed books. over. I'm like, oh, yes. Don't, oh, look, don't worry I'm about intellectual. that. Intellectual. Don't worry about it. I have like concept art books for like The Last of Us. I have one for like... Japanese architecture. I'm an artist, so that's why. Oh, sweet. I have a cool. bunch of different things. Japanese architects. My dad's an architect, so I, so I know. Not, I'm not an architect, but like I appreciate. That's that's really interesting. I love like modern design and stuff I and love, buildings. I oh, love. I hate ugly buildings it. too. I hate ugly buildings. It's such a waste. But humans, what are you gonna do? Some, sometimes we build brick rectangles. Oh. So now we have an update. We know we're waiting on Cosner and Ghost. Cosner and Ghost. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. I think because they started while we were commentating Pulse mm -hmm. and Red Nose. Okay. So that's completely understandable. Um, so it's going to be Dragon, who's who took 3 0 over Fury's Pillow, waiting very prettily in Winter Semis, and then we're waiting for Cosner and Ghost, or when that I'm. Those Take are very on. two good players. <sighs> yeah. They, so yes, it's they like are. they're already fighting in quarters. You know, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> like we were saying earlier, lots of killers here today. Mm -hmm. Lots of killers and lots of great players, and just lots of great play as well. It's it, It's really intense over here. It truly is. I know. Even losers, it's like lots of people that first pillow is right down here. Yeah, yeah Hercules making Hercules. it out. All right, mm -hmm. <laughs> saying I'm not going zero and two. Let's go. No, not today. A no, lot of people are just today. playing so well today. Honestly. Yeah, that's the cool thing about local too. Even if you go zero and two, there's plenty of time to play casuals, meet new people. Oh, speaking get of more locals, reps in. yeah, we have local MKNJ every Friday, guys. Oh yes, we do. God, shout out to Darth right Arma. Here. Yes. Huge shout out to Darth. Actually, like the goat for trying to revive the offline scene in a, on a weekly basis rather than a monthly basis. Yes. Um, and being so welcoming to like new players I such know. as myself, you know, he's it's a very welcoming environment. So if anybody out there is curious about even like just attending, just please come. Please. It's it's a good time. People are chill. Like I said, even if you go zero and two, you can play so many casuals here and just ultimately get better. Like, you know, it's cool. Shoot the shit with people. Yeah. You know, Co hop on commentary and pretend like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> nah. It's all good. Sorry. No, it's this all. This is just so fun to. I'm sorry. I, I love like these chairs because yeah. it's so fun to just roll around <laughs> in. I can't start swiveling, but absolutely like like coming here. I only started coming here about I want to say five or six months ago now. Mm. Um, and it was like I was home. Like I don't. I didn't know anyone. I knew. I kind of knew Darth just because he had worked DTN the f previous year for MK. Mm. Um, eleven. Rest in peace. Did you come to those tournaments, all the MK eleven tournaments? I came at the very end. Okay. That's when I came at, the, like, I think the last three that they had hosted for MK11 is when I was there. Um, and I started going. And it was like, I don't know any of these people, but they're all down to play casuals. They're all down to talk to everybody, everyone's family. It's like a genuine good environment to just be in. Everyone's cool people. True. I'm also just not noticing Cosner and Ghost played off stream. I don't know if you mentioned that. Yeah. So yeah. They're, okay, yeah. So they yeah, played they were, off stream. So, they they yeah. were in the middle of... We were in the middle of Pulse and Red Nose when they had started. And right. that went to game five. Okay. Ghost taking it 3-2 over Causer. I'm a 1,000% sure, sure it was not, like, it was very close. It was not like a, you know. What, are we getting ready? What are either of those states? You know. Where are they from? <laughs> This is this is like the test. Can it, what can states we get a are map? these? Can we get a map, please? Okay. <laughs> Two states I've never been to. <laughs> 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 All right. Ghost is Maryland and Dragon is Delaware. A AP Geography over here. No, I, they put me in that when I was like 15. I'm like, where is like, Ireland? <laughs> Why do we have AP Geography when we're 15? Why is this needed? Um, I think I've been to Delaware exactly once, and it's because my dad and I were driving up to New York from Florida. I know, 18-hour drive. Don't know why he did it. And we went, at, we went by to stop by my, my aunt's house just to stop by. And I was like, I've never seen this in my life. I didn't even know you existed. You're so little. Delaware is literally like this, this big. It's no. so small. 
I thought Dragon Steel Idaho. was Idaho. <laughs> Idaho. Silver you know, sandbag. I almost, I wasn't going to say California, but I thought it was near California because it was like a slant kind of state. And a lot of the states over there are kind of like slanted on like the coast. <laughs> Idaho. Do you think, you can, how many potatoes do you can grow in that small oh, state? Come on. Oh, You're right. <laughs> That's where they grow them, right? So out somewhere up. It's out there. It's 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 a place that not many of us have been to. So. Ooh, so we have the Ashra coming. Okay, it goes Ashra away. and Kung Lao. Yes. I'm excited to see this matchup. Dragon be repping the Ashra and Ghost on the Kung Lao with the Goro attachment attachment cameo. Doing a quick little little boot and check here. Oh, I like I like Goro. Having, I like that Goro has been coming a lot more common now. Um, in a lot of like the matchups and yes. a lot of, like the the synergy between character and cameo, because um, he was he was not found anywhere cool for the first couple months of MK1's release, but now he's like, cool hey, Goro is actually like a super solid pick for a lot of characters. Indeed, it looks like Dragon. I got rolled, though. <laughs> <laughs> so Dragon's going with uh, Sindel. Ghost sticking with the Kung Lao. Corrupted forest. Johnny is all and he got the Sindel, actually, instead of the Ashra. I was, the to see, I was definitely excited to see Ashra because she has a really fun playstyle where the, the, the light and the dark ascension so different and a lot of, honestly a little bit difficult to keep track of. But instead, we're seeing the Sindel Kung Lao um, over here in the other side of the bracket as well. Yes. Right now, Sindel's saying, you can stay over there. That's okay. You can just stay way over there. I'm going to throw all this at you. And she doesn't, she doesn't even mind doing that as well. Oh. She can definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the zoning, but, you know, Ghost is like, well, if we're going to play this awesome use, zoning I got, matchup... I got Sonya. Exactly. And I have a uh, hat as well, but there it is. When uh, Sindel does get the approach, she can do an easy 35% on the board. The armor get up from Kung Lao. The foundation, the bedrock of the character. All right, great. I love... I just... I love just the hoeing the block on a lot of these moves for Sindel because it just works out very well. But however, Ghost is bringing it right back and we go for the Flato Blow after the overhead, but instead we get the immediate breaker Should be coming in from Dragon, Cheers, giving us you. at least on life in that matchup. Sorry for the late, I'm getting my socials out there. Nah, you good. It's all about, you know, building your brand as the kids say. Oh, nice mix up going to the low. It is down to the wire here, the scream. Dragon takes set one. Very close first set, though. Round two. Fight. Fight. Let's go. Going into round two, we already see Dragon is in the lead by our whole, you know, in the lead right now. And I feel like, Jesus, the dive kick actually connecting there. Super, wow. super good start, but interesting the armor wake up. Nice. Ghost keeping that pressure on. He's saying, nah, I'm staying right here. Tries to use the armor move. We're going to block it out for a bit. Absolutely. I love the hat there, Nora, to interrupt the, uh, the aerial coming in from Dragon. Dragon stuck on the corner. Ghost is really showing out what Kung Lao can do with good pressure. Get off the escape is going to be tacked away. Dragon holding his own in the corner. Now we're out. Great jump from Dragon. All right, there's a scream. Here's a little combo for you. And exactly what, uh, what Dragon does need to get this game back to more even. And then the With Kung the Lao had to reset. Yeah, because it probably would have gone into a Fatal Blow expectedly. If anything, yeah. Dragon taking that first set. Great setup with the, lo the Lao low hat. Because what was so interesting about Sindel is with the Kung Lao um, cameo is all of her approaches are always an overhead, so you can always either uh, up block if she's an aerial or or a uh, just a regular block. But you're stuck with you know rocking a hard play is going with the kung the kung lao low hat, and then she's coming in with the overhead. Yes. So it's pick your pick your poison. Oh, amazing uh, Great up block, block from from yeah. up from ghost. Yeah. Great arm and move, ghost right there. Another one, it throwing out. it out. Yes. This is what Sonya's so good at. You want to be in the air, psha. Been seeing a lot of Sonya cameo today at this tournament. Actually, not gonna lie, that projectile is—it's uh, pretty useful, especially in situations like this. Like, oh, you want to throw that? I got this. I believe she had got recently buffed in a patch that came out, I believe, last month. Um, I want to say, I don't quite recall. Yeah. And Ghost taking it, taking that first set. Round two, fight. 
Foxy chat always got me. Yes, thank you. Mid projectile, shout it's out to mid yeah. now. Yes, thank you guys. I know she, I know Lock Hamos did get a little bit of a little bit of uh, buffs coming in with the with Quan Chi's entrance. With Quan, that's right. When, uh, yeah, remember Quan Chi? <laughs> <laughs> I can go a good one. Laugh, I laugh, I smile. <laughs> All right, beautiful overhead coming in from Dragon. This is a, honestly really pretty, almost zero to death here. Going just great pressure, coast to coast, basically. one corner to the other. Go same. Come here. You're turning the corner. Damn. Yes. <laughs> I always forget how great range. disjointed that uh, attack is. I wish to know did use a little bit more. Um, Hair moves. Like, I wish he had more hair. I agree. And I, I've seen that online as well. I think as a common sentiment amongst people, similar to some of her MK11 stuff. Yes, I love her MK11 whip and flip. Love that move. Yes. Lots of beautiful. Uh, oh, you're giving me PTSD now of that move. Actually, now I think about it. I'm as sorry. A, as a Raiden main in MK11, <laughs> that was just one of many characters as a Raiden main that like, frightened me. Okay, we get the scream, we get the stun, we're going in for another about 30 through 30 ish percent, almost 35. Good stuff all around. We're block gonna be resetting this. with the low hat. Dragon oh said, block gosh. this real quick. Try it. And what's great is that you reset the combo so the damage scaling does not fa fall off at exactly. certain point. Yeah. Ghost breaking, and now we're back to neutral. Oh. Oh, you Ooh, saw that? Wait! Wow. Wait, we're, we're. That was crazy. That was. Nuts. It's the awareness. It's the awareness for me from Dragon. That little hesitation there while he's floating up there. Oh wow! Great projectile from Dragon there to take the second set as well. Wow! Dragon up 2-0. Oh, Delaware. Right, not Maryland. Down. Wait. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that's Delaware. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dragon playing this matchup so well with Sindel. And now, nice. the adjustments that we had to make against someone like someone playing the Sindel so well, you can honestly literally just go back in the VOD, Loki, mm -hmm. and go back to uh, Wave A, where it was HF. Um, HF's run, running the same character, running Sindel, Lao. And Kung something Lao. that were very Go. much a struggle or just the, great the zoning as well, as well as just being right on top of Sindel. Earth and yeah. the up block Host factor, the everything she does time, can be up blocked be and then an punished. Yes. You get a good up block, you're plus. Just go in and you can. Round she one. kind of falters a little bit to up block. Because uh, a lot of her moves are just. She enters on top. You're saying with the, that combo of the low hat when she does the overhead, that's when you. Oh, when she's just in the air, floating whatsoever. Yeah, Nine times out of ten, they're going for that overhead and just yeah. up block, and she kind of does falter. Now with the low hat, this is what you have to do: just take your battles, hope that she's not going for overhead, and just keep locking low. You saw the girl try to come out, not gonna be able to get anything off of that. The block right here from Dragon, the um, the patient, very very good. Nice projectile from Ghost. You said you want to throw stuff. I got plenty of stuff to throw at you. Oh, Sindel can, in fact, just continue to utilize that fireball low and high to kind of Ooh. mix up the uh, the projectiles. That was a cool little uh, input from Dragon right there. I oh, love, the armor move. Yep, I love the jump in uh, confidence from Ghost, and that's what's going to secure blow. him the round right here. Can we get a mash cam over there? We got a mash cam yet? Mash cam? I can't hear them mashing. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Hello, we got. All the damage scaling. Shout out to all my controller players. Not gonna be enough, I think. No. He's still, Dragon's still alive. Goro taking it. Let's go, Goro. You can give up now. Round go saying, team. hold this hat and Fight. Goro real quick. And give up real fast. <laughs> From Kung Lao. Wow, that projectile. That's crazy. Lao cameo is such a good cameo to utilize it's both that teleport, the low hat, everything. You, got, you can use any character with Kung Lao cameo, and it's going to make it some more tools available to you, really. Just to yes. control neutral. Oh, going for the screen a little too far. Back to neutral here. I Ghost love the in. jump in. I know, it's great. Ghost getting a lot more Using confident. Goro, saying, Goro, let's go. We're, we're doing it. I'm in love with Ghost's confidence right now I and agree. the jump ins and the approach. Even though he is a little bit down in life speed, I feel like this is gonna be giving him this this should be able to give him the boost to hopefully take this uh, Great take at least a game. Back throw, so Sindel's out of the corner now. 
dragon, great projectiles. He's been on it this entire set. That's exactly what I was going to illustrate earlier. The You have low hat that's staring, staring, staring at you from, for, for coming in. Yep. And you can either block low or take an overhead. And Dragon is there you go. conditioning him into that. Mm -hmm. Nice dive kick. Goro coming in. Excellent back throw. Going to be trying to push Ghost back into the corner. Two in a row. Oh, do it again. It'd be really funny if we did do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dive kick right onto the Lao hat. That's crazy, actually. Remember how someone said we can do geometry? Clearly, <laughs> Dragon can. <laughs> nice grab from Ghost. Throwing Dragon back into the corner. And this could be a Overhead really good from Kung Lao. Such a, I love that, that move with Kung Lao. Great tool. Absolutely. Oh, the low hat. Hit him. This might be it. This should be it. Unfortunately, I know Ghost, I'm sorry, Dragon does not have any meter, but gain wow. the Vortex, gain the Scream, gain the Stun, kind of does spell disaster yeah. for um, for a lot of people. It was matchup. great stuff from Dragon. Some of those conversions off of those projectiles were just oh, yes. absolutely insane. That little yes. Lao hat there at the end. Off the dive kick, which is no the dive, the Lao hat was How actually that how does that happen? That was actually some sine cosine tangent stuff. I, I don't know, know what was going on. <laughs> I never I never used that part of my calculator. I was busy playing the games, you know, on it or the oh the were you, uh, I was personally a f I my favorite calculator was I think it was a TI eighty five. I think it's not the graphic one. I hate the graphic calculator because it was just every time I yeah. tried doing a calculation, be like error, and I'm like, all right, teacher, I give up. I'm sorry. I'm crying on a test. It's eight. It's eight in the morning. You know, I can't do on. this. Oh my gosh! Let me remind me. When COVID had hit, my we were, I was my senior year. Very unfortunate. So you were in school during COVID. Yeah. Duh, I can't imagine that, man. I feel bad for anybody was, out there who. I didn't have a prom. COVID. I didn't have a. We in Florida, we have a grad bash, and we get we get both Universal and Islands of Adventure closed off to all graduating high school students. That's a good time if you've never been there, chat. So good. It's a great time. I didn't get that chance. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to. I've been there before, <laughs> but it was it was like you you paid for it, you get a bus ride there, you're there from from eight a.m. to closing. You go to Harry Potter World. Harry Potter, you have like you go to Water Rides in the morning because it's really oh. hot. Then you go throughout like you Harry do. Potter World, you get butter beer. Shambles. I didn't get that. I didn't get prom. I didn't get homecoming. Why well, no? I did get homecoming. Sorry, I did not get grad bash. Whatever. I barely got graduation. Um, my original point is when you said 8 a.m. math, I thought of when we had COVID and we went on Zoom and we were just entering pre-calc. Right. We, we did not know how to pre-calc. And our professor, our teacher that's, was that's trying. That's pre-calculus, by the way, for, for chat listening, in case you did pre-calculus. <laughs> I know some of you guys out there. You know, we, we really didn't want to go that far with calculus. And I remember stayed, sitting up, middle of spring break, absolutely pissed because I'm like what is a derivative <laughs> and my how do you spell derivative just, what is that what do you mean is it inverse of something 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 I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm literally talking on my ass right now but I just what do you mean I, got, I can't divide by zero well, what does we, that mean so what me and my class did is when he was signing us like some worksheets we found the worksheets online and each of us would pay a dollar every week to get the answers mm. and my prefer my teacher at that point just did not care why it was COVID. Yeah. He hated Zoom. He hated everything. He was like, you're, you're all getting 100. I don't care. Oh, man. So I somehow passed pre-calc without really passing pre-calc. Yeah, I feel bad for anybody who's in, whether it's college, high school. I was done with college in 2018, so I just missed COVID oh by like a God. year and a half, luckily. I will but, say, oh. the only good thing that COVID brought me is I was in the IB program. Okay. And typically, we have our IB exams, which is like a month long, basically. IB exams at the end of the year. For the May 20, 2020 class, which is my class, they did not do exams because of COVID. So they based nice. all of our grades for IB on just our classwork, our internal assessments, and our external assessments. That's dumb. So, no, that was great oh. because I had an A in every single one of my classes. Oh, okay. There we go. I was passing everything. So when they got all of our, all our documents and all the our projects. future workforce. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I passed off of some essays I did in an English class, yeah. <laughs> and I got my diploma, so we are chilling. That's all that COVID brought for me. Yeah. It's Thanks, COVID. Good. Yeah, yeah, Shout out. Hey, shout out to COVID. Shout out to COVID for um, <laughs> making me have a full online semester of college. For a full year, actually. 
My first year of college was all online. <laughs> and just for content's sake. Yes, for sure. Chris? Oh, great commentary. Really great. You. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And now I'm finishing out. I'm, I'm going to finish out losers. Got it. Hello. Hey, how's it hey. going? Hey. I was just talking about COVID and how it gave me a full year of my first year just completely online. And that's it. Yeah. It's COVID in a nutshell. Um, a lot of people experience hardships. Yeah. But we've been, we've been gaming. Yeah, we've been leveling. gaming. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's peak, peak. peak gaming terror. It's peak gaming era, in my opinion. Oh, COVID twenty twenty. Yeah, I yeah. was in my house all day gaming Animal yeah. Crossing. Yeah, uh, yeah, I bought Animal Crossing too. We all bought Animal Crossing. Yeah. We had nothing else to do. There was like no other game coming out. I think I said for Doom because they had a, the same release date. Yeah. Amazing, amazing times. Amazing. Um, we're over in losers. Let me look. Let me put down so you can yeah. see what's going on. We have losers round four with Hercules and the alphabet, the entire yes. alphabet, yeah, A okay. through Z. A through Z. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, man. this is interesting because Hercules plays Kenshi, yes. and I think Alphabet plays Melina. Yeah, Melina, Melina stands re reunite. Yep, Hold on, yep. I got you. I got the Melina keychain right here. Hey. She's a little cat. Oh, that's cool. That's I sick. love her. Yeah, she's 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 Don't pretty cool that. in this game now. Um, seeing seeing cool. this, it's gonna be pretty sweaty. Oh, I can't wait. You know, I learned the other monthly. I had, I forget, I, it might have been the alphabet, but I'm not sure exactly who it was. Mm -hmm. But someone was playing Molina, and they had, I did not know you, you can hold her, I'm gonna call it Sonic Spin Dash. I did uh, not her know roll? You, yes. Her air roll? I yeah. did not know you could hold it. And yeah. I, I was watching, I was like, yeah. are we Sonic? Yes. <laughs> yes. Turn into a Sonic character, and she then like, she's like, like, plus, safe. Yes. And she can just, she can just pressure you. And, and it's just a side, mode. so you can't even approach her. Yes. So good. Melina's, I love Melina. Yeah, Melina's very, very, very good. <laughs> I, love I love her. Yeah. She deserved it after what happened yeah. with MK11 Melina. Yeah. Her one string. Yeah, one string. And, and if yeah. you if you uh, follow this block, I'm oh, no, sorry. If you broke out of it, yeah. she could do anything. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, okay, they're, yeah. they're going into it. Melina. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hercules with the 4 4 2, uh, 2, two. Okay, ball roll. Lao hat. That's one thing about okay. Melina. She can control the space. Neutral, and yep. she gets a full screen confirm on the roll. Okay, nice wake up from Hercules. Are we going in for the okay. subdued armor? No side, but doesn't really matter because oh. Molina, the way that foot's playing, yes. very close range. Yes. Give me right in front of your face. It's not if you have armor, I do yeah. not care. Yeah. <laughs> ball roll gonna be interrupting it, going for the poke, the high poke into another ball roll. Mm -hmm. The command grab coming out into the corner. You go yeah. and stay there. That's the thing about Molina when she ha when she calls in that loud cameo. You kind of you kind of start freaking out a little bit mentally because she controls the screen and then you got to worry about the fun blockables she has with the overheads. A little right. scary. Ooh, scary enough that we have the immediate yeah. breaker. <laughs> yes, like that scenario. Okay, call Sento. Oh, that's huge! Oh, we got uh, the teleport into yes. the command grab. And yes. now pushes them away from Sento. They want to be part part. Oh, there you go, Sento. Now here comes the pressure. Oh. Hercules messed up. Oh, now, oh, you're now back. he puts him in the, in, the, in the sandwich. We're in the bento oh. box, but we're back. Oh, yeah, the bento box, and it's gone. Okay. I do want to commend how smart that was for the alphabet, though. Yeah. To use the um, telekick, command, downward telekick yes. to avoid the sento. Yeah, That's yeah, so yeah. smart. Yeah, when it comes to when it comes to uh, sento, you could just you just gotta use armor to get out of it. Oh. Like some characters, like Molina, they they have good armor that gets them out of the, the sento sandwich. Situations, which is good, which is good. Oh. It's good because we were talking about how oppressive yeah. Sento can be. Yeah, and very you, you oppressive. You kind of feel like, what do I do? Yes. You know? Okay. Sento right there, but we're going to push him out of the way for a little bit longer okay. and just back up. Back up. Ooh, teleport. Get okay. my face. Yes. Okay. I'll block. Oh. Okay, yeah, restart. Immediate restart. Yes, immediate restart. Mm -hmm. I, I think he needs to like take a breather a little bit. I know it's the first game, Round but... Like yeah, being yeah, being in. tilted mentally can 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 hinder your decision making. Oh, confirm. Escape fail. Going for yep. the forward throw. You're yeah. going into the corner a little bit further into yeah. the corner. We get with the ball roll. Good pokes. Going in for the combo. Little hat in order oh. to cover the ground. Nice stuff. Okay. Nice. And then this is this That's is where huge. Kenshi begins. That's huge. Okay. Nice. Into the restand. And for the alpha, you just, you literally just have to hold that. Yeah. You have to hold the freeze. You have to hold yeah. the center right behind you. 
He's just got to bait the armor. That's that's what that's what a sen uh, the Sento sandwich is for. Yep. Baiting. Oh, Sento's gone. Four four. Oh, that's the thing about Molina. They, these players, they uh, Molina players now, they start to wake up buttons with with full confidence. Oh, they know it's they not can good. Fatal blow. Getting he's gonna punished. kill. No way. It does connect. No, no. It, nice break. Ooh, nice break. Oh my goodness. I didn't think it was gonna connect, yes. and it did. Mm -hmm. Okay, pose. Hercules. Nice. 4-4, 4-4. Four, 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 four. hit. Yes. Nice. And for those that don't know, that 4-4 four, four off the Sento stance is plus on block. So, oh. yeah. That's why I love that you're here, because you yeah. know all the yeah. ins and outs of the yes. moves. <laughs> That's why I need you for, Yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, here we go. This is this is where he gets the ball rolling. Yep, very No, no smart bar, break. but Sento's still there, though. With a, yeah. Yeah, so Sento, Sento throw reset. It's a lot of people saying... That bug needs to go, but this is confirmation from the NRS developers that that is not a bug. So it's just how it's how God intended to be. Yes, really. yes. <laughs> God has favorites in its country. Yeah, they, yeah. The, the makers of the game has a lot of favoritism. It's crazy. A week as hell. Yeah. Some characters have gone a little bit past with all these patches recently. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, nice down two. Oh, Hercules got one on the board. Nice. One one. Very, very solid okay. all around from Hercules. And then just looking at the body language, you could just see some tilting going on. Like I can, I can just see Alphabet. Like, damn, I really, I really fumbled that game. I can. What the? Huh? What is the this? ABC is a fighting what game. What is this? What the? What is? What's going on here? Flip it! Flip it! Is this? Is, 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 is this the? Is this the tech? Is this the tech to win That's, the set? Oh my god! It's we, a, we need to see. We need to see. Nah. I love when stuff like that happens on stream because it's yeah. just like, hello, the yeah. ABC's a fighting game? <laughs> yes. <It's, laughs> who, who knows, man? This might be like, like, like you know how Popeye eats a spinach and he just, mm, just start, powers starts, up. powers <laughs> up and beats the other guy? But look, he's working! Yeah, this might be, this might be, his, this might be his, his spinach. This is his spinach because if you yeah. just took a double combo, taking away almost all of our yes. health, already have Fatal Blow active for, um, yeah. for, the, for Hercules. Yes. All right, that's a good start. Okay. We do have some still alive. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, wasted the bar. Uh oh, this is gonna, this is fatal blow. That's called adaptation. Adaptation, adaptation across the nation. That was good. Now that's like forty-five. I would say. Give or take, I think. Yeah. Because he had done it 45. really quickly into um mm -hmm. into the fatal blow, so it's as much damage yes. as possible. Uh huh. That's good. Okay, Molina. That's the oh. thing about Molina. They're looking. They're looking for a, a single reaction, single whiff on the button, so they could just ball roll a neutral. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, be careful with Sento. Nice jump. Can we jump right over that? Give me a sense to get Sento okay. away from us and dive kick upwards. Get us back into the corner. Oh, we are seeing yeah. the alphabet really see the ABCs uh -oh. of the nice fighting game block. happen. Whoa! And we get the command grab. Yeah. Stay in okay. the corner. Nice throw. 60 seconds down. That's the thing about Molina. She has good, good confirms. Even, even, even from the juggles. She's such a solid character right now, yeah. and it's so refreshing to see as a fellow yeah. Molina. Not like mate. Yeah. Molina enjoyer. Yeah, yeah. So, so nice to see. Of course. And Molina's like very, very, very good in this game. And seeing her at a high level is very, very, very good to see. Very refreshing. It's okay. also just like both players here are just so smart about oh. adaptation, about conversions, yeah. about keeping people in the corner. The pressure from the outfit yeah. right now, as I say that, is only yeah. getting better and better. Uh oh, fun blockable. No confirm. Escape, Escape failed. failed. Too bad there's no KBs in this game. Okay. See Hercules, he just needs one confirm. One confirm into Sento. Just one, just one, but the oh, outfit is not, not gonna let him take it. Having to use a breaker right there, you had to right there. Yeah, he had to, he had to. Uh oh, this is not looking good. The way the positioning, too far. Oof. Oh, he could have just did f one three into the, into the launcher. All right, so alphabet, it's up by two one. Apparently, he needed that spinach, that Popeye spinach, to get him up. Our the ABC is a fighting in. game. Locking in. Yeah, we're he so is. Bad. He is locked in at the moment. Yes. Now let's see if Hercules can do the same. You know, rejuvenate, think, take a breather, Look smoke your vape. Cope, Hello, cope, <laughs> just cope with what's cope. happening with that right now. This is just 
great high level Melina play. Of just course. So fun to watch. She's, she's so fun to watch. Just yeah. multiple strings, multiple combo enders, multiple combo mm -hmm. mid combos as yes. well. It's just very, very fun yes. stuff. And then with the Lao has to just help assist uh -huh. all of that and make her even yes, yes. more over, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say overpowered a little bit. Yeah. A little overpowered. Yeah. Very refreshing. But the Sub Zero uh, armor is yes. on, and we're going for the forward throw. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's the thing about, about Hercules. He has to watch out in neutral because Molina players tend to get impatient. They just yes. start doing YOLO ball rolls, and it just stands back only to 2015. And as you see oh. right there, easy punish. Oh, he did down one, but he tried to call on Sento doing down back one. I definitely feel for him because I play Kenshi too, and I can understand that. Ooh, the Lao Hat covering the possible punish. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh oh, that's a launcher. That's gonna hurt, and this is gonna put Alphabet into match point scenario. Round two. All right. Now Hercules has to watch out, whipping his buttons in neutral. Now that ball roll made it safe, which is what's so okay. All right, didn't have the, the Lao Hat that time to cover the ball yep. roll, so we have a free Sento yep. combo coming our way yes. to the corner. Okay. Take overhead. Yup. Uh uh uh. Have to break. Nice down two. Take all this pressure. Yes. Take all this pressure. Take no all bar. This pressure, all this chip. What are you gonna do? You have no bar. Uh, you have nothing. Now he has no Sento. Out. There we go. Okay. Block the low. Wake up buttons. Okay. This be. This uh oh. Be careful. Fun blockable. Huge. Nice blocks. Okay. Stand one. Throw. The forward throw. Back in the corner. You go. We're gonna continue that pressure with Molina. Down two. Yeah, trying to go for down okay. two on the corner. Nice four four. He nice. was probably expecting him to throw, but now he's in the he's in the corner. He's not in a good position, and they're very close. Nice. Okay, low nice. Low. Great armor. Okay, rising karma. Okay, nice. Thank God he didn't ball roll there, for him. Okay, meter burns for the for the low side. Okay, Lao Hat does cover the ball roll once more. We're okay. Keeping ourselves back in the corner. Hercules has to get out of here somehow. Okay, restands him. Uh, nice. I think he was trying to mash there on hit. Uh oh, it's a little scary. That's my favorite command. Yes. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. Very, very, very awkward. Uh, awkward silence with the buttons there. Okay. We're just kind of keeping. Yeah, uh, he's just throwing him. Play. Whose turn is it? Yes. It's gonna be off best turn right That's now. That's just like forty percent off of throws. Okay, nice. Ooh, the forbidden normal. <laughs> The Forbidden Normal with Kenshi. We've never seen that with, off a of Sento stand. Oh, oh, oh. Really careful here. You have some, some, some if, in the back. If he confirmed the ball roll, it would have been, been game over. Okay, Sento. That's a sandwich. Overhead. No! And Sento, Sento's gone. Oh, and that's, that's all she wrote. That's game. That's game. Great oh, stuff my God. all around, Good though. stuff from Hercules. And mind you, these guys made top eight NEC. And they play phenomenal. Hercules is a is a really good, phenomenal Kenshi player, and so is Alphabet with the Molina. And this, I think, they are. Uh, this is for like uh, to get top, into top. No one. They have to play one more one more uh, set to get into top eight. Yeah, the next set is top to get into top eight, eight, and then I believe are we gonna go? We'll see who goes on deck. Yeah, I, I never it might go. be my go and Kairos, I believe. They should be on stream. Yeah, they should be on yeah. stream. We should have those three last matches. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For people who aren't looking at bracket, because there's bracket in chat right now, go look at the bracket. But if you don't want, if you're too lazy like I am usually, yeah. uh, Ghost and uh, the Alpha are gonna be fighting in yeah. losers' quarters in a little bit, and we're gonna be waiting for Mego and Kairos. Yeah. Uh, right now in round four to go against Red Nose, who's also sitting on the other end for, of losers' quarters. For top eight. For top eight, and yes. this top eight, a little messed up, a little, little scary. Messed up. Yeah, it's a little, little scary. Pretty stacked today with all the players. A lot, of, a lot of good, good talent in this, oh, in this tournament. Yes, absolutely. And that's what, that's what this, uh, that's what Darth Arma and MKNJ uh, provides. Good tournament experience, but also a lot of uh, people wanting to, wanting to grind and improve the scene and improve themselves, which is good. Just good very high see. level play. Yes. And such like a, I feel like the area we're also in, very, mm -hmm. very close to Newark and Penn. Yeah. Very easy to get to from the city. Very easy to oh, get yes. to driving wise. I feel like the drivers just kind of yes. just go in. It's it's just in a really good area. Also, yeah. you actually have like food options and stuff. Oh and yeah. Things around to do. So it's just like come out. It's yeah, really this fun. is very convenient, and um, we're we're right by New York City, so. 
this is very, very convenient as it gets with all the transportation, yep. the foods, trains, most of tri -state. buses. Yes, Tri-State. We see, have the whole Tri-State in here. You see PA come out. I mean, you see yes. PA, you know, PA, states from a lot of players that are just New York. driving over. Yeah, yeah. The DMV, know? like all, 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 all the Eastern Seaboard, the East Coast. Yes. And yeah. that's what that's that's what's so good about about MKNJ. We bring out the best of the best, you know. But. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know who's next. Oh, it's um, Maigo and Kairos nice. that are next. So we are going to be seeing round four real fast yeah. to see who will yeah. be going up against Red Nose yes. uh, in quarters. An so an Another Kenshi in, uh, another Kenshi after the set. So yeah, a lot of Kenshi's I think today. after it. Yeah, a lot of Kenshi's, which is good. Kenshi's, Kenshi's like a lot of, it's debatable that people put him in the top five. Well, he's like, the he's not an easy top like top tier character to play because he requires a lot of execution and he has like some matchups where like it's it's not in his decision it's not yep. favorable for him because yep. they can just zone him out and it's it's controversial controversial yep. but he's a good character all 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 around but especially it's just when you get the setup going yeah you know? yeah it, he's so good he's yeah. pretty he's pretty cool to watch with like the sento sandwich but not he's Fun to watch, not fun to deal with. <laughs> oh, I know. That's like half half these characters. Yes. Very fun yes. to watch. I am very much entertained right now. When it comes to playing them, mm -hmm. it makes me want to uninstall the game. Yes, yes. And that's okay. That's okay. But that's most of the cast. And that's okay. Most of the cast. <laughs> so, I believe Maigo plays um, Shang and Kairos plays Omni-Man, I believe. Oh, we have Omni Man here. Yeah, yeah, Omni Man. Ooh, I've been seeing a little bit of a rare breed. Yeah, nowadays. Omni Man. Yeah, yeah. Omni Man's been like every time the DLC releases, it takes like I would say like a month or two to st start overflowing with it because yep. I think that's when people start working and polishing uh, how they play them. But he he's he's a pretty good character, and a lot of people are starting to pick him up. Yeah. And I'm kind of motivated to play him too. He looks really good. I really. love when he got released. Yeah. He just looks. So, I was like, what? I remember watching his trailer and just being yeah. starstruck. I was like, yeah. what? He can yeah. just do that, and you can't hit v him. Very, very cool. <laughs> very, very cinematic. But Omni Man, in a nutshell. I oh man, I know. I, I seen a, I seen a mod. Like I know the PC MK community is like thriving with mods now. Oh, we know. Yeah, I seen like like. Like a Goku skin for Omni Man. I've seen Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. I'm tired. <laughs> I've s I, I'm tired of it. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous Fazbear. at this point. Yeah. See, I, and I seen um James Jonah Jameson for Spider Man as as Omni Man. I was like, what the hell? Wait, <laughs> wait. They're getting a little creative here. Yeah, they're getting very creative. Like my favorite mods are usually like the costume mods yes. from 3D era to like and putting into like yes. the MK1 character. Yes. Oh. Tanya 3D era in in this game. Yeah. Oh, she's so beautiful with yeah. that skin, with yeah. that with that mod. With yeah. that, you know, they, they make it look so good. Uh, well, oh, what's not Ani Man? It's a uh, Baraka. Oh, we'll, we'll see. It's a button check, so yeah. you never know. Yeah, we're honestly, I've been, I've been trolled before. Okay, yeah. Oh, character select. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I seen I seen an Ani Man skin for Superman. Shane's oh my Baraka. God. Oh, it is even Baraka. Sector. Oh, it is Baraka. Okay. I was disappointed a little bit. I hope I wanted to see Omni Man. I me uh -huh. too. No more experiments. But the Baraka, uh, yeah. still a character that's still no. relative. I don't want to say super oh, strong because no, after the nerf of Cyrax, yeah. is kind of not kind of. He's definitely fallen a couple of yeah, a couple like couple, couple of tiers. like a couple centimeters down the tier list. You know, and then <laughs> and then we have Striker who has suddenly yeah. I want to say become Combat League Cyrax Part Two. Yeah. You know, everyone playing Cyrax yeah. um, um, Striker yeah. and Baraka is no exception. Yeah. Well, Bar Baraka with Strikers, like, feels like it never changed, but Baraka with Cyrax, it's a chip damage is unbearable. But now we got we got Baraka Striker, the nice throw in the corner, and safe. Uh oh, you don't want to be in the corner with Baraka. No, okay. you don't. Safe. Again, it's a constant barrage. Look at of that. Striker yes. bombs, you get stunned a little yeah. bit, then Baraka comes in with that combo potential that we've yes. been new about since ECT. Mm -hmm. And look, the thing about Baraka, he gets that confirmation across nation with, with Striker, you know? Okay, the rhyming. Yeah, you know how I roll. But look at that. Set up. Oh, 
What was that? Oh, very smart. Yeah. And unfortunately, couldn't uh, yeah. utilize. Kind of what Sindel does with the yeah. overhead and the yeah, low. Of course. Couldn't do it here with the Cyrax missile. Okay. Knockdown. Uh oh. Almost got. Almost got caught there. Okay. He got okay. Overhead. Lots Balls of pressure block. on block. Nice Balls block. Throw. I don't, I don't think Mago has been out of block this whole like last uh, 20 seconds. Yeah. Mago has to play neutral. Okay. Throw, nice back throw. I think he has a very unique back throw. It pushes him all the way, all the way to the to the corner. All right, Husa, if you okay. are at the very, very less than 200 health, and I think Cairo yeah. might be taking it here. Absolutely, yeah. Baraka just that, really explodes like that. Yeah, he he hits like a truck, and like the thing about Baraka is like what makes him so crazy is like his low, his low, his low looks like an overhead, and it's double hitting and breaks the armor. It's so dumb. Cause like it reminds me, it reminds me of like Boraicho and MKX. I used to play. Oh I, I my god! Don't. So like Boraicho, his four or three was an overhead. Yup. And I, I, and I, I played a lot of tournaments, and I used to hit with people with it so many times. A lot of that, it's unblockable at that point. So the fact that Baraka has something like that in this game is crazy. Double hitting breaks armor. Barely could punish. My like, goodness. Okay, chip damage. It's just the pressure. You already have to yeah. start. You have the combo going. You only can hold block because yeah. you can't do anything about yeah. Baraka. Are and Striker just resets everything yeah. in his favor. Mm -hmm. Round two. Twitter. Fight. Alright, we're gonna be continuing on though. We're going in for the for the back throw back to center stage. And okay, using the spikes to get out of the situation, and thankfully we're gonna be coding block for even longer, going for another back throw, yeah. trying to go back into yeah. the corner. Okay, nice good wake armor. up. Good, good. Stop. Okay, now that keep him, keep him out of the uh, full screen. <gasps> oh my gosh, that striker. was crazy. Wait, yeah. and he was like inches away, or like centimeters away from getting hit by the by the by the ground skulls. Yes. Okay. He had both blocked that and yeah. the striker bullet, this exact the missile at the exact same time. Okay, that's the thing. The flaw, even the flawless box is not enough to uh, stop the chip damage. I think here Cairo just has such great awareness yes. of when the sector cameo is coming out. Yeah. Instant pause. Are they gonna do? Yeah, they're yeah. gonna want to do it. You might want to change. Yeah. I, I would change. Yeah, I would change. I mean, my go. I mean, I seen Shang players play Cyrax. Well, Cyrax got nerfed now, so I recommend Goro. Goro looks really good with with Cyrax. I mean, not Cyrax. Uh, <laughs> Shang. I keep yep. thinking. Like the Cyrax, the Cyraxness from like day one, MK1 is already flooding my head. So I keep saying Cyrax, Cyrax, but it's like a it's like a day one thing. If you've been through it, you could talk about it. <laughs> okay, so he's still sticking with Sector. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. Maybe he wanted to go to character select to change the stage and get a breather. I think you just probably need a second to so just yeah. reset, yeah. get back to being grounded, and yeah. then get in. Uh, just, just do what, what yeah. Sang Shung does best, which is the flame yeah. skulls up around, yeah. around and, uh, and, uh, and across. Yeah. Just maybe stuff out the Baraka. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how Sector would would uh, oppose a threat to uh, to safeguard Shanks pressure. Oh, but my go getting the combos on the board. Uh, oh, uh, 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 okay. Get him in the corner. Oh, wake up buttons. We need, we need, we need that push. <laughs> we need that 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 Armani Vis wake up button soundboard in here. Yeah, for real. It yeah. really had to go for the breaker because anything else, yeah. you're you were likely yeah. gonna lose the round. Yeah. Oh, balls block. Invades the chip damage. Oh, uh, blocking yep. overhead, thinking he was gonna do an overhead, but does a low. It looks like it looks like an overhead, but it's a low. Oh, down two. Too bad there's no KBs in this game. Sad. Uh -huh. <laughs> no good. Get out of here. Oh my god, his siren. The pressure, sector. you're dead. I think the, it's, it might be Raps okay, here. Okay, punish, punish! Oh yes, the back throw! No, but he didn't punish. He didn't get a full punish. No. No bias, by the way, no bias. No, yeah. <laughs> but man, he had to just this close. Yeah, because he could have got he could have got a better punish with that instead of throws. That's why I don't... I, uh, throws, when it comes to being, being so punishable, is highly frowned upon. It's not good. He needs to he needs to take a breather. Just uh, start start doing a lot of pokes. I, I recommend down four. Well, that down four got stuffed there. Just can't you know? He can't even take a breather when there's so much pressure yeah. on you yeah. in the corner. Great okay, up nice. block. That's a good punish right there. Okay. That's the start uh, we needed. Uh oh. 
Okay, now full screen. There we go, there we go. Yeah. Let me block oh. that slide right on through. You get punished. Oh, that was throw. sick. He evaded Striker with that with that throw. Alright, good okay. strike. Uh, spikes. Oh, you gotta be careful. He hits Sector so he can't get hit. Oh, but he doesn't have a breaker. Nice. Down four spikes. Oh, that's huge. And again, did the same the same back throw yeah. allowed him to avoid the Sector bombs. I think that's very unique with, with, Se with Shang. To, like that's that's like a throw specific thing where he could just avoid uh, striker with yep. that throw. It like it takes him out of everything. That's a good rollout. Yeah, very good rollout. Oh man, okay. again, just kind of got yeah. by the, the, the uh -huh. looks like a, looks like a low. It really yes, looks like a low. Yes, it looks like a low. That's the that's the scary thing about this character. You don't want to be you want you don't want to be in front of him. You want to keep him as far away from you as you can. Oh! Another up uh, punish. Yes. And, uh, then we, and we get the corner. Uh, okay. 29. Right, get that pressure up. Get Almost that pressure 30. up. Okay. Huge. Okay, yes. overhead. You saw that little mini hop? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. Now, what's the mix? He's close. Throw. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's all she wrote. Kairos oh, taking it. Three. Oh, yo! I didn't oh, even realize that was game God. three. Yeah, because it went uh, so fast. Uh, Baraka really can steamroll you, and then in the blink of an eye, you're you're already you're already down three sets. Mm -hmm. I feel like he was starting to get the annotation down though, but I feel like those first two games went by so fast. It was like it was game one, you know. Yeah. And into game three, we were doing such a great, great, great job of of, of that of adapting adaptation, and yeah. utilizing like that one, you know, the back throw. Mm, Insane yeah. hidden tech. It's, yeah, hidden tech. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know about that with, mm -hmm. with Shang to avoid striker, but that's that was that was good. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully he reevaluates re how he plays, and probably hopefully changes another cameo or something. But uh, that was that was good. That was a good set. Hopefully, oh, for sure. hopefully uh, he changes cameos or um, my recommendation is probably Goro, so he can just uh, switch to old Shang and yep. force the mid pressure into the, into the Goro, and then just repeat and then go full screen. Boom, 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 or probably Scorpion. You know, get that, get that uh, ground skull, then Scorpion into like un unbreakable uh, forty percent. You yep. know, and even so. if you need, if you need like a really easy way to get out, Scorpion, you know, can pull you back yeah, and yeah. make that space again where you oh, can shine yeah. as Shane. Yeah, he can just like stay back with that mm -hmm. with that cameo, that that certain cameo move. You know, mm -hmm. just get over here or. Get me, get me out of there. <laughs> yeah, get me out of this. Like, yeah. I need to get out. It's not even you know? get over here. It's, it's get me get out, out of here. <laughs> help me, help me. Yeah, like, so, that's what it's called, you know. But um, who's who's on stream? I oh, think it's we have Ghost. Ghost in Alphabet. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. I want to see this. This is this is a demon set right here. I think he's playing Lao versus Melina, and we got two two Yolo characters going going against each other. Mm -hmm. So we gotta see how that goes. Be very entertaining. I cannot wait. Yeah, very entertaining. Yolo ball roll and just Yolo mash armor. And this is just to get out of um. Just, I'm sorry, not, not to get out of pools. <laughs> to get into top yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this yeah. is gonna be. Oh, the I heard the whole. I heard the whole venue boo. Yeah, yeah. So there. So uh, uh, for the people that don't know, uh, there's another tournament that's happening in the other in, inside the venue, the other side of the venue, and it's called what? Test Your Might, where you're doing. You're a, mashing. Yeah, you're just mashing. You're just mashing and you're just making sure you you um, have the most fatal blow damage when you um, start mashing that button. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a tournament for it's a tournament that will separate from the boys to the men because because <laughs> like the thing is like you can get arthritis and your freaking ar fingers are already freaking scolded, hurting. Like all, all my all my older people out there, test your might. Test Ooh. your might. Let's might hope. be a test of your arthritis. Yeah, test your arthritis. <laughs> Test your test, test your, your fingers. Tunnel. <laughs> Let's check if your fingers have a six pack. Yo, it, you will you will have it after the end of this after the end of this side tournament. I think this is oh. a fun little okay. side event. But yeah. oh my goodness, already! All right, ghost armor. Okay, the shimmy. Yes, I hear a lot about katana on. We only see much. I think this is the first time I've seen yeah. at least today mm -hmm. on stream and. Katana, I feel like, is also a very polarizing character, especially on Combat yeah. League, where yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah. like, she's so good at zoning, and her zoning is yeah. really annoying to get around because yeah, yeah. those fans go in different directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Katana, she's very strong. Very, very scary. She has one of the best mids in the game. And, like, it's it's very scary. And she, he's playing Sub-Zero with Katana. I think that's very interesting. 
Uh, but like in this, in this, uh, in this scenario, he will have to go in because he he has to. Like the clock, the time goes down very quick in this game, and timeouts are are more frequent in this game than any other MK game. So yeah, we're already we have six seconds straight off the clock. Yes, right? thirty yes. seconds left, y'all. Yes. This oh. is a very fast-paced yes. game. We're trying to go home. Yes, we're trying to go home. They're they're also they're also making the tournaments go by very quick, Round which two. kudos to them. But Fight. we'll see, we'll see how you can uh, the alphabet make this adaptation go on. So I don't know why he's not playing Melina though, but we'll see how it goes. Oh. No it confirm. It must be a matchup thing at, yeah. at this point if it's yeah. Katana over Melina. Because yeah. that Melina was spicy, very yeah. pressure uh, pressure heavy yeah. on top of you with punishable. Yep. Like, or you, you're with punishing. Yeah. So it's just a matter of what does Katana bring to the table. And yeah. it might be the the long range yeah. game. Yeah, the long range game, the zoning. But Kung Lao does not allow you, yeah. does not care, really. But Lao ha Oh! Okay. It could oh. be, this is very huge. The subs are, re no. uh, freeze reset is okay. really good. Okay. What's okay. the damage? Optis? Uh, maybe 40? Ooh. Almost 40. 38%. Yeah, that, that was almost 40. Damn! <laughs> that, that throw did a lot of damage. I'm 13. saying, wait, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> they always do 130, but yeah, it's yeah. like, it's a lot. Look yeah. at a lot of damage yeah. for a throw. Uh oh, Goro. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You can't mash armor there. Lao will break your armor. That's when that's when he's safe. Plus, as soon as he uh, does that armor to the Goro cameo. Um, the dive hit recovery time is uh, so strong, yeah, so good to just strong. continue what's going on. Yeah, I understand. Like, Lao is the most brain dead I've ever seen in this game. Like, I've never seen Lao this brain dead in this game. Wow. And I came from MK, MKX. MKX, uh, he, he was, was good. MK11, he was, good. He, was, he was like annoying, but like cool. not like this, you know? This is like a it, whole new level. Yeah, he's like <coughs> safe armor launcher with 50-50. He remi he's like he kind of reminds me of like he's like the MK11 Sub Zero in my opinion. Just crazy mix, yeah. just crazy mix. I hate it. But so. like, I but like it was so. safe, yeah. And it's like it's very rough. You see, um, Alphabet thinking, what yeah. should we do? Should we go the Omni honestly? Man? Should we go back to Melina? Honestly, he should just play uh, maybe Sindel. Oh, he, he plays all the Denian ladies. I see oh, him. Oh, all the Denians? Oh, okay. I see him. Okay. That's he interesting. Said, oh, That's nice. I was like, we play the mother and the sister. And, yeah. the, and the sisters? Yeah, okay. the, the whole family tree. The whole know? family. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Ermac. Could you want to count Ermac a little bit? There, oh, yeah, since maybe. Well, since he's uh, yeah, he, yeah, he is. He is. Mad funny. And the lore. <laughs> you know lore, you know. But regardless, I don't think Ghost really cares. You want to go Melina? You want to yeah. go Katana? I'll uh -huh. put both sisters right here, right now yes. with the Kung Lao. The pressure is on, but uh -huh. finally we get a little bit of an opening for the alphabet and it's completely oh reduced, uh, and, reduced to atoms. And you see how loud players play. Just like that, two bars is gone. Just, just, just like that. This is how. This is the mentality. This is the. This is the. The design for these characters, especially Lao. No punish. No punish. Because it's hard to punish that. That's why. Oh, oh my nice. god. Nice. That's that man throw. Jesus. Yeah, you gotta stand the block it. Knuckle sandwich. Boom, 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 boom. Get in there. Now back up. This is fun. Very fun. Fight. This is this is fun for him, but not fun for the alphabet. Oh, wake up buttons. Oh, yes, this yes. This is gonna hurt. This should be a finally a, uh, a moment of life for the alphabet here. Gonna be going in it and breaks the armor. the armor. Yes! Those kind of setups would, would would humble a loud player. So that's the thing that that the alphabet needs to start doing and enforcing. Oh, no confirm. Okay, get a little pressure. Oh my overhead. god, it's so the overhead. The forward two, back two. No meter for the alphabet though. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh. nice back throw. Be close, but not quite enough. The jump in gonna be trying to punish it with the high, but not gonna be enough as we see both players kind of just blocking everything. Oh, nearly missed oh the my god. kick, but and that's the a thing. Lao hat comes in clutch. That's the thing about Melina is like she can do that, and you can, you want to know where the hat's going because you can't see the it. The screen goes up. Yes, it's so freaking annoying about it. Lao, okay, set up, hit some of the hard knockdown. Okay, Goro safe. Can't even punish the dive kick. Yeah. Has to recover from it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's huge. This is so good for the Alphabet to get his back, uh, lead back into this game. Oh my god, hit him with a blockable ball. Oh my god! Back into the corner we go. Okay. Down one, poke. plus. Oh my and god, Lao hat. Lao, Lao hat. On the knees. Now it's 1-1. One, one. Look at that knee. Oh my god. I'm saying the adaptation there, the Katana, we, we were not cooking the Katana. Yeah, we were not We, we were, were not cooking. We are cooking with the Molina. Yes, we are cooking the Molina. One, one Indian to the other. If it doesn't work, 
One that will do find it. another one, yeah. And he has home field Sonic. advantage. <laughs> yeah, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, honey, attack. Pink, Let's pink go. Pink Sonic. Pink Sonic. You can't even do anything about it when she does do the Sonic, like the, the spinning dash. Yeah. But we okay. do see that Alpha is in the corner, trying to get out of there. A little bit of block pressure, but it's going to be up to go to paper, uh, keep Alpha back in the corner. Yeah. Nice blocks. Go Rogue, be keep, keeping the, yeah. the pressure on yep. once more. And also also charging the cameo. And the Alphabet, he's he's holding the pressure pretty well. But he has to come back there. And that's the thing about that about that about that string with Lao. He can do that the the low or to the overhead. It's a real 50-50. And with Goro, it launches. So it becomes an actual real, real, real 50-50. Oh, punish? No punish. Okay, going okay back throw back in the corner. Gets the first in the rolls okay. here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That's good. This is great okay. for the alphabet. Come on, we, okay. we, we get Bronze our favor. Okay, nice blocks. Nice armor armor. through it. Good, good breakaway. Honestly, yeah. really good breakaway. Oh You're my god, look at that down too. It works. Okay, throw. This should be not quite it. Oh, my oh god. it is. Okay, we lagged a little bit, but no, we got we're it. lagging a little bit. Is there somebody on Wi-Fi? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. Oh, stop. No, no, no. We don't want to think like that. Oh, no, whiff punish. I feel like you get a whiff punish that, but like, oh. Oh, we do oh, punish that kid. Okay. Yes. Love that okay. idea from the alphabet. All right, a little bit okay. of just zoning right here. And the alphabet said, I'm going to skip I think, the zoning. I think if he had a little more cameo meter, he would have held that, that Lao hat to confirm and get a conversion off I that teleport. Know. That's what's a little scary about that, that teleport. Look at that. Oh. Good pressure. I think that the alphabet has kind of kicked it, uh, kicked, okay. us, kicked us up into gear. Great pressure, good. Oh, okay. Hanging on the on the block, on the high blocks, so we will get overheaded. Oh, look at these blocks from the alphabet. Okay. Aha! Geometry. With grab, that's okay. Goes like a great game. Oh my god! Here, but you jump in and you immediately yes. lose. And the alphabet going up to one. He, I, I, like he's. It's the, is, is it the ABC? The sweater coming off? The sweater coming off? Uh, Ooh! Is sweater coming the, off! Is this the equivalent of uh, Sonic Fox taking out his hat? Yo, you know, when, they, when they take off the hat, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's like, let me your energy kind Wait, of thing. Wait, is it hair know? coming down? Is hair coming down? Oh, not no, yet. Not no, yet. Not the yet. hat's going on, okay, though. The, the hat's going on. <laughs> I don't know. The alphabet was looking pretty solid in that game. You know, he got the home field advantage. He's playing in the Adenia stage. Sindel's courtroom. Sindel's mm -hmm. literally in the stage watching you. Ooh, fight. We can see the ghost Liu Kang. I know he does play Liu Kang. Yeah, he does play Liu Kang. Uh, he has pretty good Liu Kang, you know, just just the zoning, the back throws. Go Liu Kang, go Liu Kang. Yes. Liu Kang, oh, Raiko. Oh. I manipulated him. Yeah. <laughs> you pull, you pull, you pulled the, pulled strings. the strings. I'm following the script right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever have told us who you truly are? I let the intros rock. For this crisis. No. The the I like this intro. The cook. I still think they need a third line. Yeah. I will die by that. Yeah. Live and die by it. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's, he's playing. He's playing. Uh, Lou like a like a like a zoner. Oh, he hits sector. Oh. All right. This is good. Okay. This really solid yeah. Lou. What Lou can do. Yeah. Yes. Yo, 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 I love it. Yeah. He has so many different projectiles to deal with. He has the double one we yeah. just saw. We have the big old fireball, and then we had the you know the traveling kick that gets Molina away from him. But the ball rolled. Gonna be dropping yeah. the combo. That's the thing. That's the thing. He can't. He can't do about that because Molina has the only solution to that is the ball roll, mm -hmm. and ball roll low profiles it. You could go for tele kick if you really yeah. wanted to, but yeah. ball roll definitely the better option yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. Down one. Down three. Four, 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 three. Okay. Okay. Kung Lao oh. hack, coming in clutch, going for the ball roll into the air, gonna get some little more damage with the air ball oh roll as God. well. Oh my God! Unblockable. Huge punish, going for the breaker that was, immediately. That was good block. Okay. Oh, back get throw. punished. This is gonna launch. Watch. Oh, oh. Thirty percent. Oh, corner. Ooh, ooh. What are you gonna do about this? What do you do yeah. about this? Going for a fourth throw, okay. staying in the corner even longer. Didn't go for delay, get up or anything yeah. else. She's going straight back up, and you're getting eaten by all okay. of this block and then pressure. Just like that, it's two two. That was so fast. Yeah, it was. It was a steamroll. Liu so. Kang works. It's working. Yeah, Liu Kang, very controversial character. Every every MK game, he's like he's the a top boy. of the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I can accept it because he is like 
The face of MK. Alongside Scorpion, or yeah. arguably. Yeah. The yeah. face of MK. Yes. And, you know, and yeah. I believe in Scorpion is yeah. Ed Boon's favorite character, yeah. uh, favorite everything, and then mm. Luke King is Lily Luke King, yeah. you know? So I can excuse the uh, little bit of yeah. love that they, those two uh, do get. So oh, we're back to the Katana, yeah, I just back realized. To the well, we're gonna see how it goes, because, I mean, seeing his Katana firsthand, um, in my opinion, I really wanted to see him play as Molina. His Molina was doing fairly phenomenal. Oh, we're both going Sub Zero. I think both players know we are going for a long yeah. zoning game. Yeah. Oh, and he switched to Sub Zero, and just so you guys know, we're going off the Pro Comp rules. So if they switch, if he, if uh, the loser switches character or anything, uh, the winner can switch cameo. Yep. And it was a very smart switch as well. I think both, yeah. uh, just again, understanding. We could go into a zoning match at yeah. any moment. The normals here, the pressure could be good. Yeah. And just like we saw, yeah, he very, almost broke very his solid. armor. Oh, I got so whenever that happens, a whiff, a whiff high, yeah. I get like PTSD. I think yeah. you understand why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. It kind of gets me salty just looking at it. Like, like, oh my god, I jump up every single time. Yeah. Look, and that's how the co the cameo armor does yeah. get clutch. The okay. kind of has to cook it. This is, this is game five to get uh -huh. into top eight. I'm waiting with bated breath. Uh, he has to use that mid that Katana has. Uh oh, 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 oh! Oh, that's huge. This could be a really, really good combo here going for the freeze. Uh, can he optimize this? Up. Can he optimize this? Oh, we're in the air. Ooh, can we get this? Oh my god! If he optimized it, he would have got it. I, oh, this is in a match point for, for Ghost. But you are in the corner, at least yeah. that does give Alpha a little bit of the advantage up until yeah. goes breaks out of the corner. Uh huh. Uh oh. Okay. And we're setting up. This should be what we're talking about. Maybe a lot more damage can coming out can come out okay. here. Uh oh, the katana. He's just like dropping his combos. I'm not sure if it's the nerves, but he has he has to he has to sort it out very quick because. Uh oh. It's, it, oh this, my is, God. this is going to be a nice this is a little 40%, little. almost. Alongside the grab, just, and we're back in the corner. And That's it. Ghost makes top eight. Ghost taking it. I yeah. do want to say, I want to say it was a reverse 3 yeah. I think uh, Alpha was up two games, I want to yeah. say. No, nah, it was like, I think it was like one and one, and then they started they started um, getting game for game. <laughs> We got some yeah. animosity, but like Covers. fun stuff. Yeah, that was a good set. Now it's gonna be Red Nose versus Kairos for top eight, and it's gonna be Red, uh, Kenshi versus uh, Baraka. So we're gonna see how that Ooh. goes. Kenshi versus Baraka. Baraka, a little crazy. <laughs> I feel like the way that uh, we're seeing if it was Kairos, right, playing yeah. the Baraka. The way that Kairos is playing the Baraka is so in your face. Yeah. Are you going to have time? Yeah. But do you also yeah. have time yeah. to go defend North? The 10 year anniversary. And it's literally in Long Island. They have a hotel. Yeah. It's a bigger venue than last the last venues they've yes. been in for the past couple years. I want to yeah. say it's 24,000. I think it's humongous. So please register today for your registration uh, at Sergeant G's for uh, DTN X, August 2nd to the 4th. So that's good weather, baby. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful weather. Yes. That's beach weather. And it's right next to the beach, too. That 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 hotel is right like nine minutes away from the beach. Yep. I'm definitely going because I have family in Long Island, so this is not going to be an issue. Oh, apologies. Apologies, it's the registration is over. It's only it was only until January second. We got trolled. Oh really? Oh. But. Was it really? the, the, the price goes up as stuff goes on. So okay. The registration is over, but there's still plenty of registration. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's you can still register. Don't worry, it didn't close. It's a little yeah. bit more expensive, yeah, yeah. but get it as yeah. fast as possible because if yeah. you wait till like the day of Bestie, yeah. that's gonna be like a hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Save Probably your more, money. Honestly. Save I'll, your money. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder what's. Uh, I wonder how much it is, it is now. Probably like I would 50 guess 60. fifty to sixty right yeah. now because they usually go jump up like fifty yeah. to twenty dollars. Uh -huh. But go with Retro for DTN. They have MK1 clearly, guys. Come yeah. on now. This could be this should be the revival of MK. Yeah. Honestly, regionals yeah. majors and, coming soon. And MK is a pretty controversial state right now yep. with like the the view viewership, the patches and tournaments. But yep. the the community is still supporting it. So. So let's bring it up. Let's go yeah, to TN, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Chilling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there. There's and also other games. Yeah, a lot of other games. You got 
You got Grand Blue, uh, Guilty Gear, Marvel vs. Capcom, Dragon Ball. Take it, take an A will be out by then. So we oh. got Tekken A. Oh, that's gonna be that's Ooh. gonna be the main attraction. Oh, I know. That's gonna bring everybody there. It's um. also an artist alley. Last time, I, last time I've been to D Channel, there's oh, always man. artists. There's always merchandise. That's where I got my little Molina. Yeah. You know, cap pin. Like, y'all. I hope this person's there too. Yeah. Molina cap pin. Yeah. Go DTN, please, and sign up as soon as possible. DTN. Uh, I'm sorry, Sergeant G4 slash DTN X. Yeah, yeah. To sign up now. Yeah, let's get into Red Nose and Kyra. Okay. Oh, it's uh, he's playing Omni Man versus <gasps> Kenshi. Yes. Oh my God. That's what I wanted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wants to see a little bit of Omni Man here today. Yeah. Red Nose and Kyro's going in yeah. to get into top eight. Yes. Now they're doing a button check, so I want to see how it goes. I get so hyped when there's a button check. I'm yeah, like, okay, I got I know, trolled. Right? Kenshi Serena. This is interesting. I'm gonna assume it's still just button check. I yeah. fully expect just a sub zero yeah. um, immediately. But hopefully we will be seeing the okay. Omni Man uh, Kung Lao. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Oh no, we go straight into oh, it. So no he, select. Kenshi Serena. Okay. I wonder why. I would love to. I want to see how this matchup could work. Cause Serena, we definitely yeah. know is like one of the more beginner-friendly yes. cameos in the game. Very uh -huh. easy to combo off of uh, with her daggers. One, two. You can, but you okay. can definitely just duck under it, just like uh, Kairos just did. Yes. And he's draining his bar. 4 2. Okay. Look at how fast it goes. Yeah, yeah. look how, look, uh, look at it. You almost have a second bar yes. and it's gone immediately. And honestly, we really drain that resource, not just from any kid, but from Omni Man especially. He doesn't have that Ooh, uh, okay. physical cancel that we do see yes. a lot. That float. Okay. Oh. Moves. Okay, this is, this is a little scary. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a sense at the moment. Oh it. my god. I guess until gone for a little bit, that gives Kyro a little bit of opportunity to actually jump in and get this to a much more even stance here. The uh -oh. life lead this is a little sweaty. Is, is, yeah, we, we are this neutral, baby. Oh, yes. We are chilling. Oh, that did a overhead. lot of chip damage. <laughs> okay, Serena. I love Serena. Yes. She's a great character. Serena, yes. Bring, bring her, bring her Ooh. actual character. I love the okay. idea behind the approach and then covering yeah. it with the low, uh, low hat. Yeah. Now the That's pretty cool. He's just draining his bar. Wake up buttons! Into the, the ground. Eat some dirt. Okay. And we're going to be going in with the combo again. Once more, go into the corner, covering it. Oh covering my God. the combo with, yes. with a loud hat. So smart. Wait, we just. We, okay. His light bar is gone. Yes. Absolutely decimated. Reduce oh to atoms. Uh oh. And Kairos doesn't want to get hit. He shouldn't get hit. Oh! Uh oh. One little hit could have been death there, but yes. we're going to be continuing it. The uh -oh. pressure the going throws. for the grab into the corner. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Are we running? We were running up. Oh my god. That string, that modified gear is 2 1 2 string that Anya has Fight. saved him from Serena's assist. We did jump ourselves back into the corner, so that could be really good for uh, okay. for Red Nose, and I think it is. As I uh -oh. say that, we're pushed out of the corner, actually. Yes. I apologize. Oh. oh, this is going to hurt. Okay, okay. Just your casual Omni-Man uh, combo right there, just getting us back into center stage. What can we do? Uh -oh. Overhead, going to be okay. coming in, clearing a little bit of space for, uh, for Red Nose. To make something happen okay. here. Sento? There we go. That's what I was talking about. Oh. Now it begins. The Sento Bento box mixer. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. A oh. little, bit, little bit of sushi, a little bit of rice. Yeah, you got. What kind of sauce do you want? Soy sauce? Uh, I'll take, I'll take, I'll, I'll take um, barbecue sauce. A little bit of wasabi <laughs> on the side. Yeah, wasabi on the side. <laughs> and just like that, Reynolds is up 1 0. Like, as soon as uh, Kenshi gets the Sento out, you're just Sento fighting box. for your life. Yep. <laughs> And oh, Kairos is going off, swinging. Gets a gets a hit confirm off the jump in. Unblockable setup. Okay, nice. Uh, one. It's uh, one, one, one. Uh, no, no. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, right nose, right nose. After okay. my head. Yeah. <laughs> I want. You know, I want to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want the Omni Man to do yeah. so well, and we're yeah. seeing it right now again. The life lead okay. we saw in, in the previous set, but. Uh -oh. Um, previous yes. game, but unfortunately, when the Sento is out, yeah. ooh, you're safe a little bit. Yes, nice tag. Oh my god, he put himself in the, in the Sento sandwich. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Loud hat. Oh, oh, and this might be. Oh, it's not a good break. Yeah, 
Yeah, because now you have no meter, yeah, and no unfortunately, meter. Kairos does have full meter here. Oh, to now do he, he, wants. he broke. Now we're even. We're even with Breaker. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, with meter. Not yes. quite in the yes. in the life right now. Uh huh. That's Round true. Two, fight. Yeah, they're 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 selling a lot. Okay, and now Omni Man just has no bar. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, the, 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 the Demon Sigil that yes. uh, Serena does throw out, yeah. such a it sucks so yeah. quickly. A lot. So now it's like a matter of, I have no meter, we have at least one meter on Red Nose. It's a matter of, what do we do? Now we have no meter equal yes. on equal parts, and again, the Serena cameo still is a, a little bit weird yes. choice. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there oh. we go. Sento? Oh, forcing oh. to stand up, and Serena can actually do what she's known to do. And plus, now he has to hold all this. And now he opted to just drop block. We have to at some point. Oh, look at that! That's like a juicy forty percent right there. Four four Santo stance. That's plus on block. He's got to hold all yes. that damage. Red Nose finally bringing oh. it back to an even round here. We're going to round yeah. three. Dude, that's like, in my opinion, that's like the best projectile in the game. But it's, it's meter burn, so it's justifiable. But like, yep, that's like frame one. That's like so fast. Hits you full screen, everything. Oh, punish. Oh, you saw the Uh-oh. This is huge. And now uh, it begins. We back in the bento box. Look in the corner here. Uh -oh. The school ground. We eat in. We eat in. He's just doing it to break his armor. And unfortunately, as we continue to reset... And he, he just he just hit him with plus frames, not stop plus frames. Yup. And Red Nose up another game two, two oh, so far. over Kairos. And you don't want to get hit with that with that Sento sandwich, you know? No, but you don't. As soon as you as soon as he puts you in the sandwich, then he puts you into Sento Bento box. And we got a little bit you don't get a two, you get <laughs> white rice, you get salad, you get a little bit of chicken teriyaki, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Yo, Red Nose is one of my favorite Kenchis to, to like watch. Like, honestly, he's just so hyped to watch. Oh, oh, okay. Could have punished him there. I think it's because he put, he's put in these like situations yeah. where yeah. Kenshi should yeah. lose, and then he suddenly just yes. wraps it right up. We're like, okay, we're going to drain your meter. You have no meter, and I got hold yep. the bento. This bento. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, bento. bento. <laughs> <laughs> you could just say bento box. <laughs> you can, yeah, hold this bento box. <laughs> but Kairos, hold on, hold on. As oh, I say that, yeah. the life lead right yes. now is kind of insane. Yes. Never count him out. Oh, it's not good. Fun blockable setup. Oh, nice tech. Red Nose can tech those rolls. Oh, oh we jump it's in, we get, in, we get punished. Yeah, he Absolutely. tried. He was trying to anticipate the air to air, but he got punished. We're punished. Stop embarrassing That's okay. It's the first round yes. where Kairos can maybe bring this back yep. game-wise, get a game on the board, and get hopefully get the reverse 3-0. But yeah. before he gets to all that, he got to hold all this pressure. Damn. Serena coming in as well for some extra little uh -oh. chip damage. Uh oh. And that was that was a good break. Not gonna lie, you don't want to get hit with Sento. Oh. Oh no! Punch on jump in. Okay. Uh oh. Hit hard knockdown. Oh, uh, you're stuck in the corner and you have no meter. You gotta hold. Oh my all god, look this. at oh, look at dude, look at his bar meter. Just zero. Just it's, zero. Nothing. I, I knew he was in the corner. Yeah. I was like, you are gonna have no meter by the time Serena leaves. I'm so sorry. As soon as, as soon as Kenshi touches you, that's that's when it's scary when you don't have bar. And you can't get out, you can't break yeah. off anything. At the yeah. very least, we reverse the situation. We we're able to bring Red Nose back into the corner. Maybe Kairos can get a little bit of advantage here as we see the uh -oh. down two come uh -oh. out. Alright, alright. All right, MK11. I got, I got you. It's a little scary. Uh oh. That's exactly what Serena wants, but you're a little bit too far to really capitalize on the uh, on the daggers there. Uh oh. What is that? His back go. four? That was, that was his back four. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good sweep. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Kairos. It has range. Kairos mm -hmm. is, is still alive. Yep. Still alive. Which is maybe the adaptations Change kicking in, but mentioned. he's playing Sub Zero now, and Sub Zero nullifies the Lao Hat. So let's punch. see how. Maybe how, we'll draw this one out. How, uh, how messed Red up. Nose We're yeah. going to see this. Yes. <laughs> how Red Nose can adapt to this, too, also. But That's his forward three. Oh, yes. Okay. That's a really good forward three. Yeah. Now we're okay. Be switching over again to the sub zero. Uh oh, uh oh. And we jump over it uh -oh. and get Just our turn started for Kairos. Oh, cover nice low. blocks. Absolutely. No. Oh, and he punish. gets hit with the exact same scenario two times in a row in the same same place. 
all of a sudden, this matchup just got a whole lot harder for yeah. Kairos to deal with just because of the change to yeah. Sub Zero. I'm sorry, that runs to deal with because of the change yeah. to Sub Zero. Because sure, Lao yeah. doesn't really work as yeah. well, but then Omni Man is going to be right in front of you. Yeah, that's true. 4 3. Okay, makes it safe. Hits it with the modified uh, Gears 2 1 2. I'm not going to be seeing a Senso out here regardless. Oh, we're off. it's a little and scary. The freeze, that's huge. There is a Senso we're talking about. Oh, we're going to be blocking out of that ice. Nice. He's... Oh. oh! That was kind of... That was cool. I can't lie. But you're back in. You're back in the box. Oh, oh. Floating, floating no! He everything. has three bars! Wow. Oh, we got clapping. Oh, Everyone no. Clapping. That was insane. Fuck. Wow. We're not going to be, we're going to be, you know, getting yes. out of the corner a little bit here, trying to just go carry, carry Red Nose coast to coast. Yes. Oh, we're going right back to the West Coast. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> uh oh, and it begins. There we go. That's what I'm looking for with that Sub Zero cameo. Go right back into the box. We're going to close the lid and everything. Delivery. Here you go. A little bit of extra damage, just, just for funsies as well. Oh my goodness! Okay. I to move sometimes. And now the sense of timer is going going off, and it's gone, just like that. Oh my gosh! Now to the hole, just uh oh, hold the pressure. Okay. To the corner. Oh, hits him with the overhead, the unsafe overhead. Jesus, Jesus Christ! If he blocked that, it would have been GGS. Come on, this is just match point. Match, red nose. Yeah, match point for Red Nose. This has to lock it in for this last and hopefully final round for him. Otherwise, yes. we have up uh, to another game to play. Yeah, a game five. And that's something the, the the stream wants to see. You know, these intense game five sets. You mainly go for the ice armor, hopefully to get rid oh my of the uh, low hat. But I love that Karos was just like, I'm just going to go right in. Yes. Red Nose has to be careful. Uh-oh. Oh, that's huge. That's oh, beautiful. and now he doesn't have bar. Okay, nice throw. 50 seconds down on the clock. Okay, armors to make to make it safe, even though he does not have bar. Okay. Lots of clashing here, just okay. waiting for our turn to approach. Reynolds, this is what we have to do. Malavi approaching here. You are in a life, okay. but you do have about 35 seconds left on the now clock call, to waste. Now he calls uh, Sento. Oh. Uh-oh, the 4-3. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. This may, this this is definitely. And this it. is all she wrote. Yup. And Red Nose takes it over Kairos. 3 1. 3 -1. Making it to top eight losers. And this top eight, like we said before, a little bit messed up. A yeah. little bit scary. That was so good. And Kairos, this close. Just this close to having it. But yeah, man. It's like. It's so it's so crazy because he was playing he's playing solid with Omni Man. Oh man. yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he he is playing really good and I, I like I like his Omni Man. I was I saw his Omni Man yesterday at the local. He, oh yeah, he was putting in some work, and that's the thing about DLC and I've I've experienced this every uh, NRS game is like the DLCs start to shine months later. Yep. So like a month or two, probably three. That's when you start seeing an overflow, an influx of the DLC characters. And probably Quan Chi too. Quan Chi's not good at the moment, but you might see him later on. Probably like probably like next month. You know, it's cause Chameleon now Chameleon comes out Tuesday. And then for shout out to the Chameleon uh fans and stands, but we might get another patch Tuesday. So they yeah. might touch they might touch on some characters, they might touch on Quan Chi. Uh some characters might get a skid by again. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? A, a lot of people are like Sweating Tuesday. Where's like, oh where's my the gosh. Knows? Oh my god! I hope my character didn't get touched. You know. Oh my god! I'm so scared. It's gonna be such a great. It could be the greatest patch of all time, or yeah. literally, what were they thinking? Yeah. I cannot wait. Um, oh, thank you, Unjust, for Target 121 Raid. You're yes. so amazing, and we are really great timing because we're going yeah. into top eight very, very quickly now. Yeah. Um, do you want to make sure I switch off when I do? Yeah. Regardless. Oh, they'll 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 notify us if. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Who's this? Uh, oh yeah, that's HP. the Sundel play that got yeah. in place. 
<laughs> Sendell. Regardless. I am very Sen short. I look very short right now. It's horrible. <laughs> I was talking about when I sat down. It was. I went like, and I was like, no, nah, my, my chin is touching uh -huh. the display. I can't do the overlay. Is my best friend right now. We are holding mm -hmm. hands. It's all. It's all about what they see in here. <laughs> Let me tell chat who is in the top eight because it's a lot of great, great people. We do have, of course, Gur. Gur's in top eight, uh, going against Wrath, and then again we have people. People are asking, "Yo, where's my boy Dragon?" Well, yeah. guess what? He's in top eight, oh going goodness. against Pulse uh, in winner's semis. Yes. And on the loser side, we kind of just saw Dragon, who's there right now. Yep. Pulse. Go ahead. Yeah. So we got. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Montaneva said um, Gur Wraith uh, winners finals top eight. Dragon Pulse, winners finals top eight. Oh, Mike Mike Metroid made top eight. Yeah. Uh, versus Dark Green, and Ghost versus Red Nose. Which that's gonna be a hype set. And losers too is yeah. so unfortunate, but it's gonna be such a hype set. The Gulag, that's the Gulag territory. No, for real. And, and you know what sucks? I love a lot of these players. I was watching a lot of it on stream or in the background yeah. or whatever, uh -huh. and it's just like it's so unfortunate yeah. that only one of them can go through losers yeah. bracket. At least with Gur, Wraith, Dragon, and Pulse, yeah. they have a chance. I'm you know, interested to see. One. I'm interested to see Gur and Wraith set because, honestly, Gears is undisputedly the worst character in the game. I know. Everybody's gonna 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 say all oh, this. You're complaining that. I will give you guys my whole paycheck if you guys play Gears for for a month, all, a combat league season, and see the struggles that he has to encounter with like Molina, Johnny, these nine frame mids get teabagged. Yeah. In the first of two, like in the meantime. Yeah, like I'm gonna watch top eight from the yeah. comfort of the couch. Of it's course. time for some new casters to come in and join today. Yeah. Besides the fact that we're gonna have Darth himself come on deck. Yeah. Thank you so much for top sixteen, and we're gonna be or not even top sixteen, just yeah. a the other half of bracket. Yeah, and we'll be going into top eight very very quickly. Do not go anywhere, please. Rayco. Rayco. Scorpion. Scorpion. The Pyramid. All right. I think I can explain this. We're ready. We're live. We're on camera. We're ready to go. My name is Darth Arma. This is the glorious yes. Kevin Colon. All right, so we have a very, very fun and special treat for you guys. Um, we did a side tournament, $5 entry of Test Your Might. I'm going to explain yes. the rules really quick. And it was very fun. Yeah. So you were having a blast. I'm having a, I have an injury. <laughs> <laughs> a blister injury. OK, so here's the rules. Both players pick the same character. Random mirror matches. Let Fatal Blow rock twice, and during that Fatal Blow animation, both times, both players are mashing for their lives. Whoever gets more damage wins the game. It's first to one, single elimination. However, a lot of ties happen, especially at a high level, so you just keep running it back until one player does more or less damage than the other player after they both Fatal Blow. So I think we're ready to go right into it because we do want to get this. Yeah, we're we ready. We are ready to go. Let's switch it over, Icy. So they have it set up. They're in training room, and it looks like Mike Practicing Metroid. Practicing already. Yes, here we go. Mike Metroid on the player one side. So he's going to be the aggressor here. As look you can at see, the, the look mash at the execution. Down. This is crazy, but this is insane, and this is what's going to happen. You can't tire out, but you see. Here's the thing: you can't mash too hard, but you can't mash too light. Now this is going to happen. Yeah. Stalemate. Three fifty. Three fifty. Which okay. essentially means we broke even. Broke even. Kung, Kung Zero's turn. He's the aggressor. He's trying to make that three go more than 350 because it can happen. You can either go below or, or, or above 350. But right now they're mashing for their life. So, so far it's looking like it's evening out. And you're oh. starting. Yeah, look, we're already starting to see some even, of that. Even, fatigue. even. Don't, don't let off. You have a 10 yep. second break in between two, in between two fatal blows. But whoever's going first, three, three two. two. One. And we start noting if the physical fatigue has set in. Now, here's everyone, this whole tournament, everyone kept saying that pad players have a disadvantage, but the it's round kind of before, evened itself out. I mean, Kung Zero beat 
Oh, hold, Ooh, on a hold on, hold on. Yeah, a I'm noting no, the difference I don't in like numbers. His difference. 347. Oh, this could end right here. This could end right here. Oh! oh! Okay, rocket, rocket. Let it rock. Let it rock. Mash for your life. Mike Metroid let off the helm. He got too. He got too lazy. He's mashing for his life. He's mashing for his life. Wait, what was it? 347. I feel like Kung Zero has fatigue. This is looking similar. I don't know. No, 350. Kong Zero wins the entire thing with a pad. With pad a players pad. unite. Pad players unite. All right. Now we, we all made the assumption that we couldn't make it. And look at the developments in the meta. It's the first time we've ever run this. this first time Armor's ever run this, to be fair. Let's I mean, I think it's the first time anyone's ever yeah. run this. Like, this is insane. Um, now, we do have a tiebreaker because it was a single limb. I don't know if Costner is in the building. Can oh, where's Costner? Yeah, my. Where's Find Costner? Costner? We got a tiebreaker. For third. No, 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 no. It was single limb. You got second. Oh, they have to pick. Yes, yeah. this is like sports ball. Single limb tournament. Very unlike anything else. Um, so, who who fell before this was Dark Green and Costner. Again, pad player. Versus hitbox, yeah. Versus hitbox. I really thought this whole time that a hitbox or, or even a stick would, would have clear. a huge advantage. Yes. Yeah. So I think there's like this weird, there's this weird middle ground. I feel like you can't mash too hard because there's like a max. There's like a limit. Clearly, both players are reaching the limit when you get to 350. So there's the hitbox technique, right? And I think the biggest advantages they have, right, is like a couple of techniques that you have, like plinking, mm -hmm. um, the fact that you have access to more buttons. It, double tap. They seem to be less fatigued over time. Dark Green and I were discussing the small <laughs> tactic. <laughs> the meta. The small tactic that's used by t uh, professional Tetris players. Okay. Where they kind of like lay it on their lap and uh, piano their fingers along their leg to increase the amount of times they could press buttons in between. So like by piano, do you mean they're pressing the same button with each finger? Yeah, like, so they kind of lay me, the controller. We got, a, we got a nice camera here. Show me, right? Here. This is a controller pretend, right? I'm holding a button and they'll lay it upside down on their left so they'll uh -huh. get all the presses from pianoing it from the back end of the controller plus it rebounding off of their leg. And they can hit like nice. record breaking amounts of, of button mashing. presses per yeah. thing. Now, this is also something you have to consider because when they do that, they're pressing one button, right? Yes. When I went back and forth with Juan the 15 times we did it, uh -huh. our first game, Juan was pressing one button the whole time and we were still breaking even. Yes. So there is a tactic to the fact that you might be able to just hold one. Dark Green has a similar strategy where he's basically pinching two buttons, uh -huh. doing this and against his leg to try to get the extra button presses. He cleared me out by 1% doing it. It was close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was down um, the wire. And he got all the way up until now with a tiebreaker with Cosner. So this is – it's still kind of your preference of peripheral might not matter as long as your technique can outbeat it. Can he beat the lack of fatigue that Cosner's going to have? Because Cosner yeah. went like seven rounds and didn't feel any yeah, exhaustion. And, and, again, I feel like he was like – he was coming down just a little bit um, in terms of like – I feel like Cosner was looking at like the long term too hard mm -hmm. where he was like – I, I don't want to burn myself out, so let yeah. me let me find that line of max. But you, you but you can't like if you find that line and you let off even for a second, and it can happen at any point during the fatal yeah. blow. So like, you you can't mess it up. Now my technique when I'm mashing, I play on stick. I double tap the two buttons on the top, mm -hmm. and then with my thumb I press the two buttons on the bottom. Yeah. So that's that's me hitting six buttons now all at is, the same time. Keep in mind too, there is also the touchpad problem. Yes. We ran into that a couple of times. So my usual strategy is that I will like essentially develop a claw grip. Okay. Right? I'll hold like three, need, four, sorry, three, four, <laughs> and one this way. And I'll kind of grip the controller this way and just piano through it, right? Yes. The bigger problem that that's giving me is because I'm gripping the controller this way. That's how I ended up squeezing touchpad the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So I have to develop a whole new strategy for that too. Costner's not going to have that concern. No, no, no. Definitely not going to be, you know, and it's it's – What's better? Literally, Kung, Kung Well, this Zero is our first instance of trying to find out. Should we run it back at the next MK Engine? We're definitely <laughs> running it back at the MK Engine. I was talking with some of the guys, like, you know, in between. I'm like, the problem is, is that now we're going to get a new wave of people that are interested in this. And sure. half of the bracket, we've already sort of developed a pseudo meta within yeah. an afternoon. I, I swear there's, there's, there's got to be a max. There's got to be. And, and it's, I think the max is a lot easier to reach. But it's weird because, like, if you learn how to reach that max without burning yourself out, you could also apply it to, like, an actual yeah. game. Because and then you're have like, advantages that way. There, there's no sense in, like, super – because it's happened to me. It's happened to everybody yeah. where you're, like, mashing for your life to either survive or, or try to kill for, with a fatal blow. 
and then you then you go then it doesn't kill them and you have to go back to playing and you're like holy crap I'm tired <laughs> yeah I think so I'm also curious how this is going to develop too as we continue to do this because there is the gap in between the hits yes that you can try to like pace yourself if you're comfortable enough with the rhythm so most of us that we're too scared of letting up on the gas to yes. bother so we just burn through the entire time. the whole thing pretending. if someone gets more comfortable with the brakes that's less exertion you know <laughs> like this yeah so it has to be a mirror match a random select mirror match Guys, you have to pick the same characters. You want me to? Got it? No, they got it. They got it. They, okay. they made it this far into the bracket. They have to. They, they know how to do it. Okay. Too many. Too, too many, many hats. hats. Yeah. Too many hats. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna see Dark Green's technique that we were we were showing here. Honestly, I think more of his technique is gonna show in his face and his hands. I feel like when the going gets tough, his face gets going. How mad is everyone know. in the top eight that we have to wait for this? They're probably so infuriated. But they're it's fine. There's something so to mad. take from this. They don't care. They're leaving. They're like, we don't even want to play the top eight. And listen, right. there was money in this. They could have been in this. Every, there is money. There is $80 in this prize I know. Pool. I know there's professional mashers that didn't sign up. I know. Yes. Apparently, Pulse is like a low-key, super good masher. Something about knocking down the bird. And, yeah. In a... Uh, and track. All right. Okay, what if? Here we go. Look at the mash. So, Koster, you can see how like calm and look collected. At, look at Green. Look at Green. Look at Green's face. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's those two buttons. I'm telling oh my, you. I want, is there already a difference? No, no, no. We're going. Koster doesn't even want this. Just oh! that, that immediately matters. Three forty-eight. That immediately now, matters. Was Costner being the aggressor or was that Green being the aggressor? I can't. I don't remember. If we're to take it, I think Green did the first one. So Costner could potentially outmash here. No, no, no. But Green is on. I don't know. I don't know who's on which side. I, I think the name's on the wrong side because look at it the tactic matter. compared to the inputs. Who got it? Green got it. Green got Green. it. Again. So in the top three, we have two pad players and only one a stick hitbox player. player. That was one round and that's it. And that's going to kick off our top eight. We're going to get our top eight going. We're going to start at the top. We have Gurr versus Wraith. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching Test Your Might. Um, this was just Look kind of forward like, to it in the yes, future. I was just kind of like thinking about it one day. It, the thought came more about from the last time we did MKNJ where we had the mash cam, thanks to Icy. We had the mash cam every time we had the Fatal Blow mm. animation. He would go to the right scene, and you would see how intense people would yeah. get mashing Fatal Blow. And I'm like... This is hilarious. And if you base it off of that, Mike Metroid <laughs> making it as far as he did makes complete sense because every time we were on that camera, this, that man That's, has been a professional before this. That was another that was another great mashing moment at NEC mm -hmm. when I, I we, we told, remember, we were like, yeah. you got to go to the cam, go to the cam, go to the player cam. And Mike Metroid's like, Argh. Just pounding on it, man. So funny. All right. This top eight. We've got quite a bracket for top eight. Yes. We're so, going to start with Gurr versus Wraith. Yes, Gerber. Uh, Matchups following that, if you guys want to, you know, stick around and know what we have on the card. Yeah. Winner's side, Gur versus Wraith, which we'll, have, which we'll have up first. Then Dragon will be taking on Pulse. If you guys have missed it, yes, Dragon is here tonight. Uh, on loser's side, Mike Metroid and Dark Green. Uh, it's actually, that's a, I was going to, I was taking my phone out to fix this. It's actually okay. Cease okay. versus Dark Green. Okay, Cease versus Dark my Green fault. on loser's side. And then Ghost versus Red Nose. Yes, which would be a pseudo right. run back, I believe. Yes, they yeah. were in the same. I believe they were same pool. We had uh, the wrong. That's so weird. Uh, here it's right. Maybe this just needs an F five. Maybe an F five. Maybe a little F five will get us out of here. Let's see. Yes, that okay. is correct. Okay, so Seas versus Dark Green, Ghost versus Red Nose. Um, so these are in the loser side. You're going to see some run backs from the pool matches earlier because they didn't reshuffle on the loser side or mm -hmm. the winner side. Uh, we only had two pools today. We had 35 people. Not bad yeah. for uh, not bad at all. Not bad for a little local tournament here in New Jersey. I'm uh, also happy to announce that we started our weeklies Friday nights. Every Friday night we'll be playing here at Helix. Last night we had 21 players. We are looking for a streamer. I know you're a very busy man lately, but we are looking for. Oh no, someone. most of the Fridays I'm gonna at, at least by weekly I'm gonna try to come yeah, down. So nice, nice, come through, come through. It's gonna be fun. We are still looking for a streamer to kind of commit and dedicate uh, every week. I know it's a lot, but mm. if anyone's in the area, anyone super close by that is interested in streaming our weekly, we're all ears. Um, and the weekly is just something that I, I wanted to make to make a space and a, a mm. community for, you know, playing uh, entry fees a little bit less than our monthly, but and I'm trying to focus more on like getting casuals. And yeah. honestly, like I just love playing the game so much. Oh, of course. And I was upset when my Rahway 
weekly like just died. Yeah. Like at the end we had like three or four people and then they just stopped and I was like, you know what? I know it's a lot of work, but I, I really want to go somewhere and play. Yeah, I, I just recently had a, one of the scenes that I would attend in Long Island do the same thing. Kind of just yeah. like finished, yeah, you know? Yeah, it was just kind of like So no now we have, another, we have another avenue to compete. I mean, I would love to see you here every other week, Kevin. I'd love to see you even more than I already do. Yeah. So please. We'll work it out as much as we can. <laughs> Come on through. Come on Especially through. Especially if, if I hear rates coming. At some point, I got to start gatekeeping them. There we go. Great. Speaking of Wraith, NEC champion here NEC champion. Versus Atlanta Dreamhack champion. If we could give it a little bit of lore, too, the almost not NEC champion. That's true. Right? Like, don't forget, that he, he, he almost did run. not show to that. He had a run. Not only did he not show, but he also he was in in the loser side very early. Mm -hmm. From, I want to say, in pools or right out of pools. Dropped down to somebody who didn't even make top eight. Yeah. And it goes to show how much uh, stylist. Sorry, styles matter mm -hmm. when you get into competitions like that because I've seen it happen to the best of competitors sure. where they're just they're seated to tear through a bracket and they just want into the one player that by chance they can't understand. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely happened. Wraith was telling me that he he felt like he was maybe just not in the right mindset. He said the guy played really well. He's like he straight up outplayed me. Yeah, but I feel like I wasn't a hundred percent in it yet, and it was that like wow. kick in the ass he needed to, to win. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I think we could both speak to the fact that because we talked to Wraith a lot, right? His confidence over time has gone up tremendously. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's going to be a lot less hesitations. Like Wraith a while ago, I think, would have been nervous to play Gur, like, a, you know, a while back. I think Wraith today fully believes he can take this. And this is a matchup, I'll be fair, that we could have seen at NEC. Could have. We should have seen at NEC, yeah, but at least we get the results of it tonight. So we get to see, you know, a little what-if situation of what might have happened. That's true. That's true. Yeah, a lot of people are looking at, like, the NEC bracket and saying, you know, if I went... I would have done so good or so bad yeah. or, you know, how you would have really panned out versus a lot of players who, you know, took that leap and went to Atlanta for the $3,000 prize pool. Mm. You know, what's easier? Getting yeah. third place, fourth <laughs> place at Atlanta or winning NEC? We might find out. Oh, there's no, he's good. <laughs> Not fair. I love Gur immediately shut it down. Uh, Wraith is always so committed to going through the uh, shape shift if he can get it. Um, has lapped pretty much every character in the game to find what the optimal conversions are, but Gur is not going to present him the uh -oh. opportunity. Big whiff. Big whiff. And Wraith is going to make sure it hits. Beautiful side switch. This is going to be problematic. This is one good read into GG's. Uh oh. Never mind. It didn't happen. This is one Never more happened. good read into oh. GG's. This is getting a lot closer. He knows it was going to whiff, so he made sure it punished. Oh, this is a scary. Nice duck and hits Goro. So the cooldown will matter starting into this next round. But for now, Wraith able to escape with the first point on the board. That's an interesting. What happened there at the end? Did Gur stand up? Because he checked Goro with a down with a down button, but then decided to stand up. I mean, or, or decided to block afterwards. Maybe he freaked out. Uh, I think it's, it's hard, you know, when you, when you have your back to the wall and you know that blocking anything is your your problematic. What he might have just figured that the round was over anyway, and I might as well make him operate without him for a bit. Oh, beautiful boy. adjustment. Vicious it out perfectly here. Wraith showing the fortitude that he needs this to get through this Titan. Few times that I've seen Gur have this much of a problem taking advantage of the pseudo one bar breaker. Like he always gets out of jail with this. Oh, and oh, he, he messed up! He misplaced the up skull. He misplaced the up skull. That's so unfortunate. That would have been so close to it. I think he actually would have put him down into a guess for game situation at full screen. Okay, nice. Gets to keep pushing the pace, and we knew it was going to go into better spikes regardless to try to get out of the situation and force Gur to chase. But it hit a workout just fine. This is, this is very this interesting is, for me. This is, dude, this is a statement. This like, is very interesting for me. This is a statement. Like, I have not seen Gur look so lost in such a long time. Yeah. I don't think Wraith would mind me saying this too, but if, if he does take this, I'm not going to hear the end of it for like a month. I'm not, <laughs> I, I already know. <laughs> Let him get there first, Kevin. Let him get there first. Listen, I think one of the most interesting things with this is, uh, again, as I mentioned before, right, Gur has a usual amount of tactics that competitors that he plays don't have answers for. That Wraith, I don't know how much he, how much time he spent practicing against Garrus. It's so fine. It's so hard to find really solid Garrus players to compete against because there's such a limited amount of them. But he's had an answer for everything. The one bar breakers, he has an answer. Uh, Gur overextends in neutral. He's able to clip him. Here he continues to do so. His, oh, but the stand forward doesn't auto-correct. That's going to be big punish for Gur. Immediately shut down. 
And now I'm wondering if this is almost like a lack of experience on Gurr's side against this team specifically. It could be. It could be just like, and again, Shang Tsung's one of those characters that you don't really see as often, just like you don't really see a lot of Gears. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Mike Metroid about how, you know, he felt, because he got double eliminated by Gears players, and he felt like, I, I just, I don't even have experience against that character. Like, high level experience, it's so, yeah. so hard to find. And Wraith did uh, get through Cease, I believe, in his pool, who is one of the other, the one of the three Garruses that we have tonight. That'd be a problematic uh, player to get through. That then went on to beat Mike Metroid, did Cease, but Wraith was able to deal with that Garrus really well. So I've got to imagine there's a level of familiarity that he has as a Shang player that kind of extends past what the usual Shang has. This is going to come down to timer here. He's not going to be able to beat this scam. A life lead that small with that much time on the clock is as horrible as it gets. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a big not happening, bro. <laughs> All right, and then now you see Gur taking advantage of what, what I like to call Garrus' god normal in that sweep. Beautiful dish joint. It's very hard to answer him. Oh, miss inputs again. And now Wraith, I don't know if it's coming down to nerves. I don't know if he's looking for another strat. If stance switch did not come out, there's a plethora of reasons that he could have got that, but it's not going to be helpful. And Gur taking full advantage, getting himself back on the board. Momentum here looking insane. The hearts of... Oh, the beautiful up block. That wasn't enough of a gap. Sorry, there was too large of a gap, actually, between the hearts of blockable. And now gets the pressure again. How do you deal with Laohat? Beautiful block. Still gets to pick up. Knocks him down in the corner. This is Oki's situation. The scope! Oh, my gosh. Jumps over to get no, but he lands on Laohat. Gurr not able to pick it up. And that's crazy because, like, if, if that Laohat was let go just a little bit earlier, I think he would have gotten Ooh. a clean hit. Oh, my gosh. Did he find it? Fatal blow? Yeah, don't even chance it. Take the round while you take have it. it. Easy peasy. It. Just take it. Just take it. Absolutely 100% without a doubt. Just take it right there. Look at that. Look at that professional mash cam. It don't matter. He's doing it. Woo. That's insane, dude. All right, here we go. I think we got a missing foot on the score. Okay, perfect. It's fine. Again, chancing the Gora at full screen. Remember, not only is it important that he gets such a continued uh, extension with projectiles, but you also have to keep in mind that if he does get that combo, right, full screen, uh, ground erupt into Goro, into the extension. Those are all projectiles. That becomes unbreakable. And Gur starting to establish a little bit of a life lead. I'd like to see him with a bigger one. Breaker, it never happened. And the ability to rewind time proving to be one of the most effective strats in a matchup like this. Especially where Wraith has to answer Gerso specifically, and he can essentially, as long as he keeps himself stocked up on hourglasses, just decide that it never happened. Gora again at full screen, and if I was Wraith, I would be careful with those. As, as sneaky as they can be, you've got to consider the cooldown every time you summon that. That's going to be a couple less seconds of protection. Oh, and if only he would have did it there. Just loading Waiting. up. I yeah. mean, a lot of times, like, what do you do to that? Shang does have some kind of answer because he doesn't have to overextend Ooh. or put himself in any danger to really stop him. Uh, you know, just problem. go for the right shot, but you still get the clock. You still get it. Even Solely if you get because hit. he let him set up. He hesitated. He let him set up. And now he's got to fight for the same situation all over again. And again, given how long these matches are taking, every single time Gur is able to get that little bit of health back, he it has, becomes a timer scam. Out. He has to go in now. You have to go in. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Oh, he wanted Done. something he didn't get. Done. He wanted something he didn't get. I don't imagine he wanted to whip a kick normal. This is still going to tie it up on the board, I, right? I, so. I still feel like he didn't kick it into gear fast yeah. enough. It's hard because I don't know specifically which Shang what would be the best manner of chasing. Like, if, if he had a bar, maybe he could have considered, and this is like just theory crafting, right? Like, sure, turning sure. into Garrus and then trying to have a tracking thing so at least he could play that kind of mind game with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's hard, Shang. The kid isn't really built to chase after people. Oh, that's that's the worst when when a when a character gets that kung lao hat out and it just catches you like a deer in headlights. Yeah. And you're just like, what do I do? Wait, just easily get unblockable, fun blockable, if you will. A quick overhead into a low, or a quick low into an overhead. Flawless Very, block on the string. I don't think that gives him anything. Great recognition by Gur with that yeah. anti air dashed forward. Saw that Shang Tsung went up into the sky and just easily just plucked him out Ooh. like nothing. Speaking of getting plucked, right here in the corner, you can see a big combo. Never mind. That never happened. And he just does it again. Hold on. I mean, you want to talk about reversing time. Hold does on. it matter if the result is deja vu? Oh, he actually pressed. He actually pressed. So I've been seeing Wraith use that tactic a lot more where he's been using the uh, 
the forward cameo from Goro to try to set up that situation. I don't remember what the frame data is on it specifically, but it gives him enough of a setup where he continues to use it, so it can't be that horrible. No access to Goro for a bit, but with the life lead, it might not matter. Goro hasn't been able to stock up an hourglass for a bit. Constantly getting checked here by, by, by Rave, and I wonder if Gur is just Ooh. getting like too aggressive with highs, maybe trying to find his turn a little too Round soon, two. and Wraith's just kind of keeping it at, like, meta one. Just like, do my string, check him. He's going to do something, he's going to do something that's not checking me, even though I'm slightly negative. Just check him with a down one, he's getting too greedy. Oh, that was beautiful. Whiff punish central. Beautiful now whiff Is he going to go for Lao Hat conversions? No, he's just going to take the damage and continue to play his pace here. Nice from credit, short, it's fine. The life lead immaculate still. Yeah, I don't think he had that. He might have not had that first bar, so wasn't really able to get too much from it. Oh, Into the overhead. I'll tell you, if any of you play Shanks consistently, that overhead is one of the biggest pestering tools he has access to. Just does it again. It's oh, still, no! He was, he was still going to be able to convert it, but I think he would have been. He would have been. He mistimed it. Huge mistimed. It, it became awkward. He was ready, but it was just too awkward. Yeah, that's the Nice! Time. Oh, boy. He's popping him up. Can he bring him to you? Yes, he can. Not going to do a lot of damage, so he's yeah, going to look for one more opening. It's not worth spinning into Fatal 2. That would have scaled no. so bad. Oh, Is boy. this the reaction he was hoping for? No! Oh, I'm so upset. Listen, I'm not rooting for anybody specifically here, but he should have got that. I don't know, man. That was man. such a I good mean, reaction. That, it was great reactions, and you saw the startup of Kung Lao coming out, but it just wasn't fast enough. And he staked the game on it. Now he's going to pay the price. It oh, would have been great if he could have won that air-to-air, -air, oh, but... Boy. Game of chicken in itself, and Gur was on the money. Here's Goro to protect. Straight shots, beautiful spacing there I, by Raid, just backing up, making things whiff, and you know, using those projectiles as a footy tool, if you will. I think this is problematic for Raid, too. This is bad. Oh, just did it. He just did it, and that's okay. He's got the corner position. Oh, did it just take him out? It did. It absolutely went. And I get scooped for his trouble after spending the bar. He's, yeah, you have to. You're going to spend it? You have to spend it. You're going to spend it? You have to spend it. It's too much of a guest for game. You don't want to give him more meter buildup into possible breaker again. And I think the momentum it. is too valuable. The mash cam. <laughs> the mash cam. All right, this is looking a little too lax for me. I don't think they want it bad enough. They don't want it bad enough, but you can't get too tired. And See, I guess the other thing, too, is like, re Ooh. you can't rewind to get the help back. Oh, chip point He damage. just has to get him to block anything, oh, and he oh, finds oh. it right up two on the board. Two, one over Gurr. And that's the other thing with, with the decision making of doing that fatal blow there is that he didn't have the time. Like you can't time lapse that. Yeah. So you got to hold that. And he knew it wasn't going to get him the win there in that round. He knew it was going to get him the life lead. And that's what was really like, how many times did it go down two times yeah. in, in, you know, these, these first six or seven rounds, like. I'm saying I'm running out of meter. <laughs> <laughs> the adrenaline rush is starting to hit me. I'm running out. Wraith up 2-1 over Gurr. I think it, it would be interesting if he could find a, a better plan. Gur tends to summon that Lao Hat and kind of sit behind it. Mm -hmm. um, you you got to get I, around I think, it. You got to shoot past it. Well, Wraith has, right? So he's used the Amplified Ground Eruption as kind of like a deterrent to, in the least, force Gur to block it so he doesn't get Hourglasses set up for free. I think he's trying to meter manage himself. And that was a thing I wanted to note, too. Every time Wraith is doing uh, pressure on block into Gur to keep it safe, I think it's real important for Gur to try to remember that if he has time to down one check, it's a increase the cooldown for Goro. It can help a lot. The longer Wraith has to operate without it, the harder it is for him. Yeah, slow it down. It already comes back so slow, so just add a little bit more to that time. Oh, that whiff right in front of him, but he kept his composure blocked. And I don't know, is Gurren looking for the throw there? I mean, so much him just letting go, any down and letting go of block, and Wraith just, just opening him up for it. Oh. This is getting treacherous. I think one of the things that Gur should be really uh, happy with, too, is the fact that Wraith hasn't been super confident in calling out Garrus gaps because he does have that access to a amplified down forward two with Shang into Goro pickup. If he starts getting a little brave with those, he can introduce some real interesting interactions in here. But again, might not want to take the chance. I get it. If I was playing against Gur, I wouldn't want to get freaky either. No, no, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, I've, I've never felt more stress and neutral in my life. <laughs> <laughs> just abs, just, just too much. Too well, as much far going as Gur is right concerned, here. every step forward is a possible step on a landmine. How did he block that? That might have been too close. Yeah, it negated. might have just been too close, and it might have been, you know, that, that 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 window where it was just too tight, and so the game just lets you do one or the other. But it was it was close. All right, nice patience. 
just far away enough to not get punished for his trouble there. Beautiful anti-air! And you've got to do it all over again. I, I like the strat again to try to spend the bar, get the uh, big whiff. Try to pressure Gurren to not immediately push in pace. That could have been a lot worse there for Wraith. Had Gur decided to attack with a standing Ooh. normal. Oh boy. This is going to bring it very close. Gur's not able to break it. It wouldn't matter if he was able to. This is unbreakable damage. Young Shang, Old Shang, trying to throw fireballs, just trying to keep Gur guessing. You don't. Whoa! You have access to all these characters. You have access to everything that is it. here. No, no never, mind, never mind, never mind. I forgot, I forgot. He but got now the, the reverse timer scam. He got it back. Yeah, I on think the other he, side. I would bet a spike for 15 seconds. No, nice just going to hold. Nothing yeah. he can do. Nothing he can do. Absolutely and it nothing. Was worth the attempt. Now, I'll be real. Animation wise, that was a little rough. Anim <laughs> Animation wise, towards the end. A little oh, disrespectful. Yeah. A, little, <laughs> a little bit. Hey, look. He was trying to do what he well, he he had to do it. He had to do he it, and at the it. end, it was Wraith who was the real keeper of time there. And I and like that. What, <laughs> a, what an ending to to an incredible set. I mean, and there was back and forth. Like Gur was starting to adapt a little bit, and then I think it was just Wraith kind of tapping in more into those tendencies of of when yeah. he was going to rewind time, and always keeping that in the back of his mind. Like okay. Like I gotta stop holding, you know, this these these big cash dumps for the, a lot of damage, and just try to do it a little bit more, just little by little. Yeah. So like, you know, if you, because that's how Gur's looking at his um, his rewind time. It's like that's my moment to get, you know, essentially my own version mm -hmm. of a breaker. So if the combo wasn't gonna be that big to begin with. You know, it, it's not really doing Gur as much. As yeah. It would like versus like a character that does like. A, a ton of damage and it's like okay rewind time none of that damage happened whereas like wraith was i think wraith was just playing the neutral a little bit better yeah with, I, the, with, with that in mind we, we've all been uh, getting accustomed to how much better wraith has been getting this this changes things yeah this changes things do you think wraith was this good the weekend or the week between nec and atlanta because this is these are the two players that won both of those tournaments one tournament had a three thousand dollar pop bonus the other one didn't however you saw that players like Poles, players like Dragon, players like 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 Gur decided mm -hmm. to go and fly to Atlanta for that tournament. So, what was harder? Was it harder to win NEC over Wraith, or was it harder to, you know, get in that top three, top four in the money in Atlanta? I, I think I'd, I'd have to give it to Atlanta. I think it was definitely going to be way more difficult to do that. Sure. But I'm interested now with Wraith's path specifically. It's like, okay, now we've seen him with a big win at NEC. Now we see him with a competitor, the level of Gur. I mean, don't yes. forget ECT. Yes. Team Battle practically handled the whole thing by himself. Yes. He's aiming yes. to do the same thing again at Frosty Frostings. Um, so Probably we've seen the litany to. of competitor, And with a lot of those fights, politely, you know, as I could say, did not look close no. for a lot of when Gur was tearing through people. Um, he comes over here and runs into Wraith, and that becomes a problem. Huge That's problem. a name. But there's a lot of names, right? Like getting through one. Like sometimes you have a, you have a day of good fortune. I want to see how consistently Wraith can keep make it uh, look competitive with these high-level players. Because doing I mean, it once over good doesn't necessarily convince me he's going to do it every time. Mm -hmm. But it gets me very interested. And it's it's also look. I, I know it's it's very frustrating hearing every Gears player say that their character is bad. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like you just have to learn the matchup. Maybe Wraith just knows the matchup. Maybe Wraith knows the matchup, or maybe Gur through because he knows that a patch is coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe they just adjusted it, and he was just like, you know what? I somehow, if I can, uh, I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. Does he think his loser's path would be easier? I've, I've heard competitors at events do that, where they're just like, you know what? If I threw here, a loser's one might be a little. <laughs> I've heard so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think with Gur he's concerned to that extent. I'm, I, 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 yeah. Gur I've heard loves, rumblings in the past. Gur loves the glory. Gur. You know, there, there's there's two types of competitors out there. There's competitors that do it for the love of the game. There's mm -hmm. competitors that do it for, you know, it's very ugly. I hate saying it. Oh, no, it, Gert there's can characters, when he wants to win. But there's, 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 there's players out there that do it for the money. And they're like, you yeah. know, why is, it not, why is it worth it for me to go here? Why is it worth it for me to go there? Let me tell you. Gur is a player who does this for the passion. He does yeah. this for the love of competing. Pro Tour, no Pro Tour, MKNJ, or a really big major. Gur's playing with 100% of his heart. I might want to have a pop-off compilation with Gur versus Ghost. <laughs> to see which one of them. I think that makes a very interesting content if somebody feels like cobbling it together. But for now, continuing, winner semi-side. This is going to be Dragon versus Pulse. 
names that, that I don't think need any introduction. The, gyre, the, sorry, the larger litany of competitors know who these two are. That's Ashra true. versus Johnny. Nobody feels bad for anybody. We can still talk about them, though. Dragon, for sure. Dragon, huge, uh, you know, a huge player for, for a very long time. Mm. You know, starting all the way back during the MKX days. Repulse is a little bit more newer to the scene. He did play, but just oh, not nice. at that level that Dragon played right out the gate. But Pulse is making, you know, oh, look at that yeah. duck right under that throw. Ashra grabbing absolutely nothing. And Pulse throwing up that Kung Lao just to keep that pressure going, just in case Ashra thinks that she can move for a second. Oh, that could have been worse. That yes. could have been way worse. All right, it's not over yet. I mean, it's very much favoring Pulse, but give him a second. Ends up landing on the hat anyway. Just land on it. Yeah. Just sit on this. Why not? Round two. Just sit on it. Saw some great tech where you can armor through that with air. Ooh, air that buttons. was beautiful. And I'm not opposed to the idea that that was a reaction by Pulse, too. Just going to shadow out. It's not going to get as much for it as some other characters would, but I think implementing the fact that he's willing to do it is very important. Gets caught with the forward three. Oh, boy. And, yes, the tech I did see was Ludi's tech. So big shout-out to Ludi in the stream chat. Uh, so you can you can armor through Kung Lao Hat if you make the connection. And, and cancel do the, the second yeah, you yeah, have. cancel the armor move through the jump attack. But would he have had the health to I don't survive think, it anyway? No, yeah. I don't think he had the health there at the end. But that could play into something here, especially because Ashra gets, you yeah. know. Oh. oh, boy. This is problematic. Oh this is very oh no. problematic. Can he make this comeback? Down goes Kung Lao Hat. Dragon doing yeah. such a great job of blocking. Great job of being patient. Let me tell you, immovable force. Like, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> that is Dragon, the player who's going to be very calculated with the wrist, look at the, 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 the risk reward in every situation, and block. Block like his life depends on it. Yeah, and I love the Ostra pick for Dragon, too. I feel like if you've been following him throughout his competitive career, this setup just makes so much sense for him and what he wants to do. I uh, was running Tanya a lot before this. But I think if it's time to clock in, Ashra's definitely going to be a, a way more consistent pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See a Dragon lot of something to the low hat. He loves, he loves buttons. Yeah. He loves, loves having those extended normals. Oh. Ooh! Ducking under that high, giving him a high of his own that leads into a nice combo. Lots of pressure. Good flawless block by Dragon to minimize that chip damage. Oh, had that been the other Serena, yeah. that would have been a very different outcome of this match. But this could be it. <gasps> what? The drop. No. I mean, this is just going to turn back, yeah. But he was pressing. He had a, yeah. he had meter, so he was pressing. He could have blocked that. A lot of matches of new generation versus old here. Oh, Raise yeah. Raise Gurr, yeah, pulls yeah, yeah, Dragon, yeah. yeah. Gurr, it's weird. Gurr is like the oldest person in the top eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his, uh, his, his competitive debut going all the way back to Injustice 1. Yeah. Gurr was the, uh, the Bane from the, from the Northeast who used to frequently travel to the break and uh, held it down at next level back when next level would... You know, let Close us season, play NRS yeah. games. We'll see. We'll, we'll, st we'll send some messages out. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, like, the more opportunities we have to play MK, the better. Look, man, it's... Dragon considering the Sindel pick. Are they both getting coached by the same person? No, never mind. Dragon is uh, talking to the stream. Stream runner. Big shout-out <laughs> to Combat Network for putting on the stream. Big shout-outs to Shock and Icy, just making sure that the names are right, making sure that everybody gets a great view. We have this awesome background. We got the logos. We got our names here. Yeah. Darth Arma, work out. Kevin Cologne. What's up? Are you going to switch cameos? Yes. Pro Comp Rules. Yeah. Pro Comp Rules. We're using Pro Comp Rules at MK and J. All right. We're letting it rock. So Pulse sees the Sindel switch and immediately Seems switch over to Johnny Sonia. So now, you can get very strong extensions off of this. If he desired. takes the time out to build up hype meter, mm -hmm. Pulse kind of goes back and forth with that. I don't think he usually oh, tends wow. to bother building it up. But yeah. Sonia might change that. It could. It could change it. Uh, again, and if anyone's not familiar, Pro Comp rules, you can switch your cameo if your player, if your opponent loses the game and switches to a different character. So we actually saw it earlier today. I'm trying to remember uh, HF versus somebody that did a similar thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, HF uh, plays a few different cameos. Always Sindel, but, um, you know, uh, we can uh, see uh, a little bit. Sindel's got some 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 dirt, huge dirt. Thank you, thank you so much to Honeybee for the raid. Forty-two people, welcome to MKNJ. Oh, the, the mind games with the floating Sindel. You know, like as as much, I, I feel like Sindel doesn't fit Dragon's playstyle so much. 
I'm not really sure so like, I don't, why. So I don't think that she does, but I think the fl the flow chart of her mix is easy enough to execute if you're somebody that can play at his level. Sure. And the stress that that includes. So all Dragon really needs is to find his. She, she's got like, I'll count forward one for her as like a really strong disjoint that's like similar to Ostra's yeah. forward two. It, it might even be more annoying. Right, because of the multi-hits. It's multi-hitting, yeah. It can, you know, blow up slower armor moves pretty good. But, but essentially, I think... Is that a slow armor move? No, it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> I think the big difference is that with this setup, all Dragon really needs to do is fight for knockdown once, which is one of the big reasons that Pulse was so willing to switch his cameo immediately over to Sonya to just make it a harder win condition to achieve. Like, you're not going to knock me on my butt that easy. But if Dragon does it once, it's just Sendel loops into hearts of blockable set. It's more of a test of Pulse defense than it is of anything else yeah pulse is gonna have to like really tap into something to to to, to stop that because i feel like even at the highest level you know these players it, unless you've got like a, a cameo Ooh. like tremor it's really hard to stop that setup yeah all right the nice checks here from dragon and he's been readjusting too because he's taken note the same way that pulse has for dragon about the fact that they both like to micro duck or duck os depending on the situation I hiccup, don't laugh at me. That's okay. <laughs> we got the back escape here. Good sense of dragon going for knowing that that throw mix was coming. Not the obvious forward throw, but instead the tricky back Ooh. throw. What? I thought he was going to convert the whole thing. He actually could. That should have been game. If he would have been ready for the converting, he could have got it into scream. I think anything into fatal. Yeah, yeah. easily. Easily. And I, I, I think he was in disbelief that it was going to work as well. <laughs> but I think a seasoned Sindel play, like someone who mains Sindel would have saw that coming. How did he block that? How did he block? How did he block that? Listen, either he's the best or the game did it for him. Regardless, he got out. He's out of there. No he problem. Jump up. Could it, all right. Now, he could have got the Looney tech. 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 All right. This is going to be very important. The stronger a life lead he can ascertain, the better off he'll do. And this is Johnny's wet dream. Okay, well, he's going to give it up immediately once I start mentioning it, but uh -oh. Oh, that's no. going to be problematic. No, no, this no. should be. Yeah, he's not going to build a breaker in time. You don't want to do that. That's Owen. Oh, he's going to stay on it. Staying with it, he believes. I was curious if Pulse took that what Dragon would kind of default to, and he's going to rock it out with the Sindel. He thinks Sindel's is broken. He thinks Sindel is this broken. I, un I understand why he thinks that. <laughs> but again, it, it's, you know, it's a, you know, a, a level 20 Charmander is still going to is still gonna be, a, you know, a level 10 Squirtle. Like, yeah. it's, it's, you know, if you think it's good or good for the situation, I mean, I'm not seeing... Like, I, like even that weird Sindel conversion. I, I, again, Dragon is known more for playing other characters, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I think Dragon just needs a better plan. It, it seems like he's locked in when it's quote unquote. Right? I don't want to sound disrespectful saying this. Flow chart is working, right? When yeah. the base game plan is going, he's locked in. And the second it gets a little squeaky, I do feel like he's a little lost on what exactly his game plan is when it gets there, right? When, when Pulse squeezes Ooh. out, when he gets put on his back, I don't know if he necessarily knows what he wants to do. And that hesitation, I think, is costing him. It's letting Pulse get away with these small moments where he's able to duck under something or yeah. kind of walk his way out of a situation. Hesitation is a great way to put it. That's 100% what I'm seeing here, too. Armoring right through. Not even, like, again, you're giving up. Ooh. You're giving up a bar of armor, but you're getting so much in the sense of momentum. Not so much in the sense of damage, but, hey, let me stop you from trying to set up anything crazy. Hits him with the down one right after the throw. Hitting with another down one. Good sense from Poles to throw tech and see that coming. Ooh, here we go. No, wasn't able to get the pick up. I'm so upset about that. I really wanted to see what that was going to route into. I really it was did. close, dude. It was <laughs> right there. The hair just like barely whiffed around Johnny. It went below him, then it went above him. <laughs> and he dropped out of the combo, no problem. All right, here we go again. Creating some distance. And still see, that's the problem, right? Like, bro. Dragon creates that distance and then doesn't seem to know what he wants to do with it. And Pulse is just shutting it down, like, constantly. And it's it's more about, oh, my God, the movement, man. The movement from Pulse, the way I see his Johnny just go back and forth is is, is a thing of, of beauty, a thing of art. They're getting effective with the frame traps, and Dragon is going to need this momentum, too. Oh, he missed it! This is, listen, he needs it around here to stay in the game. Pulse managing. you got to be very careful um, whiffing with forward one, two. If a player is ready for it and on the money, they can actually press in between that and the end of the string if you full commit and get punishes. Trying to make anything whiff here. Keeping it safe with Dragon with a low shot. Oh, that, yeah, that down kick's so good. 
to go either way. This is seriously down to the wire. And again, here we are at distance. What's the game plan if you're Dragon? One player has access to Fatal Blow, though. Easily. Right, like, almost has advantage because of it. You yeah. almost consider Dragon having a slight advantage. Very weird. Very strange. Oh, boy. No, <gasps> oh, didn't land on the hat. I, 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 I think I there think was a part of Dragon that was waiting for it. I think the hat ran out. Oh, boy. Ooh, Dash this is in, gets the throw. Is that going to be enough? so damaging. I think that kills. Yeah. Ooh, that's right. That's right. And now Extra Pulse damage. with the elimination on Dragon. The new generation tonight, man. The new generation. Definitely new generation shining through here. I didn't think I'd see it go. I honestly, like. Looking, I thought it would be closer. Score-wise. Yes. The sets didn't, like the score, I it don't think, close. reflected. It was close. Yeah. It was close. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was 3-0, but it wasn't convincing. Yeah. It wasn't convincing. It was, it was a 3-0, but it was longer than two minutes, you know. I will <laughs> add that when Dragon and Pulse, when Pulse got here, him and Dragon played a lot of casuals. And I don't know if something was figured out. I don't know if Tech was given up, mm -hmm. but you know they were on the same side of they were in the same pool, but they were on opposite sides of the bracket. They were uh, they were seed two and seed three, respectfully. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's hard and, and to, I'm sure they also play online, which is what I'm saying, and it, it introduces that new layer of being dialed into your opponent's tendencies, mm -hmm. right? Which for a lot of people, sure. like Wraith versus Gur, was an interesting old versus new. Because they they didn't have that right yeah, they had to yeah. they had to go through that feeling out process and then get there whereas that, whereas Dragon versus Pulse it seemed like Pulse was so tuned in to everything that Dragon likes to do yeah that I think yeah in the spur of the moment Dragon just didn't know how to change up enough to mm -hmm. throw Pulse off exactly exactly didn't didn't really see that coming hold on a second. All right. Gamers Guild, having it up in Connecticut. We saw our friend Stu playing in the bracket a little earlier. I don't know if you noticed him, but they do run the MK1 stuff there up in uh, Connecticut. If you guys want to find out more information, go to ctgamersguild.com. They're going to be running Street Fighter, Tekken 8, and, of course, Mortal Kombat 1. So check them out, scan the QR code, and find out more, especially if you guys are in Connecticut. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, if you're close enough, it's not that hard. You get on the Metro North, that's a, that's a quick little trip up. There you go, there you go. And uh, got a lot, of, uh, a lot of great games playing here. February 3rd, 2024. Yeah, if, you, if you don't have the time to scan a QR code, just go over to ctgamersguild.com. Jot it down on a piece of paper somewhere, post it, note it. You know, it's <laughs> Google it, do something, remember Google it later. It. Remember it later. Okay, we're ready to rock. We're ready to go into the first round of our loser side. We have Cease versus Dark Green 40. Cease rocking Garish. You're going to see a lot of similar things between what we saw with Gur. Yeah, I think so. One of the things that I like about a matchup like this, right, is that these are two characters that I think when you look at the roster, they, they have one of the more extensive movesets, right? They're so convoluted, yeah. especially to always know what the right thing is to do when you have so many options. I know personally that Cease has a decent amount of experience against Shang, so he shouldn't be necessarily lo yeah, Let me thrown off by what Shang is capable of doing. I think right now it's just like, what does Dark Green specifically like to do? And Let for me, Dark Green, the same thing. Let me tell you, Dark, you're going to see right now, Dark Green Shang, very different from Raze. Mm -hmm. He loves doing the juggles. Oh, yeah. He loves the projectiles. He's definitely more like zone focused. Well, because that scorpion setup is just yes. his favorite. Yeah, it's just he lives and dies by he it. He loves he loves doing it. He just gets so much joy from just like popping you up in the air for literally like 10 to 15, 20 second combos. And I can say for Shang mains out there because I did talk to Dark Green about this. I like talking to all the Shang mains. I, I do enjoy this character even though I don't want to play him myself. I went to him. I go, okay, you know, like you play scorpion. Most Shangs, we you know, we well, give me including yeah, yeah. myself. Look at me. The group of us considered uh, scorpions to not really be his best cameo as far as utility compared to some of the other options yeah. his response was just like no i'm very aware i just love it so much i don't care and he makes it work it's, it's part of the testament of like uh just doing what you love yeah. i think that interest also helps especially for a character that's as specific as shang like we mentioned before it's going to be very hard to go through all that labbing if you're not having fun with what you're doing yeah yeah it, it's definitely all about fun i love the way that cease knew to completely ignore the scorpion yeah. cameo that only hits you if you're airborne so even though it looks like the, the flames are going right into Gears' face, it's not going to do anything. And Cease was just all over the moment, ceasing the moment, if you will. Yeah. I, I do believe, actually, Dark Green had a moment earlier uh, when he was playing HF in pools where HF almost jumped himself into the Scorpion. Mm. Because he just was so used to ignoring it, he forgot not to enter the airspace. It's like, let me stay on the ground, please. And this is where it gets difficult, right? There, there was a try... There's a trifecta of Gears players here tonight. I think out of all of them, <laughs> Cease is the most specific uh, when it comes to 
uh, setups Luke Gibbs. Like, just tries to drown his opponent in situations that he's comfortable with that they're not. And then has an answer for almost every single way they'd like to try to get out of it. Oh, empty jump and really could have got checked for something a little bit more damaging there. Ducking underneath that throw attempt and C is just coming out with standing buttons. So quick, so damaging. And just adding a little bit more flair to it, a little bit more. Oh, he dropped it. Salty. <laughs> yes, the finish him screen. Line. Give him half a point. Give him half a point yeah. for dropping it. Half of the... Give him a point five. Don't, do, don't actually do it. <laughs> I was going to say a lot of people at home will get confused. Well, that, <sighs> okay, that, strong that little, start for him. That little, that little courtesy bump. Dark Green sticking it out. One. Yeah. Not switching it out. I've still, I the only cameo I've seen him switch out for is Sub-Zero when, he, when he's trying to like stop other zoning. I, so my thing with Sub-Zero, when a lot of competitors do, I'm talking about the grand majority, not like the higher echelon. Uh -huh. There's a lot of times I feel like competitors switch to Sub-Zero when he doesn't necessarily solve every problem. Like they believe too hard in what he offers, right? It's like I shut down projectiles and then they forget that there's different ways to deal with Sub-Zero. And you've got to imagine if you are a competitor that runs a shell that usually gets counterpicked with Sub-Zero, you have worked out what your answers are for that by now. Yeah, you're used to it. You're yeah. used to already dealing with the counter cameo, if you will. Oh, oh he didn't commit, commit to it. Did not commit. commit to that. That could have been huge damage for C's, but, you know, not letting him get the best of him. Yeah, back dashing, seeing that throw whiff, recognizing. Uh, he did it for the sauce. Uh, I don't believe anything else. Uh, a little <laughs> more meter, more special moves, more, more means more meter. I'll give that to C's. I'll give it to him. And All right, trying to work out past the fireball game here. Nice overhead from Dark Green. I, I'm already seeing, like, a totally different matchup play like I, I feel like Cease is the one being the aggressor in this scenario versus like when we were watching Gurr versus Rave where Rave was the one trying to chase down Gurr well it depends because Cease has access to the same kind of strategy that Gurr was using right which was to I'm gonna summon hat and then kind of sit behind it um I think Dark knowing that he likes more for those air jokes he has he, he's almost more looking for the answer than Wraith is at full screen like I think he's kind of praying that Cease would do something like that and Cease knows just not to engage in it and give him the opportunity yeah, yeah. Plus, also, the, the shimmy game's been working so well for him. As long as he can find a move to manage that distance. Oh, oh. there's no way he's going to get himself out of the situation. The Kung Lao cameo. Kung Lao cameo, great way to kind of cover your your punishable frames, your punishable attacks, and just try to get you out of there and play a little bit more of a mind game against your opponent. Will he or will he not teleport? Is he going to attack when he comes out to Ooh, the other side? Oh, no, boy. not straight into Fatal? Oh, boy. What's the they tech? hesitant because he had the breaker. I think it might have been worth it. I mean, what's what's the tech in that scenario? What's the tech in that scenario? Downshotting and, and very smart as he's to hold that Lao hat and just get a nice little convert afterwards. I think because Green was hesitant, given that Cease had full bar, the fatal blow forcing Cease to spend it on that and kind of sending him full screen would have put him back into kind of like Green's win con, right? He's been having a better time dealing with him the more distance he can create. Yeah. And I yeah. think Cease coming out of Give that break, if he was forced into it, would have given Green an uh, easier opportunity to chip him out at distance. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's... Scorpion. Hanging when you're looking for, like, that chip out situation, you don't really have to take, like, really big risks. You don't really have to, you know, find a big cash out. Just kind of, you know... Take minimized risks, you know, a little bit of zoning here and there, some relatively safe poking, depending on who you're going up against. And, you know, th there's no reason to, to really do, like, your slower moves or your unsafe mix or anything like that. So it's a, it's a more comfortable situation. All right, let's see. Now C starting to take a little bit of advantage of that strap, but here is Dark Green with the setup. Is he going to spend the meter to keep extending it? Absolutely. No, oh, no he didn't not to. do it. I understand it too, right? We were just talking about how much more advantage he's had at distance. Maybe not a reason to vacuum him in yet. This chip, I mean, spending a lot of butter for it, but it adds up. That chip damage is, is uh, pretty deceiving. It does a lot more than you think it does. Now, I mean, now keep in mind, Cease did get hit with a pretty meaningful combo from this shell, but after about 30% damage, almost the majority that brought him to half was all due to chip. And I look how low he is now. Bro, look, look at, oh, but that's it. That's gonna be a big risk here that you're gonna be taking gear is going and just snapping you still teleporting right next to you and just being able to to get a nice free combo what a whiff punish what he, a whiff punish i don't think i've seen him miss with that button as of yet okay interesting trades this is problematic this should be picked oh the uh, breaker again wait he punished beautiful him. okay does he got it 
Does he got it? Into the score. So not only to get the kill, but to send him full screen again and make him march his way in all over again. Round two. Full screen, not a comfortable position here for Cease. At least not what we're seeing in this matchup. Oh, and you know what? When uh, earlier in sets today, Dark Green was very much opting for that kind of like overhead Oki Scorpion call out. And the fact that it's safe now too means that he can basically no risk all reward it. Nice, listen, that is that does keep you safe, but it is minus, don't forget. That is not the Lao Hut that it used to be in that manner. Now see, he's trying to return a bit of a favor. Chipping away at distance. The pull back, go right back into the game plan. He could have picked that up, I think, if he was ready for it. Here we go, are we gonna spend Lao for the conversion? We are. In the least for the side switch, this is better positioning. Nice patience. He's got to spend the whole game getting concerned about not getting caught with those projectiles. Oh, <laughs> nobody wants. He, he doesn't want to do anything. He is not letting go of block. He is not looking for anything. And Green, he's the one that needs to come to him. 30 seconds seems like a lot, but if you're not doing anything, that, that timer is going to just take oh, away. That's yeah, and if there's one characteristic that Cease does not lack is patience. What, what was that? Just the wrong. I forget the what wrong they're trying spot. to. So sometimes what I believe happens is that they're trying to go into, uh, they're trying to like shape shift into something. They have a different idea in mind than that. It is a misinput they get. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. But anytime you see a Shang doing that, no part of them wanted it. I see, I see. I saw uh, my, you know, we got a lot of garrisons, we got a lot of Shangs tonight. My go being the other one got a similar misinput earlier tonight. Oh. oh, and I think just a drop there. Uh, Dark Green mixing it up a little bit more. I feel like going for throws uh, or, or being willing to risk going for throws is every throw can be ducked, you know, you and you're, you're putting yourself up at a huge risk every time you decide to go for throw. If it's red, if it's too obvious, oh. you're going for a ride. And notice how Cease recognizes the situation too. He understands how close it is and has just made sure that he has access to that breaker. He has clocked it in by now. And he might have to use it soon. So I, I don't, I wouldn't expect to see him spending that one bar that he's built up because he's going to need it in case he gets clipped. Is he blocking this? Wait. And then and he, he can just rewinds it to not get punished. <laughs> he just rewinded it so he wouldn't get punished. Hold on. He's running away with such it. such an incredible setup. There's 12 seconds left on the clock. Is this going to be enough? There, there is just absolutely no way that he... Oh, and he's just going to check him with the chesticles. I can't believe he found a way to just do Fatal Blow in your face and make it safe. That's, I've yet to see that. He just... He basically did it raw. I, and that's the thing, too. It's like it's... Sometimes when you have three bars, you can play a little bit more risky. You can mm. say, you know, let me go for the unsafe overhead. Let me go for the throws because if it does go south, hey, I can use my three bars and then go yeah. back to neutral and then... From here, I'll play a little bit more conservatively. Maybe I'll try to build up some meter. Um, so it, it seems like it's kind of like a similar mindset. Like, yeah. hey, I can go for this. Maybe he thought the Lao Hat was going to hit. I think he popped it a little too early. Like, he popped it before the Lao Hat even, like, made contact to even be a mix-up. You know the, what I mean? So I don't know if the reason that he did that was that he was trying to make – like, I, I think he might have been layer-fiving it, like, a little too okay. hard. I don't Tell know if me. he thought – that dark green was going to try to use some setup to get away from the Lao Hat, and he was trying to preemptively counter it with Fatal. I see. I see. Okay, I see. So it's a hard situation. I, I, see see. I could be mean. shooting in the dark, but... I, yeah, so he thought maybe he was going to go for EX Claws to armor through it. And yeah, then and, and you're somehow he'd blow. have the invuln and just teleport through. Could be. And then again, given that now we know he had a plan if it didn't work, right? Yeah. What's the risk? If he, if he armors through it, he dies. And if he doesn't, I'm just going to... I've saved up the bar. I'll just try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really what it comes down to, right? It's just how much, what are you really giving up when you... We talked about how complicated <laughs> those characters were before. Do you think there was any chance that Dark Green knew that, that he would be able to do that? I, I don't... Listen, I know Dark Green time, plays a lot. That's the first time I've seen. That's the first time I've seen a Gears go for that, that yeah. setup specifically. And I know Dark Green laughs. I wouldn't put it against them to know. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think... That was, <laughs> that, that was what we saw. That was definitely what we saw here. Uh, next on stream, we have Ghost going up against Red Nose. I believe this is a run back uh, from earlier in the bracket. I believe so, too. Uh, I know he had a, a bit of a tough run. So I 
thing. If I was Ghost, I mean, I am Ghost's friend. If I was, <laughs> if, if I was his I coach right now, didn't hate Ghost. Oh wait, I don't hate Ghost. I would say just start it off with the loose sector. I don't think we need to bother entertaining this with Kung Lao Goro. You really hate his Kung Lao Goro? I don't hate his Kung Lao Goro. So listen, we asked him earlier, right? We go, are you maining Lu Sector now? And he said yes. Yet every time I watch him compete competitively, Kung Lao Goro comes out first. I Why? Don't think Who is with, this? Though Kenshi, like every other character, has gaps in spots that you could take advantage of, I feel like the, the, the simple runaway plan. of it, We saw him do it in NEC. I've been watching him do it online. It's just so much cleaner. Right, just yeah. what is Kenshi really going to do to deal with this? Like, he could try to run through it. He has to time it so perfect. You have Sector to disengage. Yeah. You still do a lot of damage. Because mm -hmm. I have I, not seen that team have a problem where they run short on damage. He gets conversions off of certain things. They turn into 43% out of nowhere. He knocks them full screen. Is back to the same thing. Yeah, just zoning, keeping them away. Um, and if you do have to go for an armor call out, even if Kenshi is going to block it, I do think at least lose bicycle kick one. will do more chip damage. Like, I could see a situation where Red Nose knows it's coming, blocks it, and then gets chipped out because he forgets about how many times it hits. Could be. I mean, that's a little bit of a, a stretch, I think. Um, I personally, I guess what, what it is is I think Ghost wants more of an answer. If he goes Kung Lao in this situation. but It looks like he, he is. is, yeah. So he wants... Actually, he you know wants, what? He wants armor for when he's in the Sento sandwich. I actually that's forgot. Fine. I don't remember if it was... I'm trying to remember if this was him too. I think it was Ghost that I saw on Twitter tell somebody when they go, oh, I struggle against the Kenshi matchup, where he said, I just run Scorpion and pull myself out of it. Could be. And he hovered over it early. He ended up switching, unless this is a button check, he ended up switching to Sonya. But I did see him say something about pulling out of it with Scorpion and then just forcing Kenshi to set it up again. There I, is a I caveat of if you get sandwiched, you have to be very careful. Yes. Because if Sento's on your back, it doesn't work the same way. But if he's not, you can kind of work yourself out. I think it's something like if you if Sento's swinging, the scorpion rope grabs him and pulls Sento with you. Yeah. So, because so, <laughs> so the Un whole the whole interaction that I saw on Twitter was Ghost suggested, and then somebody immediately posted a clip of that happening. Yeah. yeah and going, yeah. what are you talking about? I remember. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, maybe he picked scorpion to troll. Uh, Red Nose is from Jersey, by the way. Red Nose is uh, King Teaser's brother. For anyone who doesn't know that. Um, yes, he plays like he is. <laughs> <laughs> what teabagging and being toxic? Yeah. He, he actually might, you know, he might be a little calmer. He, he, you know what? To be fair, as of recently, I do think he's had more beef sets online than Tiza does. So, Tiza, I think pick a time of day. You T know, Tiza's slightly retired. A little bit. Yeah, he's calmed down. <laughs> Tiza's slightly retired. Um, not looking good for Ghost. Yeah. I and I think so. I, I've watched. Red Nose do this specifically with the Cyrax shell a lot online too, where the problem with this is that if he ends up in a matchup where he really believes, like it, like most matchups, right, that Sento is gonna be the uh, the be-all end-all, but he thinks he's gonna have a harder time kind of like getting Sento out, Cyrax puts him in a situation where all he has to do is kind of force the opponent to block something. And as long as he's fine operating without Cyrax for the cooldown, he can get Sento on block completely covered. I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so whether it hits, he gets Sento Summon. If it gets blocked, he gets Sento Summon, and then you're kind of sitting there holding it anyway. I don't know what Ghost was going for there. I mean, afterwards, you're definitely negative, but I guess he was trying to take advantage of the fact that Kenji, you know, only had his move set with the sword out. Yeah. You know, and Sento wasn't, like, right on him, but he was close enough. I'm and curious with him how many matches he'll entertain with this. Oh, it seems like he's zero. going straight over. <laughs> zero more after this. <laughs> Zero more. I mean, the option to have a safe on block armor is good, and I, I, I could see Kenji having a little bit harder time because, like, when he's when he's got the sword out, he's a little his jump is a little bit weirder, a little stranger, um, a little harder to convert into things. Yes. Um, so you know, that's really how you make Kung Lao's armor unsafe. He's entertaining with the whole with Goro instead this time. Well, I think so. I think a lot of times when you see competitors switch to Sonya in this shell and other shells, right? It's more the deterrent of the ring, right? This is a character that I kind of want to force when uh, when they can come in when they can, and if I make them deal with ring, I have a little more access to that. I think Ghost decided very fast that wasn't working. He's out of there. He spent the two bars just to get the yeah. fuck out of there. Like, listen, I respect <laughs> it. Look, oh, here we go I back with this. the throat. Yeah, this is. I hate this. I hate ever this since so much. Kenshi's realized they can do this, it's just gotten so much worse. But I hate this so much. <laughs> Somebody help. I'm listen. I, there's not a million things in the game that I'll say need an adjustment, but 
this throw reset. This throw <laughs> reset makes no sense. Look, he's gonna—he's just looking for an opportunity oh, to do boy. it again. Why? Why can't he just come back? Stay away! Stay away, Sento. That was a very Nobody brave end. jump. And he ends up paying the price for it, and now it's just gonna end up in the corner for his trouble. That was a very brave <laughs> jump. Yeah, Red Nose looking completely undeterred right now. He ducks under. It's good. I think the, the more chip he can minimize, the better. It's caught up again. And I don't know. I don't know if... if because now the thing is, too, is because he started this way, if Ghost does decide that he wants to entertain the loose sector thing by pro comp rules, Red Nose can't just switch to Sub-Zero. And it's, it's a pretty popular shell for Kenshi, if I do say so myself. I like that. Get Sneaky. freaky. Sneaky. The down poke canceling into the armored launcher. I mean, what are you going to do about it? That's safe. Oh, what no, go all the time. Okay, throw. Throw's fine. Throw's fine. He's got a huge life lead, though. Great positioning here for, for Red Nose. Gets the Sento out for free, might I add. Yeah. For free. Not really free, but, you know, at the, at the expense of, uh, of a Cyrex helicopter. But oh. who really cares when your bar turns into Sendo bar? He really yeah, made this so comeback. Are you mashing? Are right, we got the mash cam? <laughs> He's mashing. This could, it could be for his life. Oh, that is that is such a lack of bash. Never mind. You gotta, Never mind. I'm not fully convinced if he close. didn't uh, if he didn't full close. commit to the mash that he might have lived. I thought something like scaling existed. I, so what, what hurts, it doesn't. What hurts me with that is that I think what happened was that Ghost decided the safest game plan was just to hold the pressure. And kind of like wait for Sento to like run his clock out and go, okay, well, once Sento's out of the equation, all I have to do is hit him a couple of times. I can wait this out. That's a long clock. But you have to rely on your ability to also deal with that mix the entire time. And it's already because so many of the uh, Kenshi Sento setups rely around like armor, armor baiting characters that do something yeah. like that. So those knew that he couldn't take the risk. Forward throw a little too early. Oh, yeah, but you got to keep in mind that out. you are sandwiching yourself by doing that. Oh boy. With the reset. Loading up. Timer reset totally. That long clock is ticking. Oh boy. Nice patience. And it's still just still swinging away at him the whole time. Just it just actually never ended. Yep, and chip damage is damage. Did it just did it just matter? Did it matter that the combo ended there or not? Right, let's see if he continues to try to find his spacing here. Nice little bit of pushback. Cyrax very close to pushed up again, so don't be surprised to see that summon immediately. Don't be surprised. Oh, boy. A oh. little too <laughs> early. Didn't hit Sento into non-existence. And he, he has the uh, no, yeah, he has access to Breaker. Chose not to spend it. Wanted to save it for the situation. Okay, I like this. Well, that's the thing, too. It's like, yeah, a Breaker gets you out, but it costs three bars. Armor move is safe on block and only costs one, and it does get him out of a lot of situations. Backing off totally as Red Nose is coming right back in, trying to catch Ghost off guard, but Ghost ready to block, ready to whiff these dive yeah. kicks, but not ready for this overhead, and that's going to be Red Nose taking it, a convincing 3-0. Very convincing, and I think with a life lead like that, too, like he knew as well as we did, there was no Huge. reason to overextend or take a risk, right? Like Ghost had to approach you. He cannot chance doing it wrong if he dive kicks too close, if he dive kicks too far. If he does something that's minus because he wants to close the gap. If he spends Goro, that takes him out of the equation for a little bit. There's just too many opportunities to get that one little straight hit in. Mm -hmm. right? I, uh, I would have liked to have seen what, a, what Ghost might have did with another team. But I do imagine that he would have entertained it at some point And there's a reason he didn't go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's... I mean, what, what is it really? Is it, is it just that Lou can't really set up shop against Kenchi? Is it, you know, you can't just let Kenchi breathe from full screen because it does seem more of like you got to chase Liu Kang. Yeah. And if he's the one that's chasing you in that situation, that sector isn't really going to complement that. Yeah, I, I can see there being a fear of like this is a team that's too easily countered by him switching to Sub-Zero cameo. But Could I'm interested that. with a couple of exchanges with it, right? When you're doing what usually they're going to be, which is jumping back and doing the, the 8 million fireballs. If he can't close the gap, that's going to shred Sub-Zero armor as long as he has to block some of it. Yeah, yeah. So... There's interesting exchanges there. You know, he, he talked about having the Scorpion strat against Kenshi. We didn't see it today. So maybe he's changed his mind on that too. It was a troll. 
It was. It might have been a troll. It might have been a troll. The thing is, I've also. I feel like I've seen him do it at one point before. It could have been. Could've been. It could have <laughs> been. But maybe he was trolling, and I'm just getting caught up with the bait. I do know there are other people that do believe that Scorpion is a great um, answer for Kenji. I will say too, though. Tell me. There is a problem where a lot of Kenji players are also starting to find a lot of utility in Scorpion themselves. Really. Um, I've seen some videos online that have me concerned. It's it's weird because like outside of, I mean, you got the overhead and kind of complement. You know, strings that normally end with lows. Instead, you end them with the overheads for a little bit of, of, of a, uh, a mix sprinkle in that recipe, if you will. <laughs> um, but it's just also, like, I don't, I don't really see it. Like, so it kind of lets – so like other cameos do for certain things, right, it opens up his ability to convert off of very niche things. And I have seen some situations where niche conversions turn into combo extension, turn into senso setup. Okay. Once you know the route. So it's kind of, it gives you the juggle time that some other cameos do, but lets you do it off of anything and then adds um, different interesting ways of the interaction, right? Like uh, if you are in like a situation where Kenshi, where it would benefit you to have that distance because you've created that life, you just yank yourself right out. Mm -hmm. um, you get to mix up the overhead and then you could choose to kind of like sense when somebody's face if you want. You could juggle off of different things. You know, it's, it creates problems. I haven't seen enough of it to speak off of every single thing that it can do, but I've seen an amount of utility that concerns me. Yeah. Oh. Well, and the other I thing think if uh, if anybody online is curious, I think you can go to uh, Hayate and find clips of it. Okay. Well, the other thing, too, about that cameo, it specifically is a massive access to, to huge damage mm. uh, in Scorpion, and that's that's... Finding that hit, finding that weird little ender that puts you airborne just for like a little bit, and then knock, and then just being completely limitless with what kind of combos you can do afterwards. All right, we've almost reached the grand climax of tonight. This winner's final set is going to be very telling for it. And we actually have the yeah, thank you. <laughs> we got the name Ray's switch. taking on Pulse again, as every uh, winner's finals is. This does mean that both of these competitors have not lost the entire time. Yo. And have now run into each other. So someone's momentum is going to get shut down very heavily here. I'm interested to see how it plays out. Shang versus Johnny is doable, but is... J Johnny is surprisingly annoying for a lot of zoners. I don't think Shang is exempt from that. But I do think um, the implemented... Oh, so, NEC ended on what? Wraith running Shang Goro versus Johnny. That's right. So he has a game plan for this. I think so. What kind of Johnny Cage? The Great Heart. I don't, and I, feel I don't like, know I feel if like Sub-Zero is going to answer it as well as Pulse is hoping. I feel like Pulse is a little bit more versatile with what cameos he uses mm -hmm. versus like a lot of other Johnny Cages. Yeah. I feel like he's willing to experiment with a lot of different things. A lot of different, and again, matchup specific. And that's what Pulse brings to the table. Like, hey, I'm, I'm running against this character. That is oh, super that not, unsafe. Yeah. I, I forget all the time because I believe that's punishable. Do you remember how minus that is exactly? I think it's like negative like low double digits like negative 12 negative 13 so like you have to be ready to yes okay. yeah it's not one of those like for free punishes like you gotta you gotta you gotta be ready to swing with your fastest button and depending on and the spacing be, yeah. you know it could be difficult yeah. yeah he wasn't ready that's my opinion i don't think he was ready all right a little bit of the life lead here that's beautiful for him i mean you've got to imagine that you start fight facing very high level shank players they're very patient right this there's a big problem with uh, maining a zoning character and then getting caught up. I mean, you're beautiful. He ducked under it, but just didn't capitalize. Just a little too slow at the helm. But, you know, despite that huge drop, Wraith in control. I, it's interesting to me. To, it's harder because I've watched so much Wraith gameplay that I know in that situation better spikes is coming almost every time. I'm watching now higher level players kind of get used to that idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, this is the dream, right? And And... Close the gap. Don't get off his back. Safe jump setups. Mind games. It's very, very, uh, you know, Shang, again, not special in this issue, but it's very, very difficult for him when Johnny starts pushing those plus frames in his face. He can be a little slower on the draw with some of his more important buttons, so he's got to try to get Johnny to overstand, and that's a lot easier said than done. Nobody, nobody wants to commit to anything, not even barely a down poke here. Well, I, th I think, honestly, if Pulse didn't respect him as much from the round before, he might push the pace a little bit with, like, Shadow Kicks and stuff. He obviously can't protect it the same way since he's not running loud, so I think he's trying to be mindful of that as well. Oh, hold Here on. we go! The tech. The tech where Johnny He's not going to safe jump set him up. I thought that would have been 
an easy no risk all reward. Now this is problematic too, right? Because not only is he using Johnny Flame, uh, jo sorry, Johnny Cage uh, frame data, he can protect himself with Goro, but he's also going to be hitting the other Johnny harder. Yeah, yeah. You get a little bit of a damage boost whenever you do shift into someone else. Mm. What a punish! What patience from Pulse here. Gonna activate or oh, he believes or get that hype ready. He believes with 15 seconds left on the clock. It's, it's an interesting decision, but he's already made it. It's not impossible. He just again he has to catch him slipping once. Just once. And these strings are, are too time consuming. I don't think they're the answer. It. He tried to overhead. Uh, the fact that he flawless blocked it and minimized all that chip made Ray get really desperate. Yeah. And that was what we saw there. Desperation making you overextend here. What an air to air. What a conversion here from Pulse. And he does have hype, so if he's, if he's pretty consistent with those routes, one touch could be really problematic. I don't know how much he's doing with the Sub-Zero shell specifically, but even hype routes on his own, no shy of 45. As long as he's hitting them, here we go. He's going to break immediately. And I get it. Don't take the extra damage. You already got caught up, and that's going to be a problem. Could he not have just killed? Uh, I'm not sure, but this time he is definitely going to kill here. Easy conversion into that string, 2-1-2. Two, two. I don't Pops remember. You up no matter how it hits you, where it hits you. I don't remember if he needs Cameo to extend Nut Punch into Dash into 2-1-2. Two two. Because I know I'll see it like somebody like Mac Metroid will do that with. Is he a little too specific? I'm getting a little too specific for me here. We got a hype grant uh, winner's finals here. Wraith going down, but it was close. It yeah. Was, it was a close slugfest. You know, Wraith taking that first round, and, and Pulse is doing the right things to adjust. Returning the favor with the armored move. All right, nice here. Gonna push pace. Not bothering with the safe jump. Uh-oh. In the stagger game of Johnny Cage, you don't want to challenge back too often, but you also cannot block him for eight hours. Here's the pickup, all right. Oh, the drop again. I don't think he juggled in the way that Wraith was expecting, but he's going to get a new confirm anyway. It wasn't a drop. It was an American reset, and then it was a drop again. Super unfortunate. Oh, little wave, wave, wave into the gut check with the forward three. And now ground skull would be a, a more threatening answer. Oh, no! Weird. When that whiffs, you're standing there for days. Yeah, days but had he gotten punish. it to connect, I think it would have been better for him to try to force a block situation. I think he was worried about Pulse reading something like that. Yeah. Unless that was too by obvious. chance. Yeah. And especially at that distance, like you're, you're constantly worried about down threes, down four checks. Mm. So, you know, you're going to be blocking in that scenario or blocking low, which is exactly how girl flops you up. Because if you're blocking high or not crouching, uh, you actually just you punish that yep. free. Oh, what? Oh. What? That's going to work out for him. Listen, he's been using it a lot more. He's got some pretty good exchanges off of it, but he has spent all of his Goro now, so this yeah, cooldown is going to be problematic. As I say, that Goro is gone. That cooldown is going to be forever. I thought he got there in time for the whiff yeah. punish. And that's the thing, too. I think Wraith wants to continue to like take advantage of this better spike. Oh, he could. Nice up block. So I thought better spikes would be the other answer, but up block's going to be just as effective. Yeah, when you have, like, when you don't have enough time to, like, stand one or stand two or, like, do your anti air, your normal, you have you get just enough time to up block. Like, just that's going to be the right out. answer. Yeah. Just squeeze it out. And that's, see, that's the exact problem I was just about to start talking about. You want it when he's kind of just like shimmying in your face with that sub-zero armor you would love to shred it off with a down three but it can get checked so easily this is bad for wraith here no bar left I'm not gonna really have a lot of means to build it either as poles is this gonna be enough you can do a ton here I, I think this combo. is more than yeah. enough yeah oh boy oh, oh no so maybe that's the setup is that they can do it but you need to be in the corner for that I see and now I understand. I mean, at the end, what was he going to do there? He didn't even have a bar for a last breath situation. Yeah. He could have got easily chipped out by anything, like a few down ones, a string into a shadow kick. Um, and, and I'm sure Pulse was hyper aware of what resources were available for Wraith. Wraith not looking too hot here going oh, down. That's going to be a rough two. start. It's a rough start for Wraith indeed. Wraith going through it. Absolutely. Oh, no, Rebel, can you do it mid screen? <laughs> Armoring through the shadow kick coming right out. Down poking, getting the hit, and knowing it's their turn as Wraith tries to get something going here. He's trying to, and that was Wraith stopping Pulse from backdashing. But I mean, 
if you look at the risk reward, like what you get out of successfully black dashing something and whiff punishing versus like, yeah, I got checked with a down three. What's the big deal? It's just not my turn yet. Oh, okay, okay. That's a little bit more of a costly consequence. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh, nice he spaced that out so perfectly. It's gonna be very hard to deal oh. with this hero unless you just decide to jump perfectly. You're gonna do fatal blow. Or you're gonna try to do the real. No, I combo. think he has the damage regardless. I mean, if not, then. Ooh! Goro was enough. <laughs> I didn't even consider the fact that Goro could get that little bit of last that, damage that in there. Last little hit. Goro was enough. Hold on a second. Love it. Yeah, that's the, the connection sweep. again. The sweep, I'm, whiffing for no! days. I'm so confused. Was he able to punish in that situation? I don't know. Like, wake up know. buttons is. I know wake up buttons is a very yeah. rebel infant, answer again. <laughs> infantile uh, technique. Let me let me say that as someone who wake up buttons all the time. Um, so I, I think it just wasn't on his radar. It might not have been. Hold on, let's see. Conversion here. Gonna reset that distance. Give Johnny Cage a little bit of an obstacle course to get through. Come on, man. I'm concerned. I'm, that, that concerns me. Come on, man. What was he going to do? He's got sub zero cami. He was going to keep that safe. All right. Nice. Into the Goro pickup. That's going to be round. Okay. There's a bit of an adjustment in there. And pulse immediately with the character select. And this is the problem Race when you board. let your opponent get a score lead like that. Is that now it's all up to pulse to experiment as much as he wants for the rest of the set. Johnny Cage. Quenching. Quenching his thirst with that Gatorade. We're not sponsored by Gatorade, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna shill him out as it's giving Wraith that power he needs to stay on the winner's side. And notice too how immediately once Pulse identifies that Wraith has found an answer to work around the sub cameo and identifies to himself, okay, so that means I won't need it anymore. Let's just go back on the offense. Let's see if he can handle Johnny with all these hearts of blockable. Let's see if he can handle Johnny with this extended safety. Now I can shadow kick myself in without having to really put my neck on the line for it. But again, like I said before, like if you if you compare Wraith's Shang to, to Dark Greens, one loves to zone and one loves to go in. And just Wraith is of, definitely a yeah, boxer. He yeah. wants to go in. He wants to make, you know, those decisions. He wants to make you, you know, think he's going to throw, and here comes the mid instead. He's a brawler, man. Through and through. Oh, he's not going to get the job done. He's going to be able to convert from there. Okay, he believes still. I don't know if what he favors more than, I, I don't know if it's as much that he believes he can do it. That's obviously part of it, but as much as he prefers that it puts fear in the opponent that they can't slip up one more time. But that throw was going to make this very, very difficult. Oh, God, getting out of there, but forced to block. And, of course, yeah. great recognition there from Pulse, seeing that that string didn't get flawless block and committing into that unsafe shadow kick, knowing it was going to be enough to chip out. Oh, no. boy. Oh, boy, you're going for a ride. Yeah, he has to already be so committed mentally to pressing that button because he had an opportunity to not do it. And this is going to be a big difference maker too, right? The inclusion of Lao Hat does mean that Pulse is going to be able to push pace with plus frames and then also guarantee that you cannot armor wake up past them because you'll just end up getting comboed if you try. Nice with Goro there. Oh, getting in there just in time before that second fireball came out. Oh, God, you can't punish oh, any of yeah, that. You, you can just cancel the more. He can just cancel the more. I know, I know it's so scary. Not looking good for Wraith. That's going to end up going 3-1 Pulse. I'm a little sad it ended so anticlimactically. Yeah, because I'll be honest. I believed in at least uh, Wraith making it back to game five at minimum. I thought he had the potential to do it. I, I was I, concerned I, when I, I saw the loud switch. but I felt it. He, he wanted to tap in. He, he wanted to get in there. I feel like he's momentum-based Sure. as a player, right? Like I see a lot of situations where he's kind of down on the cards and then is able to start bringing that back. And then that kind of like when that belief in himself resurfaces, he starts performing well. Yeah. What we got? We're good? Yeah, we're chilling here. Yeah, let's do a Defend the North. Uh, you guys can check out Defend the North. I believe that $40 registration window is up, but that's okay. That is until January 2nd. Yeah, it's, it's only still incredibly affordable. <laughs> it's still... It's still a, a few more bucks. I think it's in that. In that. No, it's okay. This one's good. Defend the North. Let's support them. A big tournament happening in uh, on Long Island this year. Yeah. It'll be J uh, January. Ugh, I can't read. August second to the fourth. We're gonna try to get some uh, some some. S We're gonna try to get some great MK1 action going there. As we mm -hmm. know, on the East Coast here, of course, the community around us. 
Big thanks to just everybody as a community effort making MKNJ great. Let's extend that and bring it out to Defender North as best as we can. I will personally be there. I know a few other players are going to be there. I definitely have plans on going. It's going to be a fun event. I mean, you know, especially if you're in the city or on Long Island, super close, train, travel. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, and I feel like they worked that schedule around for me, too, because my wife's birthday is usually on the 5th, and I know <laughs> that day is always taken up. So there we go. We got a little trip, and then we got a trip. He's going to party. Kevin's going to party on Long Island and then party with his wife. I love it. Cease versus Dragon. I have to not show my implicit bias here for my team. <laughs> but, I mean, I've got one that made it this far. Um, who's, who's the biggest down player on your team? Just, you know, just, just asking you randomly. Who's, who's the biggest down player on your team, Kevin? I mean, there's a competition. Is there? Turkey's Is there? on the list a little bit. Turkey recently has kind of, <laughs> like... Okay. Turkey, but, but Turkey's like a meme full down player. Like, he just wants you to hear it, you know? <laughs> I feel like I not care how you feel about it. As long as it upsets you, he's downplaying. Woo! Okay, Cease versus Dragon. Dragon uh, was Cease. It's a, it might be Sully, actually. You have a good point, Lady. It might be Sully. Sully? Sully's the biggest down player? Sully might be the biggest one. There's a mix of them. It's like, like Turkey does it on purpose. Sully, uh, Sully does it. Uh, I have to go through a couple of usernames, like Ram, or also known as Lord Ballgrip, also known as the Femboy Handler. It's been an interesting journey watching that, oh, but yeah. another big one on the down play let's, list. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's see that. All right, we're getting into the match. Dragon versus Cease. Now, Dragon has a ton. Dragon probably has the most experience in this matchup than anybody on this planet. Mm. Dragon plays Gur so much. Oh, no, yeah, you can find footage going back, back in the day yeah. of the two of them still going over this, and there's no way they're not still going through it. Now, I think Cease so obviously is going to have a lot of Ostra experience. But Dragon is just probably one of the most solid ones you're ever going to play. So I feel like this is you know? arcade mode, hardest difficulty final boss, right? Like it's just <laughs> Dragon. Do, I do think if you're a competitor that's not used to it, Dragon feels like he's reading your inputs half the time. Like, you're just like, how did you get down? How are you in the loser's bracket? Yeah. <laughs> like, how the fuck did you just lose? And I'm wondering that too. Dragon going into this tournament as seed uh, number two, I believe, uh, after a great performance in uh, Atlanta Dreamhack. Mm. Uh -oh, that's going to be yeah. a nice combo. And it's unfortunate because you're trying so hard the entire round to not get clipped by Serena in exactly that manner. Good ability to just undo it, buy himself another shot at glory here. Oh, boy. Uh, pop off. Going to get some time, build some time up as he sees that moment where he's just able to breathe. And I love, I love seeing Dragon's use of the single rang, mm. where it's just like, it always just kind of keeps you on your toes. And, you know, I feel like he doesn't randomly throw out the double one. It's a single rang, a single rang whenever he feels like it. And then easy hit confirmed, tons of damage. Look at that walk back, making that down poke whiff. And Cease, not going to live to see another day, not even live to build that last bar required for that breaker. Instead, going down immediately 1-0. Going right into rematch. Do you believe this? I understand. I mean, Cease is one of the biggest, like, character loyalists slash specialists. Right? He, he has a... So he's, he's played Quan Chi. He has the pocket Quan Chi. I actually don't hate Quan Chi for this matchup. It's one of the few, like, high top tier meta characters that I think he deals with in a very interesting manner. Um, I don't think Cease is going to be anywhere near confidence to try to pull that out right now, though. Oh, he didn't commit yeah. there. He didn't think the lot hat was going to hit him. Good block of the low, but trying to stand up there. Getting hit by the single rang forward throw to keep him in the corner. Dragon's got Cease's number in terms of block patterns here. Yeah, this just gets so problematic. Every time Dragon gets this setup of being able to march Cease down with his back to the wall, his distance management is just second to none. And it's so hard for Cease to find an opportunity to press a button where he's not getting clipped with something else for his trouble. Ooh, ducking under the high, giving him a high of his own. Trapping him in this time portal here. I love the side switch at the end of the combo. The command grab. No, probably a Boston put, unless he was making a, a big boy read that I don't understand. Chest bump. And the immediate breaker. This could set the tone for this match. This could set the tone for this game or this set. Dashing in there, just canceling out Whoa, of there. Whoa, found just it. Just punched him in the face. Just waited for him to get in front of him and just punched him in the face. That's a pretty slow button for being that close. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I stand, he was in stand one distance, but instead, 
decided to go for a, a slightly bigger swing. Well, it depends too, right? Like if, if you clock into the fact that your opponent, like you see like right there where Dragon went for something into backdash, if you fully believe they're going to do that again, you can try to use that slower button to at least chase them. Um, you'll have to deal with Katana in a lot of similar ways when she's playing her shimmy game. You've got to call it out and kind of press something that'll stuff her next option. I think she's just was lucky enough to make a good read there, but I don't know if it's effective enough to help him win this. Dragon is almost completely taking this round back. Oh boy. Really? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just cancel into those? Cease is just like really? You're just gonna go? And he's still fighting like he has a chance. I think it's one of those two, like even though uh it's hard and you got a life deficit and it's dragon, right? If you start getting in the mindset of like I'm just gonna let this round go and give it up, it gets problematic. Wait, Hold wait. on, here's the clone setup. He's gonna spend. I'm very curious how much this is gonna do. Yeah, I was gonna say we need mash cam on this. We that is the cam. most gentle mash cam I've ever seen in my life. Like dragon is unimpressed. <laughs> Cease is playing the Kalimba. I don't know. <laughs> 44%. Worth oh, it? I, I don't think so. It was, a, it was an impressive amount of damage for cutting it there. It, it was kind of like a guess for game scenario, but I just I don't think it was worth it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I th you Honestly, if you're going to go for that, I do think when we go to the mash camp, mash harder. If you're Cease, and yeah. you're going to bet it all, mash harder. At least mash harder. Act like you think it's going to, you know, like... <laughs> Hey man, five percent is five percent. Five percent is five percent. That's for the sure, biggest but. deficit. Full mash versus no mash. Well, listen. Unfortunately, Cease so didn't enter the matching competition, and for his ego, I'm glad he didn't. If that's <laughs> <laughs> here's the launch. Big abombo damage in the corner. Nice check to get out the command grab. Got to implement that kind of try to get Dragon to respect something. Here's the same setup here again. What's the mix? What's that? Just dash. Get out of there. Just get out of dodge. Oh, that was, uh, he was very close to pressing something there, and he's going to get stuffed out. This is going to kill. No, that's not. Never mind. Dragon loves staggering just like single hits and then just later committing to the full string, hit confirming from yeah. that. It's hard, too, for me here because I do feel like Cease is right on the precipice of coupling up with a big difference maker. But he's really got to figure out. Look at thinking face. This fellow's got to figure out how he's, like, he's going to switch it up in neutral to even get there in the first place. He's like, I've downplayed my character so much that I actually believe that they're bad. <laughs> I'm also curious, uh, cameo-wise, because there's a couple of other options you could go for. Like, you could try to get us Motaro, but is the life deficit going to be that problematic? It does introduce a, a pretty big one. Uh, I'm trying to think what else that Garrus is, like, really famous for using. He's going to go. Okay. Oh, Arm, I'm so happy because I wanted to talk about it, but I didn't want to spend time on the Garrus matchup doing it. So here's a couple of things that Quan Chi has for Ashra. First of all, if you, if you call the Armor Wake Up, he's one of the few characters in the game that can punish it extremely consistently because she will walk herself into stand four. She does have a little bit of a problem actually dealing with zoning. And Quan, while not the most effective one in the game, can zone from anywhere on screen. Kung Lao can be able to give him access to full screen confirms off of that stand four. He can even reverse it, hit her with Lao Hat, and then turn that into confirms, and then shove a full screen away for like another 300%. He's going to be at a bit of a life deficit, so he's basically starting as if he's taken a throw. But this is a problem matchup for her. I'm really happy that he's showing it. 900 health is a pretty big difference, uh, especially with like how weak Quan Chi's like up close pokes are, how negative they are, how slow they are, but a lot of the full screen stuff is just super broken. Combo potential, obscene, like so much damage yeah, exactly. that he can access from almost any kind of hit. Oh, you gotta start changing those throws around. Um, it's also, I think the biggest concern if you're Quan specifically against this setup with Ashra, you're, I, I feel like you're actually more concerned about Serena than you are Ashra. Right, even though that is a, a more pivotal part for game plan generally. Um, since you're zoning at difference, if you happen to get caught at the right time where you're trying to set something up, Serena kind of gets Ostra in your face, and for Quan, that's when it gets more problematic. I love how he cut that combo short just to open up that portal to enhance, you know, those special moves just for a little bit of time. That Kung Lao hat letting him set up, really, to, to gain access to those little bit better full screen moves. Oh, Falling Death, great one to introduce for the gaps too, and the fact that it's tracking. Yes. So easily. it doesn't matter where Ashra overextends, if she makes a mistake anywhere, she can end up getting hit with that. Uh, you do also get, uh, to be fair, outside of standard, some interesting parts of blockables with Quan. The pushback on the portal. Is that EX portal? Yes. But So it only pushes back so much, but there are situations. I think in the few 
times that Quan is forced to fight Johnny, it's very important that he starts using that. I'm interested with Asha specifically because she has such far-reaching normals, how much, how effective it's going to be. But if he catches Dragon at the right time, a little a predictable. Yeah. little predictable here. Dragon more or less baiting it out there with just a jump. Didn't, and it's, it's not as fast as you think it is. It's, it's tracking, it hits overhead, and it's great to put from pretty much anywhere on screen, but it's too slow to really stop Dragon once he jumped. Trying to find an opportunity. Okay, gonna create some space, and I think his mindset too was like, sure, if you wanna back away from Lala Hat, that's kinda what I want you to do. Beneficial projectile trades. Okay, does not get jailed by the stand four. Could have been a missed time from CC. You can lock that in a little tighter. Uh-oh. Here's the confirm. Is he going to cash out on fate? No, he doesn't have an opportunity to. But he's, he's got that little cooldown with Kung Lao. And, of course, when you're going to use a, a, a Kung Here Lao Here he goes. He's, he's uh -oh. got to convert this into fatal. I mean, this is do or die, right? Dash in stand four. No, he's going to. Okay, he's going to save hit. it for he a hit confirm. He wants one more hit. He wants one more hit into the fatal. I thought he would prioritize the guess for game, especially with how much chip Quan is going to do. It does shove them relatively far. Beautiful tech. That's true. He might not get an opportunity to, especially considering this is the third round. And it's the problem. Oh, beautiful, beautiful flawless blocky. He might have needed that too. Had a Dragon try to overextend for chip out. It could have been a problem, but the 2 2 the second time, going to get the job done. So respectful is Dragon. Just kind of like a little finish him at the end. I don't want to do anything crazy. I will say for anybody watching, those of you who want an excuse to play Quan Chi, I would consider that this is Dragon that it just got used against. I do think against a lot of Ashras is a good character to consider. I think it could be a counter pick. I, I am sitting on. I don't want to like. A I'm lot, not of, a lot of people say Ashra struggles at full screen. My personal impression right now is that Quan has an advantage against sure. her. I, I think I, he has a good advantage against her. I can see it. I can see it. A, lot, I, a lot of people say that Asher, like, at full screen, she doesn't really have a lot of options, and she has to go into the slower ground projectile stance mm -hmm. to kind of... And you can react to that. Yes, and yeah. you can react to it. You can jump in on that. It's not really occupying, like, as much space. Um, so I, I, I believe you, Kevin. Yeah. I believe you. Namaquan Sector Boy, I do think that helps okay. a little more with that matchup. Have a little um, bit more presence, a little bit more lockdown, if you will, with Sector. You can kind of force her to deal with the zoning a little harder. But I do, in the grand scheme of things, think that Lau is his best cameo. Okay. So I don't think the difference is that minor, but I think Sector introduces more interesting stuff. If she starts overextending dashing in, she could run into Flamethrower. Mm -hmm. um, you get very, very big damage conversions yeah. if you have her back to the wall because you can kind of just loop Sector combos with him. <sighs> I like it. I'm glad that we got to see it in the Leaf because I see... <laughs> I, I mean, I, players I, I don't play Quan, don't pull it out. And I, at least I, that someone did. I enjoyed seeing it more than I would have enjoyed any kind of third gear matchup. Yeah. I mean, Dragon's just too well situated in that matchup. He's just, he's all over it. And I know, like, so there's always the chance, right, that if he didn't want to stick out with Ashra, which I don't know, it depends what mood Dragon's in, right? Yeah. Um, if he wanted to go for Tanya, I've played that matchup with Quan. I don't think that one's horrible either. It's definitely more annoying, but yeah. it's annoying because Tanya is Tanya. It's not necessarily annoying because Quan has problems. You get to stand three a lot more in that matchup in spaces where Tanya doesn't think that you can. Yeah. That yeah, distance yeah. is a problem she has to deal with, you know. I could see that. I could definitely see that. And then who else Who else has Dragon played in MK1 uh, outside of MK1, Tanya MK1, he was playing uh, Tanya Ashra. I mean, we saw a little bit of Sindel before, but. And Sindel, Sindel might be awkward. Sindel could be awkward. Yeah. I haven't sorted that one out, but. I feel like there was one more character. Dragon I mean, she can't float playing. in your face like that. Who Same else thing. has like super long normals that Dragon was playing? Maybe Tanya, Ashra, Sindel. Like, doesn't really count, right? I mean, he plays it, but it's not for that. Yeah. Another thing to note about Dragon is Dragon worked at NRS during the development of Mortal Kombat One. So I don't know what kind of build Dragon had access to when they were, you know, working there. Mm. But I mean, it's it's just really cool to kind of think of, you know, as someone being able to play an early build of a game that we're enjoying right now and like how different it was or, or maybe just getting more used to and familiar with like the combo and the mm. cameo system. So it, it's, it's really cool to, to see Dragon out here and competing. And, you know, whether Dragon worked for NRS or not, still was going to be an incredible competitor because that's, oh, yeah. that's who Dragon is. Dragon is a competitor. Yeah. And, and wants that glory, wants that... You know, satisfaction of victory. And, Speaking and that's, of players that's what like I love that. to see it. Ooh, passionate players. Passionate players. Gur's going to be coming up next, taking on Red Nose. Red Nose was in the chat, and he said, I need prayers because I'm about to go up against <laughs> Gur. <laughs> well, Red Nose has had, like, a pretty linear game plan that has torn through 
most opponents that he yes. runs into, right? Yes. The small adjustments is just like, how do I get access to Kenshi? That's maybe the biggest thing he has to consider. And then once he gets that, he's all good to go. Oh. Well. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Um, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ghost, you're good. You're good. Ghost wanted to take his medal and leave. There'll be a picture of him us. up with it tonight. We already know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start just photoshopping him in. It's okay. We'll start photoshopping him in. I'm just going to get a cardboard cut out of Ghost and keep it here. <laughs> Honestly, it might be worth the investment. Uh, but, yeah, so the biggest thing that Renos has to consider when adapting his game plan is how exactly is he going to get access to Sento. Mm -hmm. At distance, though, right, like having to try to close that gap, like the way he does it with Sarax is that Hick does just get the – Get them to run into some move and do yeah. it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, Gur is a hard person to get to run into something. Yeah. It's going to be back away, Lao Hat set up, back away. By the time you do get the Sento set up, one bar breaker, we were reset it again. I mean, it, and we were kind of, we were thinking about this before when it was Ghost versus Red Nose and why Ghost didn't use Liu Kang Sector. Mm. And it, we were kind of like theory crafting and saying like, is it because he doesn't want to let Kenshi sit at full screen. Mm. Like, what is the downside to it? Gur loves to play at full screen. Yeah. So, and you can see immediately right there, look who's back dashing, yeah. look who's forward dashing. Look what side of the screen we're on. Big boot to the face, keeping out of the sky, or just, just keeping out of my area, out of my space. That was a whiff right in front of him, didn't go anywhere. Flawless blocking to negate the chip, but that's not going to be enough. The Sento comes out easily on block or on hit, it doesn't matter. And I will say, too, do keep in mind, again, that Red Nose is brothers with Teaser, so this won't be a lack of matchup experience. Here. You're right. Yeah. That's right. One of the few Gears players out there. But I believe Teaser thinks this character sucks and stopped playing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, up until he made that decision, I hope Red Nose was able to collect enough information on how to deal with this. Hopefully. I imagine uh, Garrus's game plan, regardless of who's piloting him, has to be mostly the same against Kenshi here. Could be. Could be the same. Now, again, because his toolkit is so... Uh, Vast, you can kind of like hybrid different strategies for it, but again, we'll see the raw command grab. And that's the problem with a competitor like Gert, too. If he gets a whiff of fear from his opponent, yeah. we'll, we'll get into this territory. He's like, oh, he's blocking. He's for sure blocking here. Gert loves command grabs. Yeah, I mean, remember in MK11, the, the different strat with that one was the corner carry. He almost played it extremely safe, and then when he had a read that they were going to, he would just walk them to the wall and then start his, uh, his shimmy game. Oh boy, the whiff punished the tornado, whipping for days. And Red Nose, just because he empty jumped and didn't commit to a button, able to press a button fast enough here. Sento still in your face, but that timer is up. All right, random something to Lao Hat, but. I'm really surprised that that stab, that first stab, only hit Kung Lao and not Giris. It, this, I've seen weird interactions like that, and sometimes it's hard to tell. If there are a certain amount in front of you, they will kind of tank a hit. I mean, I've seen competitors use cameos like Sujinko to kind of like pseudo do the same thing. Yeah. Some of them like Sonya because when you're making trading exchanges in that manner, she will take the hit for you and come back relatively fast. But it also depends on the hit because certain hits can hit both of them. Yeah. So, like, that's what I thought was weird. It might have just been that perfect tip range. Yeah. Could have been. Could have been. Just, just, just an interesting observation, if you will. All right. Stack up those clocks. I wish so hard Garrus had a meter for that. Uh -oh. okay, let's see the strat, and then we're going to use the, the throw whiffs to just completely nullify. It's so incredible that he's able to do that. I like how he just flicks the Sento off. That's like a switch it's just, on it just his knee. He's like, get off. Repeated it ad nauseum. Repeated it ad nauseum until it worked. Oh, that is so infuriating when that hits you. It's better. Stay I don't know going to chance is. Just walking, walking it down it. like a boss. Ooh, okay. Was it almost able to fight for a turn there? Found the overhead, but no sense to get a pick up. He is what? sitting on fatal blows. This is problematic. He, and remember, Kenji's does go incredibly far. Literally, as you said that. As you said that, but that's enough. They're definitely mashing. They have to mash. Look at Gur's thumb. His thumb just easily hits all four <laughs> face buttons like nothing. This man is a giant. <laughs> not enough. Not enough. The Sento is out. Gur not letting go of block. Oh, and Lao Hat is so good as acting as a deterrent to Sento. Two ah! Oh, he managed to time that perfectly into the chip. It came down to the last couple of instances. This at least has to, if Red Nose was in chat saying, hey, listen, I, I need a bit of I need a bit of spirit energy. I have to go up against Gur. I hope, if anything, that that set 
prove to him that he's capable of doing it. Absolutely. And the smallest adjustment can make up that life difference. It was just one decision. Just one decision. It was just one decision. And it was, and Ger, he was dancing with that Sento at the end. Yeah. Like at some point that Sento could have ripped him in half. Slight difference in timing and we're looking at a 1-0 lead for Red Nose. But in this multiverse, Gur is up on the board. Beautiful punish. Yeah, don't let him rock that awful screen. Sento's out. Trying to do what he can to keep him alive. He's going to want to whiff a throw, but Gur's kind of like, you know, on the money that that's his strategy. I feel like Red Nose is being a little too predictable with, this, with the Katana toss. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of a lot of Kenchis like to do it out the rip. And, and Gur is just expecting it. He's just, he's just way too on top of things right here. Now, I think even in the small instances that he's not, he's so far away that, like, if he's not full committed to some strategy, he has time to react and just wait. Yeah, just wait it out. There's really no problem with that. How many times that boot <laughs> just going to meet his face? Doesn't get the punish there. Oh, oh, that's so unfortunate that it didn't connect. Yeah, he hit it a little too early, went the wrong way. Had he just kind of waited, waited for his character to be able to turn around completely, that's a win for days, but what are you going to do about it? The Kenshi run actually goes over the hat. I didn't think about that interaction at all. It is a projectile. Yeah. And let's see, it's going to be hard, too, because even though that's a useful thing to know, it's not like you're going to be able to run past the projectile without running straight into Gur, who's kind of, like, hoping you overextend in that manner. Just, just did, did it, it in his face. That was so brave, but I, I like the fact that he's willing to. He just did it. He's spending so much bar on that meter burn katana toss. <laughs> Well, he's a little out of sorts, right? This is, I don't think Red Nose is necessarily always used to an opponent being able to deal with him as well as he can, and he finds the hit but isn't able to confirm it into anything. I believe that was like, what, stand 4-1 is yeah. the string there, and he just he just didn't go for the rest of it. And it's hard, it's like, again, I can feel the hesitation on the side of Red Nose. Gur actually has used that uh, runaway teleport very minimally today. I feel like in a lot of other competitions before, I've seen him kind of just like cycle through it as a constant way to get himself out of danger. And Red Nose just gonna immediately try to jump himself. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry. We went to character select. He's taking, a, he's taking, he's taking the right breather. He's taking, he's taking what he needs. The thing is, to I, I collect himself. I like Cyrax or what he's trying to do, but I don't know if he fully believes that Cyrax is the answer because he just can't seem to close the gaps and make use of it. So he's got yeah, other options. The, Serena's that, interesting. That's the thing, though, with with Our using a cameo coming. like Cyrex is, is like, yeah, the opportunities to get there are a little bit easier. But I feel like without that damaging combo, you're not your opponent's not really sweating or panicking. Yeah, in that I will say too, situation. Um, because I'm thinking about it with Meter Green with Serena. I actually am curious why it is that Red Nose is a little less willing to test out Cyrex net in some instances when he is using it. That, that could have caught Gur off guard in some manner that he was hoping that like the meter burn um, katana toss would. And then he not only would have been able to get Sento and confirm, but would have got that meter drain, which would have limited Gur's ability to continuously lose those breakers. Serena will give him access to something similar, but he's going to have to close the gap again. Yeah, he's going to have to close the gap here. Low hat to kind of give him that breathing room and, 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 and making that gap bigger, that gap that Red Nose has to come down on. And that is not going to be the fun <laughs> fun thing to deal with here. Command grabs. Are the Serena Rangs going to come into play here? Are they going to catch Gur slipping? Or is Gur just going to stay on top of this? Mm -hmm. Getting through there, canceling immediately. He doesn't want to put himself in an unsafe situation. And the throw again. I feel like Gur just knows exactly. Did we see any of the throws with so far? No. But that's the thing too, right? Like if you are Red Nose, you're so concerned about Gur being able to get that hit. You want to march him down without taking the risk. Okay, we're going to start opening our third eye to it. It's unfortunate he didn't get anything for it. What risk? What risk? <laughs> Kevin, you tell me. You look at this screen right here in front of us and you tell me what risk. What risk did you see there? He's stocking up again. This is going to get problematic. You can't let him do that too much. But how do you get to him fast enough? Pop him up. Good confirm here from Gur. And the side switch with a better positioning too. The situational awareness. Now that's scary because sometimes that low hat interacts with Serena but then lets your your main character run around freely. But in that instance, it hit them both just because of exactly where Serena was. And again, this is looking rough. Renos has the ability to get past this, but it's going to be a steep hill to climb. This is tough, man. This is tough. I don't see it happening for Red Nose. I want it to happen. I believe that he's I mean, just going to get down. Yeah, now it's as close to impossible as you can make it. I mean, get him to block one more instance. That stand one hitting the air that the aura of his kneecap was taking up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Gare's arm shaking? 
I don't know. I, it's, was that the adrenaline gush they on? Please. Yes, he knows. He's a veteran. He's like, I've been, okay. I've been at the finals before. I know. Well, also I, might just be that nervousness knowing that his next opponent is Dragon. This is going to be a... It's true. You know, training partners. We talked about the history between these two and how far back they go and how familiar they're both going to be with each other. So this isn't, again, a feeling out process. Mm -hmm. Watch a very intentional game plan start taking place the second we hit match start. Yeah, and and what you're gonna what you can expect to see from Dragon, him keeping that rewind time fully in mind, <laughs> him altering combo routes, knowing the tendencies of when Gear is gonna rewind time. And trying to, to you know, some, I don't, I don't want to say punish him for it. I almost mean like undo the undo yes. for rewinding time uh, in a lot of scenarios. But you will see Dragon just going into, you know, a second up uppercut in the combo uh, to kind of knock her out of the rewind <clears throat> time entirely. Uh, but then again, it becomes a, well, then I won't do it. And then you'll just leave damage on the table. Yeah. And then it's, you know, still okay. So it, it really is going to be like this this super high level like layered mind game between these two players. Well, remember I, too, I can't wait to see it. We already saw Gur run into problems when he ran into Wraith, who had a game plan for when he did that break. Yes. And Wraith didn't have the same experience Dragon did for kind of having a kind of dial in on the tendency of when Gur might want to do it. He had to do it purely off reactions and adapting mid set. True. Dragon's generally going to know when Gur is going to like to do it. Mm -hmm. So he'll have a better ability to make a read on that. I don't even know if Gur will bother with it as much. He might just save that resource for other things. Garrus can do so much with those uh, stocked hourglasses. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. see if be if Dragon's on the money, if Gur even considers it to be worth his time. Yeah, it's going to be interesting in, in, in the least. And again, where is Gur going to want to occupy that space? Is he going to want to be at full screen against Ashra, away from those really extended normals? Is he just going to try to rely on a little bit more of the full screen tornadoes and just backing up, hiding behind the Kung Lao hat? And I say hiding in the most respectful way yes. uh, to just be able to, to set up those hourglasses for free, essentially. All right, let's see on Mashra. This is going to be interesting. One of the things I'm very curious about movement as soon as we start who's going to move forward, who's going to move back? Round one. Fight. Okay, everybody backing up. <laughs> Both <laughs> these players are very passive. I would that, say. that was my guess, but I didn't want you know. <laughs> side, I was like, maybe they know something I don't. Is that going to be the new side bet? Side bet who moves forward first? I wouldn't mind. It was spend a couple channel points on it. <laughs> are getting himself right out of the distance of that projectile. So I, should be pretty much on the money of knowing exactly when it's a threat or something he has to deal with. Easy throw by Dragon. Block right up to Gur. Knocked down to the overhead in that distance and against a character like Astra, that is very risky. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, doesn't continue. Again, remember the mind game usually you're going to summon a Lao Hat, and if they block the entire thing, you're protected. If it converts, you just go for a combo. Undid it. Yep, and manages to back away a little bit too. I Undid it. Even though they're both right trying there. to manage space, I do get the feeling that Gur is going to want to be farther away at all times if possible. Oh boy. Knocking them down easy with these sweeps, and that's what, that's the that's the Lao hat with the Serena interaction I was talking about. You just don't know if it's actually going to hit both. Sometimes you have to hold it a little bit longer and wait for Ashra to move forward, or to even stop that space. Kevin, there's only 10, 12 seconds left on the clock. I actually didn't even realize that we were getting. Uh, <laughs> this is literally the. This first is why out. they adjusted it with an audio cue. I'm so focused on the neutral here. Oh no, but he loses pressed. the patience because last time he didn't do the rest of it. No. So, okay, but I do like the make the most out of it kind of reaction <laughs> from Gur, right? I'm like, we're clearly down. not going to get there. I might as well stock one up while I'm here. That was so scary because, like, if he just held, if he just held on a block, that was it. That was the game. And the last time Dragon interacted with that, he, he didn't cancel into it from the forward three. Instead, just kind of let it rock. And Gur kind of uh, getting a little too antsy there in yeah. that situation. See how he continues to manage it here. The implementation of Lao Hat to try to cut her down. Notice too how immediately in a matchup like this, Dragon is fully willing to stay in dark stance the whole time to make use of these dashes. Bottom him up for a big ride. Are we going to convert? No, we're just going to take the damage. 40% ain't bad. 40% ain't bad, Haas. Right, they're not looking bad here. Ball yeah. block, very important, yeah. Crouching attacks, very, very good against Astra. A lot of her better strings all start with, and yeah, 
I, I love how Gur stuck to his guns in that situation where he said, like, no, no, you're gonna do it. You're gonna not go into Ooh. the uppercut next time. Well, that's important too, right? Like, I think especially when you're playing high-level sets like this, you have to immediately start asserting that there are opportunities where I'm going to push, right? Uh, you're not going to get somebody like Dragon to hesitate if he does not think there's something he has to hesitate for. Lao Hat knocking Serena out of here, but Astra's still free to move. The down four gets Dragon the super plus frames. He's trying to apply something. Good whiff, but doesn't commit into a full Serena double rang. Instead, just the single ones. There's the second one, though, and that's going to be a big punish. Gur, I guess, instinctively wanting to erase the, the combo where he was left uh, standing on his feet the whole time. And that's yeah. not really the combo you want to rewind from. Wake up attack from Gur. That was very dangerous, but it panned out well for him. Oh, and that's unfortunate too because Lau got hit in that exchange. And he's not going he to give block. it up. He didn't block. He could have blocked both of them. And yeah, I, I believe that still is safe. But he was swinging. Yeah. He was swinging there. All right. Game one on the board for Dragon. Winner of this gets to go on and play Wraith. I'm very curious, regardless of who takes it, how that's going to play out. If, if it is Gur again, the run back, back potential, what adjustment can he make? If it's Dragon, that zoning warfare that we talked about that Astra struggles with, will Wraith be able to implement it in a way that Dragon won't be able to deal with? He could. Uh-oh. Regardless, we get old versus new. Yeah. Oh, no, that's, yeah. Oh, boy. And I've been, I've been saying, too, there's like a couple of new characters that I've been trying out. One of the notes I've been making to myself is how much I have to start implementing a stagger game like that. When people start freaking out, it's a lot easier to... Just the little bit of extra chips you get from them holding extra pokes, the hesitation, right? How, how much it gets people to panic, and then the one time you don't do it, you can punish them. Especially with Asha, right? She's, she's not slouching when it comes to damage. No, no slouch at all. By no means. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the worst. And you got to deal with this all-day combo. And he's ready. We, that's you said, not, that's you not said. the combo you want to rewind. Is he going to die? Mash cam? Mash cam? This is close. Mash Okay. Now we're starting to see some active. There we go. <laughs> we're starting to there see some go. activity. Mash. Mash those buttons. You're alive. This is a short. Oh, Never no, mind. Dead, dead. Oh, my gosh. Never mind. You tried it, but it just, yeah. <laughs> Apologies to Gur's thumbs. I'm so sorry for screaming. <laughs> I'm so sorry for screaming you're alive when you're a 950 character. I'm so sorry. Okay, take what he can get in this situation. Okay, but him mashing made Dragon mash. So it's like, you know, who really won? It's still the fear. It's still the fear. The real winners are you guys at home. If Dragon didn't mash, we might still be in the last round. And as you said, you're doing a great job of using those uh, those lower profiling buttons. Yeah, you want to get under a lot of those Ashra uh, high strings. Her best strings all start with high. And that's really like the, the flaw of her quote unquote flaw. She's a really good character. Nice oh, little safe jump setup. Oh boy. Nice Able conversion here. That's from a better Dragon. one. She's trying to find opportunities for it. That's a better moment. Nice conversion here. Double ranks forward and back. Dragon gets a combo. Opting to use the second bar, or opting to use the first bar here. Low hack getting hit, so it's <clears> definitely <throat> not going to be in your favor, but that's okay. Space it out. And it's difficult, too, because Gur is so used to using that, like, disjointed sweep to just get everybody off of his back. Ash is one of the few characters that can stand outside of that range and get a lot of damage for it. He's got to be oh, careful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge amounts of damage. And again, right, keep talking about how Pride is on the line. He's not going to want to give this up. Mm, no way. No way. Gurr's not pulling any punches. And I know and it, it's a crazy. Like, these guys just played on a huge stage, like, a few weeks ago. And how blessed are we? How <laughs> blessed are we? All we had to do was come to New Jersey to get a, 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 a battle of the titans, if you will. Okay, nice with the pressure again. And it is really the tail of the disjoints here that is giving Gur so many problems. That's what I was talking about there. The hat, you have to let it, you have to hold it just a little bit when you're in that situation, whether Kung Lao got hit or not. And again, that hat only hit Serena and Ashra was free to move and get tons of damage for their efforts. 
Okay, a lot of, a lot of status uh, markers on Gareth right now. I wonder if Dragon's ever even gonna bother trying to cash out on those. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh boy. Immediately doesn't like it, I understand. <laughs> Get me out of here, please. Rewind time, give me that health back. And it's hard, too, because Garrus doesn't even, like, a lot of characters, right, when they get an inkling that uh, Asha's going to continue to project out into something, right, mm -hmm. can entertain the idea of trying to armor through it. But Garrus says he's so stiff and still that it's not really going to get him where he needs to be for that. No, no. And a lot of the things with, with the with the projectile from Asha, it has a very, very slow startup. So you basically have to challenge there. Uh, and, and, you know, if you do challenge in the wrong situation, you're going to be in trouble. If they don't go for it, big jump, but not there in time. It recovers instantly, which is why it's so plus on block. All right, tick throw, tick throw, love to see it. Checking them with the sweep, but Dragon doing such a good job of just blocking low for days. Never, okay, I like this. I, as soon as I said that, he gets yeah. hit by the Kung Lao hat. But immediately shuts it down anyway, so. Believes. Is the tail of the tape going to be too little too late? Dragon believes in this round. Dragon believes in shutting this out, closing the deal right here, right now. But Gur saying something else. Gur saying we're in this for the long run. Trying to catch him at distance. Every little bit of damage he does helps. <gasps> and now he's in fatal blow range. This is problematic. Oh boy. Needs another hit. Needs another opening here. Another anti air. Something to convert into fatal blow. Dragon's too good at the game to stake it on 4 3 fatal. Mm -hmm. oh. Think he got it. Think there he got it. Is, yeah. Was that all necessary? Could he just let like let it rock? I feel like he could have just let it rock, but somebody like him's not going to. No, because it, this is a this is a ton. This is a ton of yeah. damage. We got the handshake cam. <laughs> the handshake cam. The GG's it my It changes friend. its utility like cameos. Five. It is the mash cam, the handshake cam. Yeah, depending on the scenario. Depending on the scenario, it's something different. All right, we have our top three in no specific order as of yet, right? Not yet. Anything can happen. On winner's side, Pulse, waiting for the result of this and some combination of Wraith versus Dragon here. So we at least know who the competitors are. Now the question is just what order will they come out of this in? And what's interesting here, Dragon and Wraith has, have not crossed paths yet. This is <clears> the first time they're meeting in bracket. Dragon was on the other side on the winner's side. And even so, Wraith advanced over Gurr. Yeah. Do you think that's why Gurr lost that fire, that passion there, knowing that even if I beat Dragon, I have to beat the person who already knocked me into losing? No, I think Does that, knowing, that gets to you too. It's definitely frustrating, and it can um, become, how would I say, like it can become emotionally draining, mentally exhausting having to consider that. I think in a situation like that, somebody like Gurr would have preferred the idea of I can look past my opponent and then just get to the Wraith matchup again with this new information in mind. But when that but when opponent that's interjecting you is Dragon, you know, and you know you've got a double <laughs> problem to deal with, it's a little harder to go in with that mindset, um, especially when you know not only is it Dragon, but it's a version of Dragon that knows everything I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I now have to try to trick him, and then if I'm able to do that, I have to try to lose all that. It's so hard to focus on all of it. It's a lot. Um, it's a you lot know, it's the benefit ask. of one problem at a time, yeah. right? So the problem was Dragon. He wasn't able to get past it. Um, Wraith now having to deal with that problem. Right again, we talked about Asher struggles with zoning. Wraith does a very great job of that. Yes, he does. When Asher is able to close the gap, we've seen Wraith. Uh, if he armors through something, it'll convert into combo. He's willing to do it. He's a little more, I would argue, a little more sporadic in nature. Sure. Than sure. Gur. Yeah. Um. So again, I'm I'm very curious about not only how the set's going to play out, but what the feeling out process is going to be like in the beginning, because since they haven't run into each other, and Dragon is so solid right wraith definitely likes to set up bait scenarios and i'm curious how successful he'll be at getting dragon to fall for that in the beginning i think it's gonna be very tough yeah dragon is someone who does not bite. Thing, he doesn't take he doesn't bait. bite he does not bite uh, even like going back to like the injustice two days dragon was very adamant and publicly spoke about why do people try to tech throws in this game like the risk reward is just not there like yeah. you're avoiding 10% versus getting completely decimated if you're wrong mm -hmm. with the way that that game was, the, the awesome. snowball effect that was a lot of characters. Yeah. Uh, and I want to say, like, I mean, Injustice 2, MK11, like, which one was Dragon better? He was really good at both games. Yeah. Like, Evo Champion and Injustice 2, 
basically second or third to, to Sonic and Ninja uh, for, you know, the year that we played MK11. And, you know, I, I think the sky's the limit for a player like Dragon. Are we button checking every game? I can't nah, talk. nah, this is a... Um, so, uh, let me explain. Wraith, Smash player. He has to do his combo. Uh, yeah. what, what, do they, what do they call them? Hand warmers? Mm -hmm. Hand warmers. Dittos. Friendlies. What, what's the other term? I think you might have named all the ones that I know. I like hand warmers. Hand I, would, warmers. I, would, I would resort to hand warmers. I like it. <laughs> I like the idea of real hand warmers. I don't like the idea of calling <laughs> casuals hand warmers. All right. All right. So now we definitively have a match here. I will say if there's one thing, again, that we say all the time that I know Wraith likes to do that I hope he doesn't do, do not spend time morphing into Ashra in this. I don't no? think it's worth the trouble. Why? Um, unless he has an, an insatiable life lead, I think in most situations, if she struggles that bad against zoning and Shang is a character that can do that, um, I see, keep it so as an advantageous matchup. Don't make it 5-5 unless you're looking for a chip out. And, and maybe she has a better version of that, you know? I see. I also feel like... As much as I hate the cameo of Serena, I feel like it's too good in the hands Ooh. of Ashra. Like, Serena is why Ashra is so good. Yes. And I will say, too, even though it's not the same thing, if he does choose to, you know, ignore me, I like that he poked out of that. Yeah. Um, if he does choose to entertain the idea, Ashra Goro is a show that a lot of people were running, like, as Ashra players. There is, like, utility to it, and it hits pretty hard. Ah. Mm. Not sure. Got his forehead checked there. It, the Serena just comes back so quickly compared to like how long the Serena combos become. So like when you get that successful hit, you confirm into the double rang. You know. Oh no, for sure. I would never recommend running Goro over Serena. Yeah. yeah. But since he's running Goro, if he shifts into Astra, it is a viable shell that some Astra can use. So there's something he can do with it. Good enough. Nice follow. Like a, one of the. Did he thought throw? Did he think throw was coming? Did he think throw was coming? I'm <laughs> I saw it that time. Oh boy, that's the worst feeling. When you're trying to like mash down poke against Astra and that forward three just hits you perfectly, it is it, it, it drives me up the wall what she gets for my lowly little poke attempt. And I will say too, I'm watching Wraith try to use a lot of this here, but Shang I, I think Shang has an impeccable down three. And as you noted before, Astra has the problem where a lot of her uh her more linear game plan focuses on taking advantage of clipping people with highs. That down three can shut a lot of that down and at least buy you a turn back. Sure. Yeah. I think the problem with Wraith is that I'm also watching him kind of just like whiff it at distance. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's necessarily doing anything either, you know? Yeah. It, it, it'll get you under a Serena ring maybe. It'll, it'll dodge a thing, but I mean, uh, she yeah. catches on and she starts hitting you with her own low. It's, it's what does that get you in that distance? Like, yeah, sometimes they can dash forward and occupy that space, but you got to be a little bit more cognitive of, of why you're pressing these buttons, why you're pressing these down ones, even at this high level. Right now, I feel like Dragon's just straight out outclassing him in the neutral, chasing yeah. him down there as he's trying to back off. Like, you always have to be ready for these, for these Ashra buttons. Good challenge there, but... In that scenario, I would have liked to see a better challenge, a standing yeah. attack, something that actually leads into damage and not just your turn. I mean, if he can assess that he's close enough, again, don't forget that amplified down four two will get him through there for conversion. I just don't know if he's confident in his ability to react to it. I'm curious if that down three was a test of, did I see it correctly? Could have been. Could have been. Uh, that full string is duckable at the end, but you're usually not going to take the chance. Gosh, it was just barely yeah. not enough, but... In that first round, the last breath scenario, not really going to be a thing. Easy chip out situation, you know, on top of all these different strings. And, you know, even just being able to keep more pressure on with some Serena rings, Serangs, C rings. I'm tired. No, oh, I what a whip this. punish! What a whip punish. Wraith getting a little desperate there, looking for that overhead. And Dragon just like, calmly walking back. Letting yeah, it whiff and just perfectly punishing. Knowing Ray's personality too, this is problematic. I was speaking before about how much I believe him to be a momentum-based player, and I think Dragon shutting that down so effectively so fast is going to be really hard for him to kind of like... I've seen him do it before, but the uh, mental discipline you're going to need to kind of like reassess and go into the next game call if he can't take this one, which is looking likely. And again, as you mentioned, Dragon checking with that Serena ring, but not the full commit. And of course, it makes it come back so much faster. So we can kind of just continue to do that. No access to Goro to get a pickup off of that, but at least create some space. 
And now the thing is, Raze does have like other like he he has an Omni Man. He has uh -huh. some stuff. I don't know. I just know if he's gonna consider it. Did he get it? No. no. We saw that before too. It's it's difficult. Some characters just recover too fast. I think if it was the double rang instead of the single rang, it might have. Yeah, no, hundred percent. So it, it what's the difference between those animations? You know what like, I'm saying? Like so if you're looking similar, for it, yeah. yeah, they're so similar. And and Ray I wouldn't put it against Dragon to kind of have the inkling of like knowing that this is a strategy, right? Like he's waiting for something. He has access to Fatal Ball. If I keep chucking this one out, I'm not actually susceptible to it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't get much all of it. He actually can convert off of that, but I forget if he needs to be in a certain form to do it. Ow, girl! Get back in here! Goro, get back. Get back, Goro. I just love, like, the, just the courtesy check on Goro. Like, oh, you're over there and you're not going to do anything <laughs> about this? Just, just check. Just down poke. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Barely overextended with that 4-4. He was so close to within range to try to get something going. And that's the thing, you know, you said Dark Green likes his own race, likes the box. I think he's having problems because he just can't find those opportunities to do so. I think if he could close that gap and get in there, he'd be a little more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Now that he's forced to use the other half of Shank's toolkit, it's looking a little more awkward. Yeah, I can see Wraith being a little bit more uh, not, not, nice. not keen on zoning. Love the side switch here. It's but also understand, enough. too, like I, I talked before about how I like Quan for a matchup like this. One of the things that I hate about it is that even though she struggles with zoning, anytime you slip up a little bit and you have too much recovery, you get caught with Serena ranks and then she gets her whole confirmed. So you spend the entire round, I think with, with any shell in general, but with zoners, you think they'd worry about it a little less. We're still scared of getting hit with Serena. Uh, terrified. Yeah, so the, and, the and entire time you're playing neutral, you're fighting that thought. And it's just because of how much she gets from Serena, like... Even if it's just like a weird little scramble or you fall asleep at the wheel for like a second, like you could be in a world of hurt just because of that one second you weren't paying attention to Serena. I also do, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe Shane can get a trade combo off, especially with Goro. If he, uh, if Dragon does Serena on pressure, that he can land a hit, kind of get it into the armor thing as long as the first hit is timed well and then use Goro for a pickup. Yeah, la labbing that Serena, like anti Serena stuff is so fun because, like, when you hit Serena, it negates one of the rangs, but not the other. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's a very weird exchange. And then some characters have ways to, like, go under the rang with, like, a slide or, like, a special move. Yeah, so, like, Reptile, he can either slide under just uh -huh. by default, or he can get a 47% trade combo if he's on the money. That sounds pretty Meterless. Fair. Meterless, actually. Good block. Oh, no, he tried to. Oh, he challenged. He challenged there. It's hard too because I always recommend that to, to players as the answer. I don't I don't know if he's gonna bother with Fatal here. It scares Soul horribly. Oh boy. 13 seconds left. Is Dragon gonna go in? He now he can't even bother trying to time something with Fatal Blow. That helps. What's the No! He, did you see him stand I saw, up? I like saw. just for a second, he stood up. And then back down. So like it wasn't necessarily a bad call, but Dragon just kind of prepped for it and he was kind of like buffering so barely it was so exact there's so many other like universes were in that scoop happened that was <laughs> celebrating his point on the board over dragon i mean again i will say even though it's 3-0 um talking about wraith dealing with some of the highest level competition it is looking competitive oh yeah absolutely. but a spike's not gonna oh, be yeah. easily punished he's not gonna have an issue with that it's one of the easier ones some characters harder time getting to you with uh, better spikes astra not a problem Okay, I like it. I think that's one of the best fake outs in this game is when Shang jumps to the sky, down shots, and, and meter burns it. <laughs> and you just like, think like, oh, I can swing at him, but instead you're getting shot yeah. up constantly. So it, it is somewhat of a little like anti-air bait. Oh, oh he ooh. Commit. That could have been huge. That could have been huge if he ducked right under it. Oh, that overextension, that's going to be it, yeah. That's what we saw the before. Same misinput. I, I'm gonna we, we see this we saw the same misinput there from Chang. By the next time we sit here, I will know what they're trying to do. <laughs> like I will, I will make sure that I know what they're trying but to it's, do. But it's it's just in that wrong spot. Like nobody was home, nobody was there, no reason to throw yeah. that out there. But huge I don't know so my gut guess is that it's an attempt at skulls, but they're not getting phase shift. They're not going into the other form. I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay, okay. So but you, I'm not you confident wanna, enough to you say. You want to go, you want to shift, but you miss the shift. And you end up with. So you do yeah. that move's version in the wrong 
version of Shang. I see. I see. That makes sense. That's the hope. I could be completely off the money, but that's my first guess. I, I could see that 100%. I'm going to give Wraith like 20 minutes, but, you know, after that, I will ask him <laughs> what he's trying to do. <laughs> if he sticks around, he yeah. might just leave right away, but that's okay. Um, again, big shout out to Wraith. Got third place. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this one was, was stacked. This is a very impressive tournament to get yeah. place in. Only going down to Pulse, only going down to Dragon, essentially going down to just the winners of the winner and the runner up of this yeah. tournament. Dragon and Pulse, we saw this a little bit earlier in today's bracket. Pulse and uh, Pulse being seed uh, three in this tournament, while Dragon was seed two. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I mean, Pulse is good, obviously. Very, I think one very of the experienced player. Bigger things with that was just how well he was able to full sweep through. Like obviously we said again, like similar to this set that we just had with Wraith and Dragon, right? Yeah. The score didn't reflect how close the sets were. Mm -hmm. Pulse and Dragon had similarly close sets, but there were moments in there where Pulse was just kind of running amok. Um, and I think Johnny Cage. he, in some weird manner, is a little braver than a lot of people would be against Dragon, right? Like, he was chanting a lot of ducks. I know, like, obviously, Ofsha's weaknesses are highs. Yes. But the fact that he was willing to do it so consistently, that he was on the money with the answers. Like, he obviously respects the skill level that Dragon brings to the table, but he doesn't let it affect his gameplay. He's, so he's fighting him like he's anybody else, and he's getting away with a lot for doing that. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's kind of how Pulse is. He's just, like, always on, always moving. Like, you can even see that, just the way that he controls his character. Mm -hmm. It's just, like very jittery and just always wanting to do things and that's kind of why i feel like johnny just fits him so well yeah mind you as somebody brought up in the chat earlier uh the last youtube video that pulse uploaded was <laughs> i'm not playing johnny anymore and uh hey kevin that's what definitely character johnny do you, what do you see I, here I, okay the, what do you see here I'm sorry. I see Johnny, but i'm a little more distracted by did you see what else i saw i didn't see it no i saw shujinko Interesting. I saw Shujinko in this. What does um, he steal from Ashra? That's the problem is that I would need the same note. I'm so sure somebody in the chat can give us the information. Um, if he actually he runs rocks this out. What it's gotta he steal? It's got to be something that just... I, I actually I have no idea. What, what moves would you want, right? Like, he's, he's obviously not, he's not taking stand switch. So he gets... Proje Super plus projectile, maybe? I guess. So you can maybe use it in similar fashion to Mataro without having to take the life deficit. Yeah, so we got Wise Gemini. Big shout out to you for uh, letting us know I'm Projectile oh. and Rising Sword. I'm very curious what uh, what those routes are going to look like if he's able to hit confirm into Rising Sword. What time will tell? Listen, uh, I'm uh, not brave enough to run Shujinko down. myself, but I'm very curious about what other people do. Uh, Jess says Projectile is minus one. It's ass. Listen. <laughs> If, if we were to ask on just, he would tell Dragon to play Tanya in this matchup too. I think. Sure. Yeah, he, well, he had a little showing with the other day that was pretty, uh, pretty convincing. Let's calm down because he didn't go Shujinko. Maybe he was oh, just trolling okay. us a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like that. Normal Johnny, <laughs> Johnny shenanigans, if you will. That little bit just clipped him right there at the end. Oh, oh I was curious whether or not it was going to get him out of jail. Here we go for a pickup. Not fair. All this yeah. is so easy. Have to adjust her gravity a little bit given the way that she got launched, but not the end of the world. There's a shadow kick again. Oh, oh didn't believe. Didn't yeah. believe. Didn't believe. Just wanted like super plus frames after it. And, and get out the pulse, corner like, too. Let like, it go of block like constantly there. And I think Dragon just needs to check with like a few more mids. Just be a little bit more more willing to you know give up your turn by by trying to insert some kind of, of dominance over that. Like, hey, you want to be crazy and let go of block? Try to go oh. for the throw. Dragon also saying, maybe I'll just do the same. Round two, fight. And of course, remember, it's not a statement that you get to make very often, but more of the pressure on Dragon right now. He's the one that has to reset the bracket here. Oh, that low. Just catching his knees. Look at that reaction there from Pulse. Just standing up immediately as soon as he sees Atra go to the sky with that forward three animation. Nice throw. Take advantage of the fact. You got to make him think about something. Oh and boy. we'll see, too, because a Dragon gets a very, very effective corner game going once he can set it up. But Pulse is just too, too erratic to lock down, it seems like. Like he wants it still. You yeah. Can see it. I, I think that, that kind of took guts. That took guts to go for Kung Lao hat that close to Ashra. Isn't that weird that the projectile hit Kung Lao? I mean, I guess projectiles only hit one of you. 
but it's like such a big meaty projectile. Yeah, the and that that, that one specifically hit both of them. Very fun. Very fun to see how oh, all these interact. Chase down. No, definitely a miss. No, I, don't, I think it was a miss hit, but I, I don't think there's hit. any chance he went for meter drain. Was it down or, or neutral for meter drain? I think neutral for meter drain, so he didn't hit back. Yeah. Ready for my no, you're right. Absolutely right. It's unfortunate, but it's, you know. That was the game. That yeah. was the round. <laughs> that, that was, was the, the round. round for Dragon. That was the game for Dragon. The and Pulse again. running away with this. The Johnny Cage dream. I said, and, and I like how he's also still willing to use the back throw just to chance Dragon still being able to tech, right? Because the stagger mind game is going to be you summon Lao Hat, you do your, uh, you do your normal so they, they ideally can't wake up. I don't know, Astra tends to slip out of some situations, but I think even she would have to hold that. It's so advantageous for Johnny. And when he's worried about it, he's still going to play a 50-50 game with the throw when he wants to go for it. Nah, he's not letting go block. No. He is not letting go block in that scenario. Poking like he's still plus? Yeah. <laughs> poking like he's still plus. I mean, I guess you're just checking to make sure that they didn't poke you. If you do anything else but poke, I'm going to mash that down one. Oh, get saved. I think he could have gone for the for the tech. I think he could have gone for the tech that and it would have been, been a different. Tech. It would have been different. Toss again. Toss again. All right, we're getting freaky. Now the fear has been instilled. Does he have the audacity? No. No, he won't. Yes, he, he does! Hey, throw escape. He was ready. Pulse was ready. Blocking the low. Timer Blocking scale. the ring. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. You no, no, no. There's plenty of time. Five seconds. There's time. Whoa! You press something! He yeah. pressed something back! There is no way! <laughs> All he could do was smirk. All he could do was smirk. And just... He really did that. He really did that. I mean, come on. What was that? Three throws in the corner? Yeah. Three throws? Like, but you're going like to hold all this shit. What upsets me, too, this. is had he gone for the fourth one raw, it would have worked. Round like, Pulse was willing to wait and try to, like, make it on a reaction. Yeah. He held yeah, that yeah. down four. He was not. Yeah, that was definitely not, like, a neutral duck. Like, super anticipating a throw. Woo! My God, dude. My heart is racing <laughs> watching that. Okay. Getting a forward throw, keeping Dragon at bay. Armoring right through, no problem. Oh, oh, isn't able to get the pickup, though. Not fast enough. Safe jump setup, it's Ashra. No. Did Dragon walk forward after teleporting, and then he was just, just out of range? Potentially. I don't know. It happened a little too fast for me to note. A little weird. A very weird exchange there. I was for sure thought that was going to be an easy check, easy oh. punish check. Here we go. He has. I was curious whether he was going to spend it immediately. He does. Lands on hat. I mean, just stand for it. fatal. Yeah. Regret it. That Do you kills. regret it? That that is. Mash cam. <laughs> Mash those buttons. <laughs> the <laughs> disrespect. Taking a drink while mashing buttons. He does it just I like when he's that at home. I get that it's in that territory, but you knew we were going to turn the camera on. He knew. He knew. He took a drink. He took, he a, took sip. a sip of his drink while mashing Round buttons. Two. Pulse, you filthy animal. Oh, that was so delayed, too. Oh, boy. Oh, oh duck it right under! talking about how he's willing to do this. Uh-oh. Okay, finish the string. Get weird with it. I get it. Now, again, Dragon returning the favor. This has just been Duck City between the two of them. A hundred percent, yes. Like, and, and, and every single duck, super, super risky. I'm surprised I'm not seeing the uh, mid mind game get implemented harder since they both know that the other ones want to do it. Oh boy. Setting him out. Ending the combo as short as possible just to make sure that that loud hat keeps Ashra from moving. Oh, that's oh he so, committed. Yeah. Committed to the whole string. Committed to the whole thing, Kevin. He's a maniac, but it works out. No one there. No one there. A little too far. Clip the shin there. Dragon not blocking low. And I always get curious in those one. situations, too, if they just failed at the fuzzy or they really wanted the hard read on up block. Double down one worked, Kevin. Can you tell me why it worked? You got You just have to be brave. This, this whole set has just been the story of who's braver. <laughs> <laughs> Something like double down one at this point doesn't surprise me. This life lead from Pulse. Oh, boy. If he could take this over Dragon without the bracket reset, that'd be so good. 
No sleep on the comeback, though. Asha does so much damage off of the slightest little trick, and he knew he was going to try to attempt the up block. Uh, Punished him for uh, his uh, own uh, habit. Uh. How many competitors have you heard uh, constantly go, I have an up block problem, I got to stop doing it? It's, it's kind of one of those things where it's, it's so tempting because of how easy it is yeah. and how rewarding it is to up block somebody who's just like jumping on you like a maniac. It feels so good that it's almost too tempting. Like you, you, you're like, I, I just want to do it. And but in, honest, in certain scenarios, or if you're fighting against Reiko, you don't want to do that. <laughs> and if you're playing, like, uh, depending on the character you're fighting Johnny Cage with, his jump-ins are so good. You are you kind of are limited to no other option than up-blocking if you want to. It's either up-block or try don't to, up yeah. Yes. I 100% agree with you. Johnny so, Cage's jump kick is so, like you're forced so to an, good. You're forced if you don't have, like, you know, there's, like, a couple of characters in the game that have just exceptional anti-airs. Yes. So this isn't for everybody. But for most characters, like if he overextends, some people can deal with it pretty well. I mean, for most characters, you have to play the up block mind game. And it gets very frustrating because you can get baited like that. I mean, I feel like I feel like what I feel like it's all characters, dude. His jump kick is a problem. Like oh. it is so good, but it, it, it puts you in that scenario where you're you're forcing yourself into a 50-50. Is am I gonna try oh, to? Oh, that's yeah. This is. Am I gonna up block this? I'm, I'm taking a huge risk, or am I going to try to anti-air, or I'm, I'm just going to get kicked in the face? Like, it's it's very tough. I think it needs to be toned down. <laughs> that's, that's just No, me. I'm in agreement with you. It's so good. I spent so many years armor learning how to become somebody who can anti-air just to not be able to use it anyway. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm really glad I can anti-air. You know? <laughs> I'm really glad I know how to stand one, uh, except against Johnny Cage. That, that shit just doesn't work. It does not work. Anyway, this is looking... A little more promising for Dragon, but that first round has me concerned for him. And of course, Sandel does have like a sneaky armored move in the fact that it's an overhead, so if you're not constantly keeping in mind that you have to stand block it, but Pulse isn't one of those competitors that's going to be concerned about that. I'm so upset for Dragon that that jump in whiff, but he managed to find his combo anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's death. Dragon's on the board. I'm liking this Sandel, looking a little a little seasoned. Big shout out to, to Ludi. Saying that Dragon Sindel <laughs> is not looking seasoned. I'm All seeing right. it here. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Chew I mean, it around a little bit. There's you know, something to it. Let it sit on your it. tongue. It's okay. Yeah. All right, nice. Hold on. The patience from Pulse. He's gonna get yucked up for his troubles. It's a tough string to deal with in that forward one. Here's the conversion. Damage is gonna be big. He can choose to break her. He's gonna hold it. I think most of the damage has been taken. Oh, what nice a block. defense! What a block by Pulse! Yeah, that was definitely gonna be lead into a fatal blow. Okay, nobody can break with the meter oh advantage for him here. Oh boy. The cancels from cancels. Not gonna do it. He takes advantage of that mind game so hard, and that's it. Yeah, he just finds it. Pulse will entertain our last ah. mash cam of the night, but I think, yeah, it's understandable. Nah, we're done. We're, we're not in the territory, it's a question, and Pulse We want clearing. a fatal, we want a fatal, the crowd fatal. is fatal. Fatal, fatal! If he, if he goes to the pause menu, I'm just, all right. My I think Metroid he did, he had to scream the fatal input because Pulse said, I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> he won an entire tournament with Gur, Dragon, Wraith, and way more players in it. Without knowing the fatality Without input. Without knowing the fatality. We had to get something, guys. I know we didn't see any Brutals this whole top eight. Yeah. But Listen, he knew Johnny was plus. That's all he needed to know. That's you all. Know? He knew that Johnny can jump in for free. What he, are you going to do about it? He came up with the moniker plus. Uh, sorry, Pulse. And I think he just messed up the spelling of plus. <laughs> I think that was his original intention. Uh, I think that's going to be it for us. I know it was a long stream. I appreciate all you guys uh, in the stream chat. I appreciate all the raids. Uh, I don't know everyone who raided as I was running around and making sure the of brackets course, yeah. were good. Uh, running test your might. Big shout outs to Mike Metroid for giving us that fatality by screaming it across the screen, uh, across the uh, across the room. Kevin, yeah. thank you so much for joining me. It was awesome. It was a pleasure of as, course, always, as always. As always. Um, before I give final shout outs to Kevin, I just want to say shout out to Icy doing a phenomenal job. I Every wanna time. Say, I want to say someone in the stream chat said. Because Icy was on the helm that this production is better than Evo's. Icy was ready <laughs> with the mash cam. We're all having a blast. It's fun. And that's what it really comes down to. It does come down to just having fun. Of course, the perfect time for the no say. What did yeah. we say? It's probably resetting. What yeah. did we say? Better than Evo? Just kidding. We're taking that comment back. 
no, really, it was a blast. Big shout out to Shock. Big shout out to Combat Network for you know providing the stream and, and allowing everyone to, to really watch these players play and giving these guys a stage. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. That's Shock. UMK3 Shock. See him in UMK3. You won't. <laughs> uh, Kevin, want to send us off or give any last shout outs? Uh, guys, Mortal Kombat New Jersey is starting weeklies every Friday. Oh, if you're yeah. in the area and you have the opportunity to come out, it'd be impeccable for you to do so. We're going to have our monthlies as often as Armor can hold. Yes. It's going to be once a month. But Hopefully. if you'd like to come in and get a little more competition, some casual offline experience, don't stay boxed in to your house. Come outside and come Join hang us. with us. I'll be here bi-weekly. We're also looking for a streamer that will be able to help uh, with the production of that. If it's a little bit of a schedule. Hit but me up. If you've got the ability to do it, Arma is looking for somebody to hold it down. Competitive Mortal Kombat 1 has been a uh, pleasure to yep. both experience and commentate for the past couple of years. And if you guys find it entertaining at all, nah. make sure you spend your time taking it in. All right. That's awesome, guys. That's going to be it for us. Uh, we love you all, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.